All right, everybody. Welcome to part one of my 59 part series of playing Necromancer. I have created, um, Dead Omans. <laughs> um, for those who are wondering, I'm playing on adventure mode because I already did the campaign. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, there's like events and stuff. Okay. That's cool, I suppose. Um,. So we, um, I already did some of the, I, I did, a, I, I shouldn't say a lot, I did some overworld stuff on my other character already. So, um, yeah, we do have points here. Okay, so the question is, do I want to do a blood necromancer, or do I want to do a bone necromancer, or do we want to do darkness? Hmm. Well, I probably should have had this in mind before I started doing this. Last time I didn't do... Blood. I think we'll just do Darkness, because... The thing is, uh... Minions just got buffed pretty hard. So everyone thinks minions are bad. So, uh... We will... See if minions are still, in fact, bad. Um, blight hints an enemy. Something. Expect of you charges forwards. Sixty-three percent, then swings back. Thirty percent, then leaves behind. Eighty percent over six seconds. Hmm. Hmm. We'll try to go full dot, and we'll see what happens. There's some damage multipliers here. Minions get 10% damage here, 15% damage here. Remember, minions got buffed a bit. So they should be better. Should be. Are we doing quests? Yes, well, Bozan has yet to return. Oh, all the quests are still available. So what does adventure mode do? Okay, screw it. Let's just go do quests. Um, how does account stuff work? Or is stuff account bound or Yeah, your low level gear just kinda I'm looks like Your low level gear just kinda looks like some dude. You kinda just like like some dude, but it will very quickly become uh Yeah. I need more time. Why does she say it like that? I need more time. Oh boy, I'm gonna just go. Do I, do I at least get a mount? Oh! Okay, we do at least keep the mount. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so let's, uh. Let's try the. Oh, God. It sounds like I know where the map layout is. Why does D2, th D3 have Paladin, but D4 not? Well. Because the holy people are the bad guys, but also the good guys. It's complicated. I don't know. Who knows? It's not me. Oh, so yes. DLC, potentially. Give me one second, I want to do one thing. Okay, so we need to summon undead. Ow! I lack the required essence. Yeah, well, I lack undead. Seems we're at an impasse then, yeah? They still have the issue where your thing is down here in the bottom right, yay? God, it would suck if they fixed that. Yay, I love keeping track of my skeletons in a small number in the bottom right. 
Mm-hmm. That's exactly where I want that number tracked. Okay, did they mess with any of the numbers? No. Honestly, the biggest thing they could have done is given more auto combat healing to Skelly Boys. So you don't need to, uh. You know. That's like a bit annoying. Radius increase. Um, well, I didn't actually do the campaign. I'm doing adventure mode. So, uh, you know. We'll see what that means. Corpse explosion is now a darkness skip. Uh, yeah, on adventure mode, I literally don't do the campaign. Like, I quite literally don't have the campaign. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's what I'm saying. Like, I literally don't have the campaign to uh, show you. Let's see. Doesn't really matter what we have. A blue's gonna be better than a white. No real point even looking. Oh, there's a treasure goblin over here. Damn it, nobody told me, chat. So is there any challenging content in the game though? Because that's kind of my biggest issue. Like I leveled up on my druid and then I realized like... There's nothing that was like challenging. You know? I guess we got those. Ah! Cued flush, that's the important one. Cued flush gives our damage a chance to create a corpse, which we will need because we need to create a lot of corpses. Yeah, so basically, you get Hued Flush, then your damage has a chance to create a corpse. And then, uh... You use said corpses... ...to do, uh... ...damage. And then things take damage, and then they die from said damage. Yeah, basically we use dots. Um, ah, huh. my Skelly Boys died. That's okay. I can create new ones. I can start again. Oh wait, I keep pressing the wrong button. Sorry, Skelly Boys, you begin corpse explosions instead. My name is Pomuk 
I write this as I out my last among the crooked. Yeah, and then we just continue to put points in huge flesh. And because we put points in huge flesh, as you can see, we uh wretched creatures for as long as I've been able to wield a knife against them. Um feed on blood and grow strong in numbers. Every time we do damage, we can create more skelly boys. And be caught in a trap. Yeah, see that? Their leader can raise the dead. And I fear for all who wander unknowingly into these crypts. If you have the skill, Hold on, I'm doing hunt one thing. them down. Do not let my death be for So a lot of people think that uh, Necromancer is bad, and I'm not saying they're wrong, but they're definitely not... Um, Right. You know, I mean, they're not, they're not right. Yeah, write this down, chat. And then, uh... The more damage we cause, the more corpse explosions we cause. And then you can see the more corpse explosions we cause this, the more damage we cause, the more damage we cause, the more corpse explosions, the more corpse explosions, the more damage, the more damage, the more corpse explosions, the more damage, the corpse explosions, the damage, corpse explosions. And then we can eventually drown the world in darkness. The only problem, and this is kind of the irritating thing, your skelly boys don't really heal outside of combat. So they just die eventually, which is annoying. Like, I, I'm not saying your skeletons should tank forever. I don't think that's good design, right? But it's like annoying that like between combats they just slowly get whittled away. Even if the auto combat healing was like a little bit, just you know, maybe more than it is right now. Or maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I don't know. I can be wrong. They really need a world difficulty tier three, don't they? For leveling, I mean, because once you have your uh, once you've leveled other characters, yeah, your base character out levels this content very easily. I need more essence. Man, this game is so much easier when you're not playing melee. The enemy ghouls are dying so quickly that I keep misclicking. In flesh tier three. Okay, so now, um, all damage has a twelve percent chance to create a corpse right now. Yeah. See, so we have. Lots of corpses to work with. We just need him to stand in a corpse. Let's see, what, what is... Uh... 18... Versus... 19. Alright. Not even gonna pay attention. She just has a sickle in an orb now. How is this gameplay cooler? You, you guys didn't like Giga Druid, Giga Werewolf running around, a woo, a woo, face taking every boss, a woo. Everything is dying so quickly, I keep misclicking and walking forwards. Honestly, maybe instead of this, I should then go with Reap. Why is it giving me the Butcher? 
Well, it's just brutal. And honestly, a little bit cruel. You know, I heard him and I thought, that's not the butcher. Okay. I, I don't... I don't really have much I can do. I heard him and my exact thoughts are, that's probably not the butcher. It wouldn't give me the butcher at level... What am I? Seven? Where's the bloodstone? Is that the bloodstone? That's my death location. Oh wait, the bloodstone's right there. I didn't get one chance to face tank the butcher when I was playing, uh... I didn't get one chance to play against butcher when I was on my druid, even when I was giga tank with like 90% damage reduction. But my level 7 necromancer and he's like, fuck yeah, free target. This is what I find really tedious about Necromancer, by the way. This right here. The fact that like, okay, so my minions are down here. So I need to keep track of my minions, but they're all the way in a small number in the bottom right. Oh, but wait, we want to track the buff to make sure they're doing damage. The buff is over here. Then we need to be looking up to make sure we're dotting enough. So here's me playing, here's me playing Necromancer. Yeah, it gets annoying, man. Does Butcher only spawn in adventure mode? Yeah, Flesh Hewn they added specifically, specifically to allow Necromancer to be viable against bosses and shit, and then people just skipped it entirely, and they skipped this skill because they were being stubborn little fucks, which I just find so amusing. I keep forgetting blues are actually good for me. Kirko Strike Chance or Intelligence? Eh, probably Intelligence, right? Oh, right. Do we- do we get the thing? Did we do the challenge thing? Uh, I did a lot of farming on my other character. I shouldn't say a lot, but I did some. I did some farming. I'm out of the character. So, okay, what are these grim favors? I don't think I maybe... I don't think I maybe listened quite well. Okay, I need to rebind my buttons. Cuz uh What is this? Playing Necromancer is a little bit- you have to press your buttons a lot more, so I kind of want them on my mouse. Yes. So I can just sort of, uh, so I can just sort of play, um, you know, yeah. Because like, you have to be like using Corpse Explosion and Raise Dead as if, you know, they're normal abilities and stuff, you know?
Okay, can I get the soul fragments from this event, though? I mean, the Skelly Boys are doing a lot more damage than I remember. Something tells me they got buffed pretty hard. Okay, now they're just running around and killing enemies outside of the zone I need them to be killing them in. And I don't have points in Skelly Boys, so I don't think that's what's causing it. Well, I suppose I do have a lot of Shrines of Lilith. Wow, I didn't- I mean, it's like 20-30 stats at most. Power of strength. Well, they're better, so I'll just use them. Okay. Um, so we got the Hewn Flesh, so let me get our next ability. Slow enemies and deal less damage, or... Yeah, like, why are there only two curses? You're telling me Necromancer launched with two curses. No, no, I reject that, and I say this game launched unfinished. I reject the silliness, and I say this game launched unfinished. There is, in my opinion, zero, and that is a zero reason for this game to have launched in a way where Necromancer has two curses um, on launch. Ah, <sighs> same. When I leave Druid, uh... I kind of felt like I just experienced everything there was to do. There were no more combos or anything. I kind of, like, Werewolf just doesn't really have a lot of synergies or legendaries or anything, so I was, like, done. And I'm assuming that's how a lot of classes are going to feel, but there just wasn't, like, anything left for me to experience. At that point, I was just farming better gear to farm better gear. Which, sure, it could be fun, but then, like, I also had the issue that I just completely outleveled the World 3 by, like, level 53. By level 54, there would be no way the- Like, all I could do is die to, like, the little suicide bombers. Or maybe the succubus, and that's about it. Um... Okay, the slow and damage reduction is probably better. Well, the issue is, is that, like- Okay, so the issue is... There's, like, nothing left for me to do with the build. Um... Because Werewolf is kind of bad. Like, even if I found other legendaries with unique effects, I wouldn't be like, Oh, time for me to try out this version of the build. Like, it was pretty clear what the best version of the build was. And I would just have to just keep... I would just have to continue to remake that build. Uh, yeah, you do start with Mount Unlocked. Yes, that... What am I doing? Find the corbs. Defeat the Horflar Shambler. And that's kind of my fundamental issue, is that like, um... Like with other builds, you kind of have to like... Be like, oh, this legendary is really core, but it's out of date. I'll have to change around some abilities. Like, because... Werewolf just doesn't really seem to have many synergies, and because two of their abilities are just legitimately bad... Wait. Because two of their abilities are just legitimately not good abilities, um, it leads to the issue where you can only really play it one way.
So what am I doing with these? What, what, what am I earning here? I'm like earning these resources. Grim favor. What do those do? I mean, if you're bored out of your mind, sure, go play hardcore uh, druid. But like... Once again, as I keep trying to explain, the problem is, I will still... <laughs> I will still just be trying to remake the same build over and over again. And it's not like Druid is very fun to level with. Like, I'm just saying there's just... I, I, I experienced Werewolf. I had 30 hours of Werewolf, I experienced Werewolf, okay? So like... Are, are these shared? I know these are shared across account, but like are the claims shared or can I do stuff that like Did they ever fix it from beta where it doesn't tell you what your account has unlocked already? Let's put it that way Yeah, but then I get my equipment upgraded for what? Like... I would have to level up so much for the content to be challenging again. Yeah, some people did get level 100, but... If anything, the people who got level 100 just kind of showed that the game is a bit too easy right now. I mean, it's, it's, they, they, everyone got there with, like, exploity builds, sure. What is this? Oh, wait, this just takes essence? Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's what I'm saying, Young Prairie, is, like, there's... There's just nothing, there's no bosses or anything. There's just, there's literally, there's no bosses. You could like level all the way up to level 100, then beat Lilith and... Boy, that's gonna be tedious, don't you think? Like, goddamn. Imagine you have to get, imagine I'm sitting here farming for like another 20 hours to beat Lilith. And then I'm like, yay. Say what you want about Lost Ark, but the fact that it had intermittent challenges. Lost Ark had intermittent challenges, which meant that like you 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 reached more difficulty spikes more often. I guess that's my best way of putting it. Whisper unavailable. Oh, now I need to go claim my reward at the tree of whispers. Okay. Neat. Okay. I'm starting to understand what I'm doing here, chat. Yeah, I mean, there's just got to be more to the game, is what I'm saying. Okay, skirmishers. You can raise one additional skirmisher warrior. Each time you critically strike, your skirmisher warrior's next attack critically strikes and deals 50% bonus critical strike damage. Can only happen once every three seconds. Why? Why? Would, would be using these guys for damage be overpowered or something? I'm like, I'm like, I'm curious here. I'm curious what the reason for that restriction is. Why would they all die because I got the ability to raise one more? It okay. done. Collection of two-handed weapons. Collection of boots. Okay, you know what? Dedomancer would like her boots, okay? Give me them booties. 
Uh, I guess we also got a chest piece. Thorn strength and dexterity. Is that her tattoo or is she wearing like a little thing in there? Okay, stats, movement speed, essence cost reduction, and that's resist. I don't care about resist. Okay. So, okay, I mean, that's cool ish. Enemies hit while afflicted with Decrepit 5, a 10% chance we stun. Oh, okay. Okay, so I farm Grim Favors. And then I return here and get items. But it's only if you're on adventure mode? I cannot do that to you. Everyone winded me to make a female character, so I was like, okay. F All my skeletons were dead. I forgot. Oh. Okay, well that's a bit mean. Okay, let me, let me, let me think. Mr. N, you thought this was a hot dude? Mr. N, I think, uh, I think you've learned more about yourself today. I only have the one dodge. Okay, I literally don't know what to do about this situation. They're like... The minimum level is fucking 30! It's because I went to an area to do the Tree of Whispers, then I walked out, not thinking to myself, then it respawned me to a point where now I'm just dying repeatedly. Yeah, well, time waits for no one. I, I don't really know, like, how do I de-aggro them? Did they never think about this? That the people going for the Tree of Whispers rewards might end up at the Tree of Whispers? The area where you make them go to? Literally, how do I get out of this? Wait, I'm actually confused. I'm not ready. This safe area, I'm supposed to, okay, so I need to somehow do this. I need more time. And if I ever misclick, it starts attacking a mob and I die.
It's proof that the game respects you and doesn't hold your hand. I appreciate that. Are you fucking trolling me? Um... Someone said it respawns me at the town. Okay, I have like a, a... What what can I do with this, chat? Oh my god. There is a fake! Yeah, I don't know about you, but I don't think uh, it should do that. You know, respawn you in an area where you just get fucked. First little opinion. Dude, it's because, okay, if you want, uh, the, the problem with when we play Warhammer, Hildrick, is so many people take those battles and they're like, this is literally unlosable because they think against the AI that, like, the AI will just, like, stand there and let them, you know. Why do I have so many different ones? Okay, I kind of like the blue. Dead honest, kind of like this blue. Oh, because I have these for my, um... What you call him? Are we going for like a Death Lord look? Is she a Death Lord chat? I don't know. She's kind of like an Edge Lord, not a Death Lord. Are we going for red? I kind of like blue better. Do I have Bone Weave gloves? No. Well, but that's red. I don't like the red. I don't think she'd have a skull. She'd probably want to have a skull, but then she wouldn't. Nah, but if we just do this, the only way to do this is just go full sovereign then, to just go red. Does she look good in red? I don't think she looks good in red. I don't like the red. It don't, it don't work, Jet. The red don't work. I like the the bone weave, but the issue is I don't have other bone weave pieces unlocked. So I'd have to make something up as I went along. And that kind of works, but then we're doing blue, black, and red? What is this, Chad? This is stupid. This will never work. So you can just kind of do like an open hand type deal? And that kind of works, right? Eh, good enough. Okay, I don't like how she kind of walks, like, eh, 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 but she's got, like, the gloves on. First off, why would they make her walk like that? Eh, eh, I just noticed that. Eh, eh. Why is she walking like that, but now she's got the, the armored plate gloves on? Like, what? No, but red looks terrible. We can't do red. We need something that looks like... God, I just... They got the two sets of gear, but I don't have enough from them. Let's just do the hand wraps. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. She runs like Steven Seagal, yes.
I cannot do that here. I mean that that kind of works for her, right? I cannot do that here. I haven't seen anything about Total War Pharaoh. I, I kind of looked into it, but then the problem was they revealed that they were like, um... Wait, there's like no quest rewards here. They're all over here, but that's level 20! Chat, do I look like I'm level 20? Buy cosmetics? None of the cosmetics look good. The only, the only waifu cosmetics are also for sorceress, which is like, I'll be honest, expected, but how come goth girls get nothing, Chet? I cannot do that here. Do you know that unicorns ride on their back only virgins? Well, Chad, you guys could all ride unicorns then. Think of the positives of your life now. So what does this one gather spirit anima? I keep thinking I'm playing, um, Druid, and I keep running into melee, and, uh, let's just say it's not gonna end up well for me. It's locked. What are we doing here? Um, defeat the Ice Clan Elder and find the corpse. Where's the corpse? It's around here. How long do we have? Six minutes? Chad, quick, I need to find a body. Not these bodies, these, these don't count. Or those bodies, that ones also don't count. Also, apparently that one doesn't count. I suspect it might be the one over here. I don't know why. I just get that feeling. Why am I doing dungeons? Doing dungeons is stupid on this character. The other character is the one who's trying to clear the world. Nah, screw it. Let's just kill them all. You know that old saying, chat? Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. In chat, kill all the chatters. Kill all the chatters. Kill them all. Don't let them know you're gonna kill them. Kill them all. <laughs> Yeah, dungeon XP is best, but I'm trying to experience the world, you know what I mean?
Man, these enemies just don't want to tank. I can't even use my combos because they're just dying so quickly. Okay, when we manage an enemy with decrypified by 2% on healing, they're imp instantly killed. And he's hit while afflicted, have a 50% chance to reduce your active cooldowns. I don't have cooldowns. Enemy horde incoming. I mean, they're free to try, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I don't know if it's a good idea for them. At this point, I don't think I need to do any gear ring. I think, uh, I think my character might be pretty good. Oh, a helm. She's got a crown now. Are there at least world bosses in adventure mode? Or wouldn't have made it without you. Help, please. You're a I should level with someone or something. Is this content cleared yet? Damn, you guys just keep walking in and dying. Where are they coming from? I'm not picking up anything less than a yellow jet. I deserve the best. I will have the best. Damage distant enemies. Damage and life of your skeleton mages. Close enemies take more damage. Mods, we got the Hune Dingy, Maximum Essence Increase, Consuming a Corpse, Generates Two Essence, Gain Eleven Thorns, Damage and Health to Skeleton Warriors. Come, Skelly Boys! Get them, Skelly Boys! Me too. Yeah, I'm doing adventure mode right now. We're just, uh, leveling. See, the thing is, because of Hewn Flesh, the more damage we deal, the more chance to create, uh, corpses. I know I keep explaining this, but I'm explaining it for people who don't, you know, grasp the situation. I'm not ready yet. Me neither. Greasy key. What? Kitty. 
I know the, the, the priest doesn't stack, but I'm just kind of using it as I leave that area. Sub... Sub... The dub... Yeah, they gig above Necromancer and everyone's been complaining like, Necromancer is so useless, meh. So I decided, okay, let's try it. I can't leave my friends here. Not like this. We, we can't do it alone. Sure you can. Oh my god, they just... They desperately need to add some of this shit to, like, the UI in a more intelligent position. Keeping my buffs up... I feel like I'm playing one of the very tedious Paradox games. You better be giving me some fucking yellows. Chat, I... I think we killed him. Bone spirit, corpse tendril. Veins pop out of a corpse, pulling in enemies, stunning them for three seconds, and dealing damage to them. Does not consume the corpse. What do you think of that, kitty? What do you think of that, kitty? What do you think of that, kitty? And what do you think of that, kitty? What do you think of that, kitty? Is corpse tendril any good, even? When a corpse is formed by your from your skills, your minions fortify your base health. Interesting. Now that is actually interesting. Okay, do I have any whites on yet? No. Hmm. I, I'm just wondering, because like, okay. I could go for a fortify, and then I'm getting lots of corpses on hued flesh. I could swap off decompose over to Reap, but Reap does no damage. 12%? That's like, zero. Twelve percent might as well not exist. Okay. Let's try Reap. And let's try Acolyte's Reap. So we can get like damage reduction. And then let's just continue to buff up our Skelly Melee boys. Melee Skelly boys. Okay, everyone who's fetish is girls with big sides, just... Keep it in your pants. That's just like no damage, look at this!
Well, okay, so I guess it is an AoE. I'll give you that. Hold on, if I've gone to Reap... If I've gone to Reap, and I'm wondering then... Alright, we have Reapers. Every damage, every 10 chickens. Immobilize, slowed, stun, or vulnerable, reduce the cooldowns of their powerful mind of attack. Hmm. Dude, Rathma was a win for goth boys everywhere who wanted to be taken seriously again. Okay, but do I have slows? I think I do have slows, right? Yeah, blight slows. So actually, we could go for reapers with the reaping attack. Yeah, my curse is an AoE slow too. I'm just gonna try out a bunch of things while I'm leveling this. Okay, the problem with this build is this ability fucking sucks at bosses for very obvious reasons. Okay, the thing is I'm going infinite. My corpses are creating more corpses by doing damage, so I'm creating an infinite chain of corpses right now. Yeah. Well, is there a melee one? I mean, maybe I should just go with the melee one. What do you think, Kitty? What do you think, Miss Meow Meow? Anything? He just sitting here being adorable. He just, he just. The thing is, you guys probably don't notice it. She, she's literally like looking at the door entrance. So she pretends she's playing like a guard right now. She's just like, yes, I'm doing a very good job, aren't I? I'm such a good kitty. Yes, kitty, you're adorable. <laughs> Didn't I get the waypoint down here ever? That's annoying. Bone spear? I mean, I could do a bone spellcaster, sure, but that's just not what I'm going for. I was gonna do minions, and then I thought, like, maybe I do, like, a scythe build where I melee along with my minions. Now I'm kind of regretting it, because bosses are just gonna turn and one-shot me. They're gonna be like, wait, go for the girl. I'll be like, wait, that's sexism. Yeah, Kitty just sits here like stupid humans leaving his back open. Don't worry, I'll guard. I 
need time to do that. So the quote powerful attack the reapers do, is this worth like building for? I feel like if I'm doing this build, I don't really want Corpse Explosion, but that's the only Shadow skill here. I guess I could just go without a Shadow skill here. Hmm. But the other skill is a ranged one. What do you think, Kitty? 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 She's ignoring me now. Maybe we create too many corpses. Like, I'm not really sure what it is, but our damage is a bit fucked up right now. Huh. I haven't even been picking up loot. I feel like the other skill was better. Yeah, but what do I do with all these corpses? Do I have like a... Do I have an ability that like consumes them all in mass or something? Cause like... You know, I'm not really... I'm not really getting anything out of having this many corpses. something sacrifice because I kind of they still coming So anyway, I might I might be be creating. I might be be creating. I might maybe be 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 maybe be 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 creating too many corpses now. 
Is there like an ability that consumes more corpses or something? Because we might maybe be 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 creating too many corpses. <laughs> Damage energy enemies with your darkness skills increases your movement speed with darkness pursuit, crippling darkness. Darkness skills have a 15% chance to stun. Gloom! When you damage your energies with darkness skills, they take 22% increased shadow damage from you and your minions for two seconds. I remember that. That's pretty good. Darkness skills increase. Deal 3% bonus damage to enemies who are slowed, and 3% bonus damage to enemies who are stunned and immobilized. These bonuses stack and apply to shadow damage dealt by your minions. Okay, so do skeleton warriors deal shadow damage? How, how do you tell what kind of damage they deal? Okay, you guys... Hmm, okay. Someone replied to a message I couldn't even see, and it was kind of amusing to me. Okay, what do I want to do here? How do I tell if they do shadow damage? Hmm. Oh shit, I haven't even chosen a skill yet. Did we cap out our warriors? Let's just cap out our skeleton warrior mastery for now. We're just cleaving through. We got the scythe boys, Chad. Get them, scythe boys! Chad, I call ourselves the scythers. I cannot do that here. Don't have golems or mages yet. I will soon. Slay werewolves. Fair enough. Okay, we completed that. Now we need to do a dungeon. Yeah, they giga buffed golems, by the way. So, you might have been noticing that a lot of people are complaining. Quote, this sucks. But, uh, hopefully then this has been fixed. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you were a scythe, you'd be a simple scythe. What's the point of having a class that doesn't start scaling until post 50 like Druid? At that point, great, you're bored with the game. What's the fucking point? It's not like there's endgame content. It's not like there's like raids or something. I'm like actually just, I don't understand because I thought the endgame was going to be so much more. I'm just sitting here like not understanding my life right now. How do I only get rares for rares that have already rared?
Like, I feel like uh, this will probably fall off at some point. Because, like, this is only doing- the site is only doing 12% damage. It's pretty shit damage in the grand scheme of thing. It's just I rolled up such a weirdly above average weapon that my guys are just killing everyone. This is like the one time where I hoped some of this stuff was more automated. Normally I complain that these sorts of games are too automated. And like you have too many things where it's like cast a spell which casts a spell which casts a spell. So like you have one ability which is both the get closer and a single target nuke and a multi target nuke and it summons corpses which it then explodes, right? But in this game, it's just like, I have too many corpses. What do I even do with this many corpses? This is way too many corpses. Skeleton mages are level 15. Um, I don't really like any of this stuff, so let's just start upgrading our skeleton mages. We get them next level anyway. Also, chat... My headcanon is that my necromancer was a pop star before she started necromancing. And this is actually her band, and she raises them back from the dead to try to remember the good old days. Yes, I'm making this up as I go along. This stuff, this ability needs to search, by the way. It needs to search for corpses in a larger radius. Especially with how much, like, the vision can be distorted so easily. It's absolutely ridiculous that you have to, like, pinpoint corpses. Because, like, yeah, like, your vision can get distorted so easily by skeletons, by graphical effects, by... I mean, just this ability alone? Ah, oh, yes, find the corpse, chat! Where is it? There wasn't one. Okay, where's the corpse? There it is. Yeah, it's annoying. Ah, oh, shit, there are prisoners here. God, I always forget about that. I'm not ready yet. You're asleep. She's like anti-Seraphine. How did the shrine disconnect? Yeah, well, if the name of the ability is darkness, that doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to see through it. That's stupid. I kind of don't like how close I have to get to use this ability. I'm not quite melee, but I'm like melee enough that it sort of pisses me off. Where are my goddamn yellows? 
I need more essence. Also, my essence generation kind of sucks here. So we do have... Yeah, but the problem is this scythe item bar was 204. Don't worry, we only get yellows for shit that we already have in yellow. My god! Feel free to stop summoning shit. I have so many corpses to blow up. Ah, yes, two yellow weapons. Okay, we now have skeleton mages. Shadow mage! <laughs> Do you think they actually fixed the uh, mages to not run into melee now? Nope. Yep. Um. Okay, you technically are a rare sword. I kind of like the life on kill because then I don't die. I beg me to. How did that skeleton beg for help? Another yellow for an item we already have. That's crazy. Another yellow for an item we already have. That's crazy. Z, 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 Z. Okay, 8% maximum HP, 2.2% total armor. We lose thorns, we lose strength. Now this one is way higher item level, kind of bizarre. Stats, fire, and poison resist. I'm going to go with the higher tier one. Because I'm fairly certain armor transfers to your minions. How do we rate the game? How do we rate the game, Daniel? Do you like what you see? Dungeon complete. Doing a lot of the global objectives made this a lot easier. I'm not sure it would have been hard, but it definitely made shit easier. I can tell you that much. And the minion buffs are pretty good as well. I need one more grim favor.
So what does this do? Uh, damage and healing. If I can keep it up. That's the buff duration right there. It gives 20% damage, 10% healing. My skeletons are just kind of massacring everything, so... I guess you just keep their buff up and we don't do anything. Game is $70. Yes, indeed, my good friend. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna... I don't know. Wait, which one's better? Are you better at strength, intelligence, poison resist, movement, speed, essence, skills, addiction, level stats? Um, that's higher level. I'm just gonna go for a higher level shit. Cause, um, that gives armor. Whisper unavailable. I gotta go travel to my tree friend. Oh wait, well that sucks. Cause I'm gonna, be lo I'm gonna lose my waypoint. Bitch. They couldn't have thought of a better system for this. Because now I'm not going to be able to go back to that area. Hmm. Chat, I don't know if I'm a big fan. Won't lie to you. I'm sensing a flaw. Because, um... Let's get real closer to this one. Uh, helm. Leg guards. Two-handed weapons. Do I have leg guards? Yes. I just upgraded my home. I just upgraded my leg guard. That's you. Well, actually, that weapon seems the most out of date then at this point. That's got a two-handed weapon. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? Now, I want to stick with the sight, though. Oh, we got uh, this thingy. Blight Sever Bloodlands! Critical strike damage, 12 all stats. Okay, so which one's the best? Wait, none of them is the best. Critical strike damage. I mean, I don't crit. I don't crit. I don't crit. Okay, I'm not gonna walk out of here because I walk out of there, I will die. I will die. It won't be funny. I, it'll probably be funny for you guys, I'll admit. But you guys are also assholes. So fuck you, actually. Get real close to the mic. Maximum annoyance. I provide a steady blah, 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 blah. That's what you provide. You provide blah, 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 blah. I just want to do the quests here, because screw it. Um, gem wombs. Um, is my stash shared? I don't have a stash here. Hmm. But it is one handed? No, it's two handed. That's two handed as well. Those are two handed, my dude. My husband feels Can I put my can can I treat this like Diablo 2 and just put giga high level gems in low level weapons and then it just sort of breaks the game? A Lamau. Armor. Damage reduction. Okay, so what? What do I want from you? What's our primary stat? Intelligence. Really? I don't feel intelligence. Do my skeletons get thorns? Ah, oh, shoot. Someone said your skeletons get thorns, right? Um, Max life is always good. But 70 thorns early game? That feels ridiculous. That could definitely break the game. Okay, yeah. Increase the amount of thorns. That you're Wait, is it only warriors? No. It should be everyone. So all skeleton mages get thorns. Okay, we're gonna break the game a bit then. I'm not powerful enough yet. Shit. 
What are you powerful enough for? I guess level 20? Level 20? I only got one of these. 12 thorns? That's so small! No way! Ah, well, fuck it. We'll just shove the anything in here then. Doesn't really matter. Do we even need to? Like, honestly. Does it matter, chat? Does it really? Well, our materials should still be shared, right? Probably. You can take what's left. Let's have a look at you. Okay, let's go craft some potions of XP getting as well. Well, you said kettles hot. Crafting materials. Elixir. Ah, salt elixir. Oh, I don't want to use that on her, though. The iron barb elixir is probably the best. Let's get, like, six of these. Because that one just gives, um, armor, thorns. If you ever make a character, by the way, chat, if you ever make a character and you just want to... If you're ever playing, like, a barbarian or druid or anything, and you, you're, like, bored, you just want to get through the early game content, probably because your character sucks. Not like my character. My character is amazing. But if you ever just want to level a druid or barbarian or rogue, or actually, rogue's not bad. So if you ever want to level a druid or a barbarian, you get weak iron barb elixirs, and it'll just obliterate the content. Trust me on that one. I'm getting water. You never played a melee character, so your early doesn't suck. Okay, but consider have you ever shut up? I'm not ready yet. I just wanna to get to the golem. Oh right, we have another point. Scully Mage Okay, we've kinda of just lazily maxed out our skeletons right now. Kinda of just lazily maxed out our skeletons. Actually, I just thought about it. We can get decent XP just walking to our area. Because, uh... The skeletons will just clear all the content for me. I'm sorry, do you want me to go, like, blood? Yanapuri, is this not content good enough for you? Look at this content. Look at this. This is some good stuff right here. Oh yeah. Look at them running around clearing stuff. You don't really get content like this unless you get it from me. Well, actually, pretty much anyone can do what I'm doing. Because I'm not actually doing anything. Yeah. 
This isn't League? Dude, holy shit, you're right, this isn't League of Legends. Okay, where is Deadman Johnson? I need to find Deadman Johnson. Dead man. Johnson. If I had to wager, he'd be up there. How are Knights Penitent dying to ghouls? Really? No? Huh. Does it count the other shot? Nope, of course it wouldn't. How frustrating. Where is this goddamn? Okay, you know what? Let's just kill these people. I'm gonna kill everything quicker than I can even do anything. Seriously, they are. Hmm. A champion of evil accepts your challenge. Runs up, instantly gets stunned, dies. See a Marcus Livia Selenator. Fine. I will try a blood build. Hemorrhage. 25% damage, 20% chance to form a blood orb. After picking up a blood orb, your next time rage also deals damage to enemies around your target and grants two additional essence per enemy hit. Additional attack speed when healthy. I guess we got the additional attack speed when healthy. Blood surge. Draw blood from enemies. Dealing 51 to 20. Okay, so we do 20% damage, expelling a blood nova for 50% damage. Blood surges nova is increased by 10% per enemy drained up to 50%. Bloodlands. There are bloodlands that lingers in an enemy for 3 seconds, dealing 80% damage to the enemy and all other lanced enemies. I kind of like Blood Surge. Heals you 2 per max health and drawing blood from enemies. If 4 more enemies are drawn from, then heal for an additional 2.5%. Um... Okay, so we can fortify. If we're big fortify, we deal more damage. Okay, but... Okay, so we can overpower. Okay, we're gonna do an overpower blood build. Blood mist! Dispel into a bloody mist. Cool. Uh, becoming immune, your movement speed is reduced by 20%. You periodically deal 2% damage to enemies and heal for 0.5% of your max health. Um, casting a skill that overpowers reduces the cooldown of blood mist. Okay, so we have to... So how do we get overpowered? Okay. Uh, an enemy is damage of blood surge when we are healthy, then we get a stack of overwhelming blood. So we overpower enemies, then we get more immune. Okay. Uh, blood mist leaves behind a corpse. We don't really care. We can go for fortify? Well, what do we use corpses for? I don't think we actually use corpses, do we? 
So I guess we just go for the fortify. I mean, it could help, I guess. Consuming corpses generates essence. Detonate a corpse. Thorns? Hmm. You get thorns, or a corpse, or essence. Hmm. There's nothing really blood buffing here. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything blood buffing here. Yeah, I think we just put more points into left mouse button. But then once we get to this tree, there's still nothing. Oh, okay, we could do dust and brace. Yeah, okay. Close enemies. I mean, it... Okay, we just go for close enemies. Deal less damage to me and take more damage. Okay. And then... Not cursed. Not distant. I guess we just finish off our left mouse button. Okay, when below 50% health, you receive more healing. Blood orbs! Heal your minions. Okay. When healthy, your blood skills deal increased damage. Hitting enemies with blood skills has a chance to fortify. Your blood skills deal increased overpower damage. This bonus is doubled when you're healthy. Yeah, Lilliness, that is indeed what I'm trying to do. Um, what's for shadow? Okay, I guess we go. I guess we just buff our overpower, right? Or we could also buff healing our minions. Yeah, I think we go for healing our minions for now. And we can get a little bit of fortify as well. I'm, I'm kind of just doing the everything build. Fuck it. Well, we're not really relying on our minions to do damage. So we're just going to go to skeleton defenders. Our skeleton mages, we don't have anything else yet. So what do you do? You have a chance to generate a blood orb. And then you consume essence. And then if we're healthy, we get overwhelming blood. And then if we have overwhelming blood, it overpowers. Okay. I'm just trying to understand my synergy here. So skeleton dudes are currently just tanky little bitches. Blood Necromancer recently got a huge buff, so it was actually pretty over or sorry, underpowered. My sweet Fyodor. So Okay, and then we need to track okay, good. This number here tracks how many blood surges we're on. Fantastic. So now I need to look down for numbers here, and numbers here, and numbers here. That's fucking awesome. Oh, heavens. No. No. Such sights I have witnessed. Such pleasure, such pain. 
I must have more. What? Fyodor? Uh, how is it that you... More! Please, go after that woman who did this to him! More! 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 Please! <laughs> It's no surprise Fedor was drawn to me. But I So we only have one left click though. We only have one left click that's actually melee. His petty mm. soul has been torn asunder by agony and ecstasy, but his flesh is unyielding. You will not interfere. <laughs> So we only have a 20% chance to create a blood orb, though. That just feels kind of shitty, not gonna lie. If it's a reward you want, take the dagger from his chest and leave me be. Is he dead though? I think we could fix that right up, you know? I like how your skeletons actually go in front of you. That's pretty cool. The, the little defenders actually like- look at that, that's actually pretty cool. I like that animation. Wait, wait, look at that. They like form like a little shield wall in front of you? Mr. Necromancer, get down! So how do I... okay. This seems really shit against bosses, I'm not gonna lie. The damage doesn't really feel like it'll be here. Feels like I'd be relying pretty heavily on my uh, summons. But then why am I doing blood? I guess that's why blood got buffed, right? What level am I? 16? I guess I'm supposed to be over here now. Is it really that tanky though? I mean, is it really? That's kind of the problem I'm having. Is it- Is it really that tanky? Not really. Actually. Fortify, um, doesn't actually reduce the- it, it reduces damage you take, it doesn't block it. So, you know. It's not as good as you're thinking, is what I'm trying to say. Daughter of hatred demands blood. <sighs> And healing only- I mean, you saw how much my- my werewolf healed, right? A lot. But there's only so much that can do when enemies can actually one-shot you. Um... Unless you are healing to full on every attack. It, uh... Okay, my minions are kind of being little kill-stealing bitches right now. It's kind of pissing me off, not gonna lie. 
I can't do anything. I didn't even put points in them. They're just killing everything. Also, this left click. What what kind of an animation? It's so lame. want you can watch on YouTube now what points in them I, I know I had I had I had I had a, a, a build going with that Empyrean bite rare to head inside them. and booty boot upgrades Booty boot boot booty boot 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 booty boot 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 booty boot 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 booty booty boot 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 Oh wait I'm already at my ult wait that's every ability? Oh my god I did not notice I was already done Wait now what? This is it? This is all of blood? Huh. Wow. Every- this feels very unfinished, I'm not gonna lie to you. I- I think they really need to, like, add four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty abilities. I mean, not that much. At least, I think- I think they at least need to add, like, seven abilities to every class. There's just specs and shit just aren't fleshed out. So I need to choose two more abilities? Like, I feel like I'm a two button class. I'm a. Where and where? Where, 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 where? Okay, this is not a lot to go on, honestly. It feels like blood is an afterthought. No wonder blood's underpowered. It just ended up the new werewolf. Blood's just the new werewolf. Well, shit, now what? Can we turn Corpse Tendril into a blood ability, maybe? Oh, okay, we can. I'm gonna get some points back here. Why is that not a blood ability? I need more time. That looks like a blood ability to me. Corpse Explosion. And I'm going with Corpse Tendril. It doesn't consume the corpse, but it does this. And then it stuns enemies. And then, does it pull them in? Yeah, it does pull. Okay. So it pulls in enemies, so then I can get the Giga Stun. You know what I mean? I feel like I should start with the map revealed. It's kind of actually just... It's not, it's not hard, it's just annoying. The problem is I'm doing too much damage to even kind of learn how my abilities work. They just instantly die. Dude, every class needs like, honest to god, no exaggeration, like six more abilities. The problem is you can only play each spec one way because there's just not enough abilities to support playing it any other way.
If anyone sees a body, tell me. That apparently doesn't count. I feel like they ended up making the skeletons too tanky. And now it's actually kind of stupid. Because they never fucking die! Which means they clear all the content for me, man. Okay, am I blind or am I just not finding this? The minion scale? Well, they supposedly do now. Shadow damage, damage to distant enemies, overpower damage. Wow, that damage is overpowered. It's overpowered. The damage. It's overpowered. It's overpowering damage. Anyone see this body anywhere? Okay, I'm lost. I did play the server slam and I did play beta testing. Not like, you know, like the public ones, not like not like, you know, on my own. Cuz I have zero points in these skelly boys. Yeah, there's just not enough content in each class to support um, more than maybe three or four viable specs. And they act like there is, and there's just not. Like, even when we look at like the end nodes, okay, so Necromancer's got leniently four builds he can do. And even then, it's like, honestly, I honestly think this game needed four more months. Four more months in the... In the bin. In the, uh... Old development cycle. Oh my god, so it's just like... Screwing with me. Four more months. That's what it needed. Flesh out... Honestly, five months? Maybe half a year, even. Flesh out like five or six new packs of enemies. Do uh six new abilities for each class. Add more legendaries. Do some more balancing. It's clear based on the fact that they just like emergency hotfix nerfed all the scaling in the game. That it's clear that they did not understand that the players got way too powerful way too quickly. And the end game actually ended up being way too easy. That's honestly, it it sounds like good from them for doing it, but at the same time, it's like you're telling me, like like legitimately, you're telling me 
the game was out for three days in early access, and they had to emergency hotfix nerf Paragon scaling by 64%. Like, they overshot the amount of scaling people should have by more than double. And here's the thing. Players are still overpowered. Okay, so we have corpse tendrils. 30% chance to block a blood orb. But what do blood orbs do for me? They heal from max HP, but can I increase my max HP? Can I do that? Blood orbs also heal your minions. Okay, let's do while healthy your blood skills deal more damage. Okay, let's go for that. Doesn't this just go to the left and then it doesn't actually go out? I'm pretty sure that's true. But D2 had the same amount of bills per class just because no one used the shitty abilities. D2 is 23 years old! We got time to test shit. Blood, okay, let me put it this way in the most lenient way possible. Blood should have enough abilities to fill a fucking toolbar. Blood should be picking and choosing between two or three different abilities. It shouldn't be going, well shit, I don't even have enough to fill a toolbar. Am I being ridiculous, Chad? I don't think so. Like, you're saying that there were shitty abilities, but I guess my issue is... Why have we not learned in 23 years? That is my first problem. My second problem is, why didn't they even bother to add abilities? Blood just doesn't seem to even synergize with the core design of the class, which is minions. Okay, sure, I can remove minions, but the buffs you get from removing minions are so insignificant. The only real advantage is, I guess you don't have to resummon them, sure. And then blood itself doesn't seem well thought out either, if you want me to be blunt. Why is my basic ability ranged, but then my other ability is melee, but then, like, the synergy is about being in melee. Then the other ability is ranged. So, like, am I, is, is blood supposed to be melee or ranged? And then you think about it, but then their core defining ability, blood mist, is also about going invulnerable in melee. And then draining enemies around you in melee. Do you see the problem here? Maybe it like turns on later? Like. You don't see the problem? Okay, so there's four blood abilities. One, two, three, four, and an ultimate. Five. Okay? So there's four blood abilities. Two of them are ranged. Two of them are melee. But, do you see the problem? I could only fill a toolbar with two abilities. And, and my basic ability... ...is ranged. You gain increased armor when dealing any form of damage. Wow, awesome, wonderful, cool, brilliant. I can't really use that. Okay, let's go for... Well, hold on here. Currently this deals 108. Now it has... <laughs> okay, maybe not. I lost a good bit of damage there.
But it's not even about it being an on-rails experience. It's actually quite, in fact, in my opinion, too difficult of an experience. So, like, you have this weird blood orb synergy, right? How do I get blood orbs? Exactly. Let, let me look. Let me actually look. Is there a way to generate blood orbs? I can create a shitload of corpses for the other abilities because that seems to... Well, you know, to be blunt... That seems to have been actually designed well. Like, it, it truly feels like blood was added as an afterthought. I don't even know why I'm trying blood. It's infuriating, and I'm literally just playing a minion build, but shitty. I don't know what to say. Blood does not feel... flushed out. I don't want to do... I don't want to do necromancer... Or, or, sorry, um... What do you call it? I don't want to do Werewolf Part 2, where I'm clearly playing a class that was not designed properly. So, I'm going to go ahead and swap back over. Try Bones? Okay, screw it. Let's try Bones. That looks dumb. That's not even- I thought- I thought at least I'd shoot out like, you know, like, shoo, like, bone project- This? Really? Did they run out of time in development? Nah, I'm not even trying to be insulting. You cannot tell me this looks like bones. This is bones? The fucking D2 animation looked better! Am I even exaggerating when I say that? No, no, seriously. Okay, hold on here. I, I swear I'm not exaggerating. I swear I'm not exaggerating. Honest to God, it looks better. It has like little circles and shit going around it. And it just, it looks like the same. Here's, okay, here's a fucked up part. At best, you can say this looks like a side grade. At best. This can look like a side grade. A game, 23 fucking years later. Guys, it was made to look like this in Diablo 2 because people were playing on Windows 95 with integrated video cards. That's why it looked like that. It's 2023. Make it look like a fucking bone. I beg. Are we going for a ranged bone or melee bone? This, this is the animation. 70 bucks. 70 bucks. 70 fucking bucks. Are we gonna do shotgun? Let's do shotgun. We're gonna do shotgun bone. Okay. Bone spear. It's, it's literally the same fucking animation. It's like they literally just ported it in from D2. There's like a little graphic in the in the middle and that's it. 
I'm out of essence. Seriously, there's a little graphic in the middle. Does it even have an explosion? Let, let me shoot something with it. You. Nope. Nope. What the fuck am I paying for then? Where is my $70 going? This is as bad as Sorcerer. I thought Sorcerer was bad. Wasn't this class made last? Okay, no, 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 no. There is... Okay, there's a very... It's hard to notice. There's a very faint bone falling off them animation. I'll give them that. No, no, I, I got to I gotta give them that. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see the bone animation? It's like the bones are like... I have rank one in all the abilities, by the way. That's why I'm doing no damage. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. I put four points in my abilities. I'm doing more damage than Druid. I'm not. I'm not even exact. I'm. I'm literally not. I'm not even making a joke. I'm making a statement. Do, are we going for vulnerable? I should probably do the vulnerable build. Okay, bone prison. Okay. So I guess we're doing like a kiting build. Are we doing a melee build or a kiting build? Yeah, dude, for for seventy dollars, it should look like a goddamn bone, and when it it should like fucking. But no, man, like come on. So we're doing a long-ranged bone build. Okay, well, I need to... I should probably make my skeleton warriors tankier then. Because I need two points to get up there. I think we go for skelly tanks. And I want to drop this then. Okay, let's put a point here. Take a point out here. Okay. So, bone splinters, enhanced bone splinters, initiates bone splinters. Okay. 20% chance to make them vulnerable. Makes the first enemy hit vulnerable. No, 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 no. We want to go to increased crit chance and splintering. Okay. Then... Let's double down on the skelly boys to make them tankier. All right, hexes. Of which there's only two! Okay, I know it might sound like I'm being angry, but it's because this is fucking stupid. Imagine you have an entire node. You have all, you have, you're very limited. There's not... But there's only fucking two here to- oh no shit! I had no fucking abilities! Why are there only two to- oh my god. Wait, they literally rushed this game by like six months. They made Necromancer like three months ago, didn't they? They literally put out the bare fucking minimum. There's three here. Five here. So they finished their- their one. They probably needed a fifth, maybe even a six tier one ability, right? So then they put out their tier two abilities. They were doing good. Then they were like, the game's launching in two months. And they were like, what? what? Necromancer's not done. Game's launching in two months. What do you got? Um, like bone prison and corpse explosion? Good. That's your next tier. What do you have up next? Hexes? What do they do? We haven't even made them yet. J j ship! Ship! You got two! Ship! What do you do for your last tree? I, 
I, we, we got nothing. Okay, so you got like, um, corpse explosion again, but it, but now it unexplodes and pulls people. What do we do for the other one? Uh, fuck it. Uh, what was in D2? Bone spirit? Bone spirit. Good. Ship it. Good. That's what this feels like. Jesus Christ. I did not notice how bad this was until now I'm looking at the... This is insane. It feels like they were trying to do a healing Iron Maiden thing, but the problem... The problem is that no one can tank on the higher difficulties until you're already at the point where you win the game automatically. Like, if you're already at the point where you're taking like 95% reduced damage or whatever the cap is, if you're already at that point, it doesn't really matter because you're going to be doing so much damage that you one-shot everything. Like... Okay, I guess we'll go for damage. I, I mean, do I even need a curse? Curse feels more if you're doing, like, well, I've already read the sub-skills. I mean, it's for minions. You curse enemies. Let's see, so you Iron Maiden, heal for 5% of your max health when an enemy dies while afflicted by Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden no cross essence. Said it gain 5 essence for each enemy cursed. So, if you're not using a left click, then you go Iron Maiden. Are you literally just supposed to be doing? Well, wait, but you would have to put three skills here to move on. Do I need a curse if I'm doing bone? What What is bone synergy? It's essence. Bone needs to generate essence for bone spirit. But Quick problem here, Blizzard. That means you have three your four bone abilities and two of them take essence. So really, you only have three bone abilities in total, because two of them are both taking essence to cast. Okay, whatever. I, I don't... Um... I guess... Okay, I guess we could go for Decrepify. Reduce cooldowns. Enemies hit while afflicted by Decrypt have a 50% chance to reduce your active cooldowns. That makes sense. Move on. Um, We need to make these warriors tanky, so let's max out Skeleton Warrior Mastery. We don't really care about mages. We do care about damage to distant enemies. Now we're at Bone Spirit. Enhance Bone Spirit to crit. So if it crits, the cooldown is reduced by six seconds. So then we just give it more crit chance, okay? Your bone skills have increased crit for each 10 essence you have upon cast. Can we increase our essence cap? Yes, we can. Yes, we can! Okay, then let's take off the damage to distant enemies. We don't need that anymore. In all honesty, we might just want to go to short range then and give this more crit chance. How many points do we have? We get one more point. Are we doing long range anymore? So this is just an AoE. So this will be our AoE. This is our single target. But we need this to crit. 
so reasonably... Hmm... Yeah, we're not doing long range anymore. We're just gonna shotgun our left click into a bone spirit. And then we'll just... See, do you notice how when I went blood... Do you notice how when I went blood, the build was, Duh, take this, because nothing else works. At least bone and minions, aka shadow, have something they can do, right? Now, the skelly boys are just going to be tankers. And my build's not over the place. The skelly boys are just there to tank. They're there to run up and take hits so that I can also run up and deal damage. It's not that weird when you think about it. I even have mage summons? Good question. Could I do anything with them? Oh, maximum essence increased. Bye, mage boys. And then, what is it? Bone prison generates. Hold on, I'm trying to like remember where my ability is. Wait, Bone Spirit also AoEs, guys. Okay, let's get the boys back up. No, because the point of decrepify Enemies hit have a chance to reduce our cooldowns, and we reduce Bone Spirit's cooldown. Get it? If it shines, bag it up. Burial fields haunted by So why do I even have bone spear? Watch for the dead and follow James' orders. If James is killed, Jumpo and Carla are in charge. Honestly, I feel like I just don't go bone spear. I just skip over bone spear and I just get both hexes to generate essence. Yeah. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just a bit fucking to me because I'm not used to pressing these buttons yet. I just need way more essence generation. Yeah. 
So the problem here is my... <laughs> problem is your Bone Spear. This, this is what I'm talking about. The problem is what, what's the point of Bone Spear in this build, right? Like, like, fundamentally, the issue is Bone Spear serves near Popris. Bone Spear might, honestly, might as well not exist. Um, it's like a non ability. Because anytime you go Bone Spear, you're just gonna go Bone Spirit, and it'll be better. And you can easily get Bone Spear, or so Bone Spirit off cooldown. Very easily. Okay, this build is. I don't know. I don't like it. It's like too finicky. Like I understand who it's there for, but it's too finicky for me. I I'm just gonna keep sword girl. Spear scythe. I tried sorcerer, I tried it in beta, I fucking hate it. It's so stupid. Um unbelievably terrible in every perspective, in every way, in every everything. Brutally, brutally dumb. Like, I literally got to level 20 as Sorcerer and I wanted to die. Can be more specific? The only single positive of Sorcerer was that it was overpowered. Every single build devolved into stack the shit out of one button, press fun button, and then you just pew pew, and then everyone just blows up, and you're like. <laughs> every other character, every other class is about pressing multiple buttons. It's about like having intense synergy and all that. Mage is just, it's like min maxing the fun out of the game taken to an extreme. Okay, the question is, do we like Blight or do we like Sever? Do we go with Reapers or do we go with Skirmishers? Let's say we go with Skirmishers. And then we go with Sever. And then we do increase damage for each minion we have. Then we go to Mages. We don't need a stun. I don't think so. Well, Rogue was kind of overpowered. It was fun, but it was kind of overpowered. They've nerfed it now, but yeah. Okay, so we go for Skeleton Warrior Mastery. Do we really need Corpse Explosion in this build? I mean, probably, I guess. I'm just wondering. Because what do we do with our essence in this build? We just spam sever? Is sever... I mean, blight... The enemies often run out of blight, so maybe it is better. But blight slows. But I'm not even using... Enemies are frozen by or damaged while frozen by your cold mage's primary attacker made vulnerable. But frozen by or damaged while frozen by your cold mages are made vulnerable. Is that good to be vulnerable? It's probably better than just an extra shadow bolt. Well, no, because don't we need shadow damage now that I'm thinking about it? Yeah, we have intense shadow synergy. Okay, so where are we? We've just made this into that. We've got sever. Does it do shadow damage? Shadow damage. Okay, we can see. Okay, shadow damage at the bottom. Okay. I was, I was a little blind. Not gonna lie. As our core curses, what curse do we even want? Do we want a curse? They buffed Army of the Dead, so I kind of want that. I'm gonna be honest. There's just not enough 
necromancer abilities to do anything fun, honestly. Fundamentally, that's the issue I keep running into. There's just not enough abilities. We could just generate a shitload... No, because that does physical damage. No. I guess we could just go for Iron Maiden. But what are we generating essence for? Right, but I mean, we could generate a shitload of essence. I mean, we can generate nine billion. I mean, are we even using a left click then? Or is left click just like a desperation move in this build? Are, are we only putting three points in here? To put them in here? Wait, we need to crepify. Why are we going to crepify? I assumed we just go Iron Maiden if we're going. Because if we're going skeleton. Oh, no, we're going skirmishers. Oh, my bad. Well, we could just go... Defenders with this ability and just make them basically unkillable and then enemies just slap into them repeatedly. Are skirmishers even going to scale into bosses? Yeah, but they nerfed vulnerable stacking like eight hours ago, question mark? I should probably just be leveling. I'd probably be like level 50 by now. I mean, not really, but. If I mean, if I'm, I mean, how long range is sever? Yeah, but I mean, if I'm sitting at this range, don't I want to at least heal so I don't get whittled away to pieces? Why would we go decrepify? A chance to be stunned. Do we have cooldowns that we care about? I don't think so. Last of it, I want to use Bone... Sorry, Army of the Dead, because I did buff it. Oh, well, hold on here. That's actually a good idea. Wait, wait, wait. Beep, beep, beep. We're backing up here. We could go for Decrepify into Army of the Dead, then use Decrepify to get Army of the Dead back. Yeah. Because Army of the Dead just got its cooldown reduced and its damage increased. So it might actually be worth playing for. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot of range. So wait, then why am I going reap? Hmm. Necromancer is supposed to play itself, but it seems like too much casting and micromanagement. Well, yeah, you're so you're you're it's a manager class. It's supposed to be. The whole necromancer should just walk forward and kill everything. Like, no, it, it's literally the, the manager class. You're supposed to be sitting here managing your dudes who then kill stuff. The way I look at necromancer, you're supposed to be sitting here in the back being like, all right, you guys got your buff? Y'all alive? Got your buff again? Everyone alive? You doing good? Need a debuff? Killing the boss? Good job, fellas, keep it up. Okay. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Okay, let's get the Skeleton Mage damage. I don't like this. I like this so far. Did we get... Do we need Hewn Flush? We probably need Hewn Flush. Okay, so we have Decrepify. We have the cooldown reduction. So we just need to reach Army of the Dead then. That's next level. That's literally right here. So what do we put the remaining points into? Thorns? Um... Did you just put it into... Well, okay, so we got the Skeleton Warrior, we got the Sued Flesh, we've got the Skeleton Mage. Does this include my Skeletons, or is this only me? It says you deal. Normally, if it infects your minions, it, it like, specifies. Uh, 
Does anyone know? Fueled by death. Does that affect your minions or not? Because it doesn't specify it does. Which worries me. Because this one just... This one doesn't say enemies you hit. This says enemies hit, right? So, like, it's clarifying that... Yes, your skeletons can proc Abhorrent and Decrepify, right? Like, it's not its not saying it outright, but it's, like, subtly hinting towards it, you know? Well, the only thing that makes sense is to go Field by Death, then. I think. So then next level, we get Army of the Dead. Okay. So the, the goal here is to just get to Army of the Dead repeatedly. I guess. I don't have golems yet. I will, but I don't yet. I'm low on essence. Oh, we can't generate corpses off those flies? Come on. They, if they cleaned up the UI, this shit would be so much better. They just need a clean UI where all relevant information is right here. Number of skeletons alive. You put that from here to here. Number of skeletons alive here. Buff duration of the skeleton priest here. Instead of down here. Um... God, there's other stuff too I can't even think of. Okay, so now we have Army of the Dead. Okay, so Army of the Dead just got Giga Buff too, by the way. Okay, but that, that didn't last very long. Okay, so then we use Decrepify to continue to generate more Army of the Dead. Enemies died too quickly for me to really, like, get a feeling. I'm using the wrong ability. There we go. Necropify has always been the best Necro curse. I don't know if it's the best, but it definitely is synergy with Army of the Dead spam. Dude, the UI is so bad right now, I want to die. For trying to play Necromancer, the UI is so bad. You're trying to like manage all this different stuff, you need to be like looking all around all the time. How much does my left click generate anyway? Four? Oh, that's per hit. Oh, I, oh, I see. Reap is a resource generator, whereas decompose is the damage. Dude, it's so tedious trying to... Oh, whatever. We'll see. Okay, 
where are these goddamn? I guess they're all over there. Oh, one of them. What are incest, angelic, demonic, ancestral powers? I need more time. You know, is it really worth keeping the skirmishers just to make reap do not reap sever do two percent more damage? I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh my god. Okay, could you just like stand here and die instead of being a dick? <sighs> Corpse is literally a main source of essence generation. Look there, we got the Skelly Boys. They're here, they're... Wow, this is bad. Really? This is the best they could figure out how to do? Wow. Honestly, I'm the dead damage on a boss. I'm sure I would just insta-murder them. They need a world three for new characters. Because, my god, I literally can't even, like, enjoy playing this class because enemies die so goddamn fast, there's nothing to enjoy. They're all just instantly dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do an army of the dead build, Jet. We're gonna try this. Okay, I think... Well, I mean, there's nothing left here to do. Do I have enough? No. Um... Oh, that was this 20 plus one, my 19? Down here. Oh my god, there's too much shit. I don't have a waypoint over here? That's just a dick move. I need time to do that. To walk? I guess you're not walking. Fair enough. I need time to do that. And for dude in chat, um, two hands bay, they they literally today buffed 
skeleton skirmishers buffed skeleton builds really hard, mind you. And, uh, yeah. That was, that was literally today they did that, like eight hours ago. Skeleton skirmishers got 10% more damage. Army of the Dead got 50% more damage, reduced cooldown. The talents around keeping your skeletons alive got buffed as well. So, they, uh, should be way more viable now. I need time to do that. I mean, as you see, early game, they're already, uh... Complete any event in the region. PvP. Do I need to be PvP here? The thing I don't understand about the PvP zones is you just don't flag and then you do everything here anyway. Like, what? Is there like a downside to not flagging for PvP? What do you mean you miss a werewolf? They just need to add a higher difficulty or something. Like, this is, this is kind of ridiculous. I haven't even gotten all the global world quest stuff yet. Like, I got maybe half the altars of Lilith and my characters are doing this. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I don't think you should be in a situation where I'm like, I'm gonna be like, alright, let's level against enemies five levels up because... I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm against enemies that are now six levels up. Do they die? Oh, my skilly boys got off. I need more time. <laughs> Skelly boys, stop dying, you bitches. I should just go back to the defenders. The skirmishers have a tendency to die, which then takes time away from my life. I'm not ready yet. Yeah. And them dying then means my uh sever does less damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm clearing enemies six levels above me. I'm trying to make this seem interesting. It's a werebear artifact. I think the problem with this build is I'm focused too much on doing my own thing and not enough on just dotting and buffing for the skeletons. I prefer dotting and buffing for the skeletons.
are not ready yet. Let's go to Army of the Dead Volatile Skulls Exposed. You have a 50% chance to leave behind a corpse. Army of the Dead raises your skeleton warriors. Also raises your skeleton warriors and skeleton mages. Oh. Like, I'm gonna take. You know what? I just don't like this build. It's like irritating because I can't manage my skeletons enough. I'm trying to. I, I like the idea behind it, but the left click, right click is just pissing me off. We're gonna we're gonna do the same thing but better. Also, we're swapping our defenders to defenders. I know they don't do much damage, but they're just there to tank. The the mages are here to do the damage. The skelly boys are here to tank. Know your role, chat. Let's go to decompose. Okay, let's go to Blight. Okay, let's see, let's grab Skeleton Warrior Mastery, Corpse Explosion, yep. Iron Maiden? Hmm. I'm trying to think here. I'm wondering if I want to go Iron Maiden. I mean, am I going Army of the Dead with this build? Yeah, I mean, I guess we're probably just going to go Army of the Dead. Okay. So we have the same idea, but more focused on dotting. Okay, then for this one, I don't think we really even want an ability here. So we have the Skeleton Warrior. We got the Skeleton Mage. Is that all the Skelly shit we got? Okay, let's go Grim Harvest. That seemed like a pretty good idea. Um, I kind of want to go to Imperfectly Balanced as well. Oh, wait, we need Hewed Flesh. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, this build... It's a lot easier to manage this build. Because, like, basically, I'm just. I can sit back at more range and put down debuffs and stuff and, like, look to see what needs to be done more often, you know? Like, I can physically stare and see what tasks need doing for the Skelly Boys. If that makes any sense to you. Where is this corpse? So yeah, we're, we're literally all the way back to the build we were doing before, but that's fine, I think. Find the corpse. Okay, I mean, I am. I am trying to find it. That is a slain villager. The only area it can be is over here. But it's not telling me it's over here. Yeah, Army of the Dead is like a super jihad. I can't move or use abilities, so it's annoying.
Where the fuck is this body? Am I blind or am I? It says right here. Okay. Find the corpse. Unless the corpse is like down here somehow, which I don't think it is. Unless it like spawned somehow like down here, maybe? That's the altar of Lilith. I already have that one. It just doesn't tell me. I mean, maybe it could have. Maybe it could have spawned down here. That's the only area. But why? That would be so dumb if it did it. I don't think it did it. Has anyone seen this? Am I crazy? Normally it would show up on the map once you were close to it though. Wait. It spawned up here. Okay. Nothing lives long enough for me to actually combo it. So we did that one. Uh, there's a dungeon one over here we could do. much money uh I leveled up my character I was it that was literally it. I just leveled up my character Thank <laughs> you. 
have... No. So, um, adventure mode doesn't have level scaling? That's weird. Well, how do you get to World 3, then? Do you just need to defeat the, uh, Capstone Dungeon? It's like, once you beat the Capstone Dungeon, you can get to, uh, Difficulty 3. But, like, Difficulty 3 is 53 difficulty minimum. Hmm, so that's what I'm talking about. There's an issue... Why was the red showing through? That was weird. It was showing like I still had uh, corpses to summon, but I didn't. Return the ancient statue to the pedestal. Well, they'll only summon with one button if I've armored the dead, mind you. The problem is people want minions to just clear the content for them, and that's just not what they want, and there seems to be a, uh, a war between the player base, so to speak. Like, a lot of people, like, they're like, if I ever have to resummon a skeleton, then this is a failed spec. And it's just like, that's, you're, you're, you're not, like, they're never gonna do that, is, is basically what it comes down to. Most fun class? I mean, well, what do you want to do? Because I think that's important to, uh... No. I was out of that. That's bullshit. Okay.
Increase damage of its primary target per line's enemy. Wow, that's useless. As blows are going against every ARPG convention ever set for necromancy. What is the ARPG convention exactly? As a serious question, what actually is the ARPG convention? That games should be really, really easy? Because that's being challenged by a lot of people. ARPG players seem to have this interesting idea that ARPGs should never be difficult, should always be easy. You should always be able to get to late game, which should also be hard, but they should always be able to beat it and shouldn't be hard, but it also it should be hard. How would you do that? It's a serious question. How would you make it so end game is difficult, but also extremely easy and anyone can do it? And I don't mean that to be funny, I mean that as like a legitimate question, because that's actually what people seem to want. They want to be able to beat the end game with any class, but also it should be challenging, but it can't be challenging because there's always broken shit. So even if you use slightly overpowered shit, the end game breaks down, you know? Okay, the build's a bit janky, but the idea is neat. It's just hard getting Army of the Dead back off cooldown enough times. Because, like, okay, you know... Yeah, the cooldown reduction is not proccing enough. Um, what was I gonna say? So basically, the problem fundamentally seems to be... Jeezy, you never told me what you want. What do you want, Jeezy? What do you want? What do you like doing? You know, do you, do you like punching people? Do you like stabbing people? Do you like shooting bows at people? Do you like... I mean, that's... Fundamentally, that's what you need... To know, and then from there... When did I get a legendary shield? Oh, a long time ago. Wait, I never even had an amulet. That's amusing. Fight hard, eh? Make the devils pay. Uh, Starcat, there's a lot of things you could do, but fundamentally, the issue with minions is you must... The player has to interact with their minions. You cannot have it anymore where, um... Minions just go up and clear the content for you. Because if the minions go up and clear the content for you, then the class is going to be way too easy. And if it's too easy, and they're trying to make the game at least somewhat challenging, you've seen with all the nerfs and shit, they're trying to make the game somewhat challenging, right? Um, then they... Yeah, I mean, they, they just... They need you to do something. A good necromancer has to be better than a bad necromancer if they're both using summons, you know what I mean? I'll be back. I need a little bit. I'm also going to try to order food.
I'm back. <sighs> yeah, and, and that's fundamentally. Fundamentally, the issue is bad necromancers need to not be able to clear content in order for, uh... In order for there to exist a world where they'll actually allow necromancers to be, uh, pickable, so to speak. I'm not even paying that many items, so I'm just gonna go back. But, uh, basically, they, 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 they want the game to be challenging. Now, they've been, obviously, uh... running into issues with that. And there's some clear usability issues with necromancers right now, let's say. Because, uh... The UI has not... It, it's, it's like an early access UI. Having to look into three different locations. Dares bring his um, army to the sacred place? Long have we endured their ignorance and false faith meddling with power beyond their understanding. Now they're the way to that fully eternity. <laughs> Um... And, and even now we're kind of seeing though one of the issues is uh... We're kind of seeing one of the issues now is, you know, as time goes on... And uh... You know, more and more necromancer builds are coming out... We're seeing, A, that a lot of people are ignoring minions, and, uh, B, the people that aren't ignoring minions, um, like me, as they continue to buff minions, well, now there's more builds out there that can kind of clear the content if you play your cards right and uh, min-max it well enough. God, like, like, look at this. This is what this is what frustrates me to death. I want to use that corpse. Why doesn't it just search for the nearest corpse? Why? I know it's like pretty lenient with like this. Why don't you just do it? Like, clearly, I'm trying to fucking use a corpse, right? I just don't know specifically where it is due to the fact I'm turning this into a toxic swamp. I know there's one here somewhere. Just cut me a break. Druids got nerfed a bit, but not the build I was using. The build I was using didn't get touched, actually. Increase damage broken by 6%, reduced by 2% for each active minion. Does this mean I can actually get a talent that increases the damage I take? 
Finally. Part of the problem is the second I summon the army of the dead, they massacre everyone. So, you know. Hmm. Hey, what do we got here? Um, every five seconds your skeletal your skeleton priest healing will heal your skeleton to an additional twenty percent of their max HP. If you've been healthy for four seconds, your minions gain attack speed. Bleh. Bleh. Damage your life with my golem seems nice. What are the other ones here? Minions cannot lose them. Oh, yeah, that's the one we want to go for. How close do you need to be for that one? How close is close? Keep in mind the priests take like 10 seconds to trigger the heal after a cast. <laughs> Why? That's the dumbest shit I've heard. I cannot catch a break here with the corpse generation. Is he just not giving me corpses? I don't think he was dropping corpses or something. Something was fucky wucky here is all I can say. If you trigger a priest before heal goes off, the timer also resets. What? So it just like doesn't work? Okay, where is the closest waypoint?
Aren't there supposed to be waypoints around here? Am I, am I blind? Uh, like, no, there's one here. I don't want to, like, go to the tree. Then I have to, like, go back here. I know this area wasn't one. I know it was weird. It wasn't anything. Yeah, there's a waypoint here. I think I can do level 35 content. Okay, well let's just get the waypoint first. Then we'll think about it. I need time to do that. Their system kind of sucks. I'll be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Also, horses are bugged. This game is uh, frustrating because it's like almost good. It's like almost good. And then it just sucks for absolutely no goddamn reason. I need time to do that. Wait, there's no waypoint here. There's no waypoint here. Where is a waypoint? Wait, the closest one is down here in Altar of Ruin. That's level, uh, 45. Or is there one here? Oh, there is one here. Right... here? No. Here? Here. Imagine you break horses so you have to be left or right facing when you sprint. I need time. Or it doesn't work. Like how do you, how do you do that? How do you do that? Like like is is a legitimate question. How do, how does that happen? I need time. I'm like actually I I don't actually know. I, does anyone know what what coding tragedy had to happen here, man? There we go. Okay, now we can waypoint over here, which is really weird that you have to do it like that. Two-handed weapon, leg guards, helms. Uh, well, my two-handed weapon is actually super out of date again. I don't know how this keeps happening. Okay, let's see. This is the uh, level 19. Oh, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just such a DPS upgrade. It's better. Level is this level 37? Here's level 35. Okay, let's see if level 35 areas crush me.
We'll see. We'll see. We don't know. We'll see. God, I wish they would just reveal the maps. I, I, I don't... Like, off the top of my head, I don't particularly remember where everything is. Oh yeah, no, there's way more content. Don't get me wrong. Chat, there is a significant increase to the amount of content in the game. I'm gonna have to go through on my druid and... I mean, leveling up new characters is actually kind of really lame. I won't lie to you. Like, I'm just so goddamn overpowered, it's ridiculous. Oh, I fucking hate this find a corpse event too. Is that, it's like 90% of the events, find a corpse. I'm like, no. So, is there any way to tell the cooldown on the heal? Wait, here it is. Holy shit, we found it in under 20 minutes. The forces of evil. Well, that's just a cleric. Unless you're trying to be... You know... Okay. Yeah, I don't think it has a UI timer on the heel. I keep thinking I'm trying to he I, I keep trying to heal myself by healing my skeletons and it keeps not working and I keep getting confused. I'm a very smart man, don't worry about it.
get up here? Oh, we gotta go through here. Oh my god, I love not having my map revealed. Mm hmm. Honestly, if they're gonna make new characters so overpowered, why don't they just go the full way and just reveal the map? I think it's a very good looking game and it feels like a good game. It does. I think it feels like a good game until you actually know stuff and you start thinking to yourself like, well, wait a minute. What about, and what about like, why, why am I level 23 in a level 35 area? Why do they remove? Okay. Here's like a legitimate question that is kind of blowing my mind right now. And I, I can't seem to figure out the answer internally. Why the fuck does adventure mode not have level scaling? Why does the campaign have level scaling so you can go anywhere you want and adventure mode doesn't have level scaling? Dude, the lack of level scaling, the only reason they have a lack of level scaling is because you're so overpowered, you need to be able to go into the areas that are massively uh, above your level. I just realized all my dudes are dead and have been dead for a while. I'm so used to them not dying. I was wondering why everything was taking forever. But I know it's a single player game. I just want level scaling so I can like play it. Is it you? What is going on here? Why are these people not dying? Bless you. Level scaling would make my life a lot better. Literally just make it like level scaling and then you can like have a little slider and you can just slide it over plus 10 levels. Boom. I fix the game. Yeah, but Shinshin, that would be like bad because actually you don't. No, 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 no. That would be good. Trust me. It's basically the current system except without the tedium of like having to like walk around randomly to different areas. Because, like, you can't really experience a game um, on adventure mode. Uh, you can't really. Okay, I need to figure out where are these other ritual sites? Oh my god. Are these are rituals? Jesus Christ. I'm. Okay. But literally, TP back. It'll be faster. Don't worry about it. I cannot do that here. Don't tell me it timed out. Yeah, it did. 
Wait, no, they moved? But I, I see the one ritual, where's the other one? I cannot do that here. Am I going fucking crazy? Chat, am I going mad? Okay, I'm gonna stare at it so it doesn't move again. Don't you fucking move, you piece of shit. I need time to do that. Imagine I need to kill enemies that are under, um... Imagine I need to kill enemies that are lower level just because I can't even use the gear I get on these people. Skeletons, your one job is to defend me! Skeletons are like, ah oh, shit, we were supposed to peel? I'm like, yes! We're on an adventure. It's a horse noises. I'm doing the horse noises. Do you guys like it with the horse noises or without? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna do the horse noises to ring it anyway, chat. Oh boy, um... I guess that's why you get the items from the tree. Because, <laughs> you know, without it... Stop fucking shooting me, you piece of shit. Dude, it was amusing because World 2, like, the first time you played on World 2 was actually, like, somewhat challenging. Then the second time you play on it, you're like, oh my god, I literally need to find enemies 20 levels over me. But, yeah, Angry Gohan, this is the full release. It's just an early access to the full release, but yeah. 
I mean, it's it's the real deal. What was I gonna do? Right. We need to teleport back because we need to go to the north. I don't think any of these items I can use. Probably not. Oh, wait. Hold on. I ordered food because I'm a uh, lazy piece of shit. So I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna go grab my food real quick. Be right back. I'm gonna order well skeleton. Nah, but Burn got giga nerfed. Um, that stuff's not really an issue anymore. Not really. Can't do that here. Really, you can't. Oh, can I wardrobe you? Cause I got that helmet that I don't really like that I'm wearing. Oh, so I got this scythe, which uh, not while I'm in town. Not that I don't hate it. It's uh. 
It's still part of the best build? Yeah, probably. I mean... Generally, I find things that get nerfed that hard... Um... Tend to be completely game-breakingly destroying... Yeah. Mm-mm. I don't even like the crown. So I was doing shadow cold physical damage here. I'm assuming. Golem at 25, so two levels from now. Okay. God, the, the problem I'm having, this sounds dumb, but my god. Adventure mode just has you running here to there to there to here to here to there to there to there to here. To you. You're just running around the whole fucking time. It's annoying. Honestly, I miss the linearity at this point, right? Like, the, the linearity of other games is something that I'm just, I'm wishing, hoping they bring back maybe. How many threes did I type? Cause, man. Like, give me, give me dungeon runs, give me- Is there any way to level that doesn't involve constantly getting on my horse and running to another area? It, it's getting old. I cannot do that here. I mean, seriously, though, like, I'm not even, I'm not even...
What do you mean? I, I what, what? What do you think I'm doing? What do you think this is? You think it's not helping you o'clock? These uh are really good. This? Help me. That's corpse explosion shadow. Wouldn't have made it without you. Yeah, I beat it. You're a saint. This is peak gameplay. Trying to find corpses while they're covered up. Don't just stand there. Help me. I bet you're feeling real stupid now you don't own this game. You're saved. Can't use any gear. Well, shit, I guess I did everything in this area. I mean, I'm having fun. Did I literally never go to this city during the campaign? Gay Cole. The combination of a shit minimap and having to tab completely out to get to your big map is uh, a really interesting design decision. No one had the guts, except Blizzard, to make a complete shit traveling experience. No one had the testicular fortitude needed to just shit all over people who have to fucking move around in their open world game!
Alright, I'm sure there's 21 levels above me. It's almost double my level. Can I still do it? So, if I can already beat level 45 content, the fuck am I gonna do for the rest of this time? I'm only level 24! Nah, but I'm like, I'm like legit. What, what do I do? Once I clear this content, because like, you know, uh. Ow. Okay, well, I guess I gotta watch out for that thing. Ah, oh, yeah, it's Torchlight 2. A really interesting game. Because, uh, you know, putting every point into a single ability, then holding left click to clear everything, was super innovative. Innovative so hard, we just, we just had to do it again.
Yeah, this super restrictive camera makes a really good necromancer gameplay fine. Like, I literally can't zoom out anymore. This is it. I, I literally... If I, if I have a diagonal angle, I can kind of make this work. Man, it, this kind of sucks, not gonna lie. It's like I could clear this if I could see the bodies, but I get pushed back so far because I need to dodge those attacks. So then, like, I don't... Yeah, exactly. So then the issue is, like... Like I know there's bodies there because I'm doing damage, right? The issue is I can't I can't access them. sure I was pretty far away from him but okay okay this kind of sucks to play through I won't lie I'm gonna I'm gonna not do this if for no other reason then this sucks the 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 map itself it's an issue the map itself doesn't really allow me to do this if I can't stay near them enough to see Yeah, there's already a hardcore game mode. You can play hardcore if you want. Oh, 
<laughs> no, dude. Hardcore difficulty is that you get wiped on death. I don't... Dude, that is what hardcore is. I, I'm not playing on hardcore, if that's what you're thinking here. Oh my god. Wait, I can't get out this way. Hmm. Mason was stained with residual magics. The aftermath of an arcane explosion. Wait, how do I get out of here then? Uh. Wait, I can't get out of here then. Huh. Huh. And now it's gonna spawn me in here. Oh, for fuck's sake, I fucking hate this game. Destroyed the seething abomination. Um, does he know where he is? Because Man, I am not having fun with Necromancy right now. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm also kind of not. It's like, I can't find a good in-between where, like... See, like, right here, my minions are just killing everything, so I'm not, like, doing anything, right? It's like... I can't seem to find a middle ground where my minions aren't just massacring everything. But, like... I can't find a middle ground between my minions massacring everything, and... Yeah. I have... Marked for blood. Okay, if I mark for blood, does that mean I can do this stuff? Okay, there's a seething abomination. Okay. I suspect it as much.
Is this supposed to be a group boss or something? corpses did I have there? It's supposed to be super tanky so people can gank you. Do I get rewards from it that are adequate or is this an adequate amount of rewards? Is this the only PvP area, by the way? Wow, I got the seed of hatreds. Deposited. Well, now it is time to go to the Tree of Whispers. It's kind of tedious. I'm. I. I think I would have had more fun doing the campaign. Unironically, this adventure mode sucks. At least if I was doing the campaign, I could just sort of clear into a direction, and it wouldn't really matter. But, like, with this, I have to, like, find areas around my level, then move, then find the quests, then move, then find the blah, 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 blah. Let's see, that chest plate is too high level. This chest plate is just right. Maximum minion HP. Wait, I only went up by one level? No. Oh. Maximum minion HP. 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 And now I guess I have to go find another area to level, because now that area is level 24 to my level 24, so I go back there, it'll be 23 to my 24. God, this is, like, dumb. This is actually legitimately unfun. Like, I literally think just running around... Why, 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 why did they remove level scaling? The one fucking thing that any like when i thought adventure mode i was like just go anywhere and you can level up in any direction i was like yeah and then they're like no there's no level skilling you have to like, proceed specifically through our pre-designed leveling path go through our fucking leveling path in our order that we want you to go through it i'm like but why they're like they fucking just slapped the shit out of me they're like shut the fuck up you stupid asshole I'm like but <laughs> Damage reduction with crowd control seems good.
Oh yeah, so here's your leveling bet. So let's see, we're starting Kyovashad. Okay, and then, let's see. Oh, no, so I went to this area, this would be level 26, so it would have murdered me. Right now I'm allowed to go to this area. But like the thing is, if I go to the areas that are my level, I'm going to out like they, it's not challenging. I need to go to levels that are above. Okay, you know I'm not gonna say anything, Jet. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna sit here in silence. The forge is ready for whatever you need. I mean, I have enough of this shit for the next entirety of my human adult HP. Life. So let's just sell, sell, baby, sell, selling and burn. Oh, sell, baby, sell, 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 baby, sell, 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 baby, sell, 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 uh, none of this was good. Nah, fuck it. Let's just make some money back so we don't, uh, you know, bankrupt. Rich Gollum, and eh, level 25. Okay, so we did this thing. Uh, I guess this is my Blizzard approved leveling direction. I'm gonna go here for my Blizzard approved leveling zone. I mean, I guess it's fine conceptually. Okay, look, conceptually it is fine. Like, if, um, if they want to, Um, if, if they want me to like go to random areas and level up there, that's probably fine because that increases replayability. Like I'll be honest, from that perspective, the replayability is better. But the issue is they allow you to go to areas that are higher level than you, seemingly to balance out how absolutely broken the world bonuses make new characters. Like starting with seven skill points, starting with like thirty in each stat. <laughs> like as you notice, new characters are so goddamn broken. If I do areas like this, that are actually my level, the issue is, like, just look at what my minions do. Like, I can, I can literally just... You know, and because of this, or because they're killing everything so quickly, it's like, what am I even here for? Right, but then give me a third world difficulty for new characters. So I can do this shit, literally double the health of the enemies. And then I can actually do like combos and stuff, right? The problem is here, they die so quickly, I do not even have time to combo. So oh, baby, so, 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 so. Okay, my minions cannot lose more than 30% of their max HP at a single attack now. Okay, how do we to unlock complete Necromancer Call of the Underworld? Well, shit. We have to pray at the shrine of Rothma. Rothma, the first Necromancer. Stop 
blowing up on me, asshole. Wow, the heal, the 20% heal from that talent actually does come at the end of the five seconds. So yeah, it'll do a full heal every five seconds, but like, what? Who decided that was gonna, you know, I don't even. It's like they decided Necromancer was gonna be so unresponsive, you would literally have a five second delay until your heal went off. Who does that? Who actually decided? I, I swear, it's like they made Minion Mancer so tedious, so unfun. It's not even that it's weak at this point, it's that it's just, it's so frustrating. There's so many different things on it that exist seemingly just to piss you off for no reason. It's like they were like, man, running around with minions sure isn't annoying. It sure is really easy to run through the content quickly. We can fix that. I like the idea, I like what they're going for, but... Literally, could they have made it more tedious? I do not know. My top five Endland Ring bosses. Okay, let me read them to you. Number one. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know. Number one, whichever boss ended the quickest, because they all suck. There. I said it. I mean, I didn't hate the Crucible Knights that much, but, um... By, like, the ninth Crucible Knight I was fighting, I was kind of like, hmm... That's not bad. That's not a terrible thing, right? I guess. I mean, it's not, it's not bad to, you know... dead. These guys aren't. Okay, so we don't use bloody lines, so it's critical strike damage which you don't use, shadow damage. Damage distant enemies. Why, why am I focusing so much on this? Damage distant enemies, shadow damage, damage to close enemies. Damage at distant and damage to close. I'm playing both sides. So I always come out on top. I mean, if I use uh, Army of the Dead, I kind of shit through these bosses pretty quickly. So at least from that perspective, this isn't too bad. I mean, the dungeon's kind of a uh, Path of exile here. Is this not Path of Exile? This is Path of Exile. This is literally Path of Exile. Before you say, Path of Exile copy D2. So actually, hey, Shin Shin, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
Shut up. Shut up. Honestly, why don't they just make this a heal over time? It's like, it's just so stupid to me. Like, is it so the AI can burst down your minions and annoy you? Like, if I'm spending the time to keep my minions buffed up, right? The AI should be forced to either do the damage to kill them, or it shouldn't kill them, right? Shouldn't that be the trade-off of... But it's just, it's just that one right there is my, my... That's what pisses me off. I'm gonna be blunt. I'm okay with everything until you tell me that I will heal on five second intervals is my main form of scaling survivability. The second you do that, you're telling me you're balancing around annoying the player. And I don't believe, chat, I don't chat, believe chat, that chat, you should ever annoy the player. I mean, killing the player is fine, I guess. So, let me re reiterate. Annoying the player is fine, actually. But you shouldn't you shouldn't make the player ever think, like, it's just tedious. Like, resummoning minions is an action, right? And you've already made that action annoying. How did they make that annoying? By putting your minion count in the lower fucking right hand, instead of maybe just up here, in big letters or something, you know, maybe easy to see. I don't know, just something I was thinking up the other day. Like, surely you understand my frustration. Like, you already have to keep track of this buff, right? But then if you use it again too early, the thing is it heals at the end of this, right? So if I was to go now, I actually, this one wouldn't get the heal at the end. And I wouldn't know that because I clicked it slightly too fucking early because I'm in the middle of a boss fight. Unless they're saying that the bosses should be so easy that you should be able to take your time and do other shit at the same time, which runs contrary to what they say is their intended uh, design goal, opinion, idea, plan. Well, bye-bye, Mr. Legendary. No, it, it, okay, let me explain how this is working. Okay, maybe if I explain it more, people can understand why I'm ranting about this so hard. Okay, if you have maximum skeletons, instead of summoning a skeleton, it then buffs them for 20% damage and 10% healing over 5 seconds, okay? However, then when you spec into this, every 5 seconds, your skeletal priest's healing will heal your skeletons for an additional 20% of their maximum HP. Every 5 seconds. This starts the ticker of the 5 seconds. At the end of this, it heals. Here's the thing. If I do this, it's t waiting down the five seconds, then if I click it again a bit too soon, the heal will go off, and then it won't go off on the second one. So even if I'm doing the micro properly, and I'm trying to keep my buff up, I have to be sitting here making sure either, you know, I'm gonna be casting it too much, or I'm not gonna get the heal again, so realistically you should just keep continuing to chain cast it, but it's not like double casting it does anything. It doesn't. The double cast doesn't do anything. And not to mention, here's the best part. I don't... There's literally no information that it's on cooldown. Anywhere. Not even a, a fucking tooltip here. And this, again, is supposed to be the thing that keeps your skeletons and boys alive to uh, experience the late game along with you. So what a lot of people have taken to doing, which you might have noticed, is they just go, 
ah, fuck it, and they just kill their dudes and move on. They do. They just eat them with to get the small little buff. They literally just decide, yeah, I guess five percent crit is worth more than my skeletons. Now it's okay if it was like a rhythm game, and I had to be like buff, buff, debuff, buff, buff, debuff, buff, buff, heal, heal. If I was if I had to do that, that would be fine, right? But like, imagine a rhythm game, and and it's just like you're blindfolded, and it's like press W, which is W, press W. I think it's this one. Wrong. You get nothing. My bad. If, it, if, if playing Necromancer was like a fun little fucking like mini game and I was just like like sitting here like like just dancing with my skeletons and we were just literally just like cycling through buffs and debuffs to beat bosses and stuff. It was just like curse shadow AoE curse shadow AoE heal damage buff hex shadow AoE heal like if I was just doing that that'd be great right I would honestly I would, I'd, I'd like it but like, here's another thing. How do I see how long they're hexed for? Does anyone know? No, you don't know, do you? No one knows. I don't know. You don't know. I just have to put it up again, because fuck it. I mean, maybe it's been 10 seconds. Who can say? Sure, granted, most of the time, most enemies will die before the hex ends, but let me ask you a question. Didn't they fucking add bosses and elites and shit that are supposed to be tanky? Unless they're saying that you're just supposed to be one-shotting everything, which runs contrary to, once again, their stated design intention. If fights are supposed to be longer and more lethal, then I need more up-to-date feedback as to what's happening. If I'm sprinting around because a bunch of succubus are throwing fireballs at me that remove three-fourths my health bar, I can't be like... I think that hex wore off. Yeah, I think it did. And it's not just the hex, again. It's the hex, it's the ray skeleton heal, uh, and the ray skeleton buff, which apparently are on different things. So I've got one, two, three things to manage, but wait, I also have four, because I need to make these dudes up. Golem's gonna add more. Plus, I'm trying to keep the the this dot on the enemy the whole time, mind you. Again, I'm totally fine with micro. You guys watch me. I play the most tedious games you've ever seen in your life. I play shit like EU4, Crusader Kings, all that stuff, right? Just sitting there doing shit on cooldown for five hours, that's fine. I don't mind it, right? But this, like, the, the thing about those games is they generally give you feedback. You understand what's happening. You know when your cooldown is going to be available. When are you going to go on your next hunt, the next tour? When is your factory getting built, right? It's not saying your factory will be built soon. Hmm. Destroy six bone masses before they explode. Well, I'm a dot class, so that's a little difficult for me. Blood orb, a rare focus. Did I have the animus thing? Where didn't I go? Um, I don't see the skull, so I haven't seen him. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm stumped. Anyone see a pathway I haven't gone through? Huh. 
Huh, that's the first time I've been stumped. Normally they're actually pretty good with this. The only thing I can think of is the middle isn't like highlighted. So maybe, maybe we go through there. Yeah, but that's what I need the Animus to go through. So I need to find the Animus carriers. Indeed, we need to find them. They'll be here somewhere. Maybe, or not. Who can say? Maybe I killed them and I forgot to pick it up. But then why wouldn't I put it on the map? Hmm. Trying to make you run faster. Man, they're really bringing back that feeling of Diablo 2, eh? Shit, you say to yourself, where do I go? Uh, I think I have the whole map uncovered. I think. Wait. No? Wait. Ah, there it is. Did I really go back here for a chest? Nope. I need more time. Okay, I hope this leads directly to the boss. Cause uh I wanna go get my golem. I need more time. Defeat the resurrected malice. I mean, I've noticed some new bosses. I can say that. Oh, are you new? Or are you just reskin? I mean, that's a pretty generic ability, but I think overall he's new. Every time I'm getting into a rhythm, and I'm like, yeah, uh, 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 I'm like, oh, they're, they're dead. No, never mind. We're gonna find a left-handed weapon. I mean, is it worth it to get the shield? Chat, is it worth it to get the shield? Let's see, I can use wand. Plus, is it better to have the book or the shield? I don't really use cooldown, so actually, I, I have Arby the Dead. Is the shield worth it? Okay, let's see here. It's currently 111 damage. This is 141! The fuck? Forty-five percent damage, blocked damage reduction, twenty percent block chance. I have a twenty percent chance. Twenty percent? Fuck! I could get four shot and it couldn't even proc. I get two shot. It wouldn't even reasonably proc. In two hits, there's a good chance that it will not proc. Yeah, fuck that. Plus, she looks cuter with the scythe. I'm just saying. Am I wrong? No. I'll be honest, when somebody said you could blood mark yourself for PvP, I thought there was going to be open world PvP. It would suck and be generally unplayable because the camera is way too zoomed in, so you'd always just get ambushed. You would get ambushed and they would get ambushed and you would just be ambushing each other, right? So it would kind of suck. 
Bert. I still thought it would be fun. Okay, where are you? There. Oh wait, you can dual wield this necromancer? Wait, can you dual wield? No, you can't dual wield. Can you? How would you dual wield? Because this is your offhand. I mean, I, get to, I mean, this... What What is the advantage of going with a focus? Cooldown reduction? Why would I go with cooldown reduction over... I mean, it's still a 20% chance to block 45% of damage. It could save you. Plus 80% main hand weapon damage. Hmm. Seems shitty. Not while I'm in town. I don't know the shield. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should be focusing on thorns. Maybe. My God. Uh, honestly, like I'm not saying the camera needs to be zoomed out much further. Like. This is probably fine for the purposes of the game, but like a little bit, just like, just like, ee, you know, just like ee, a little bit. Like there's so many times where like just a tiny bit would help me out so much. Wait, oh, I'm doing the boss area. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, that's what's frustrating, is when they zoom out for boss fights, and it's like all but admitting that it should definitely be zooming out. You know what I mean? I, th I think that's kind of telling. Especially because, like, no offense, but it does kind of feel good when it zooms out for the boss fights. Now, they want you to be more zoomed in, so you can, like, see us come at cosmetics and see your character and see your animations. But here's a second question, and I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. If you wanted people to zoom in so they could see their animations, why did you make them look like the worst dog shit I've ever seen in my fucking life? End statement. Have you seen the animations in this game? Have you seen Whirlwind? Have you seen all, every single sorcerer ability? They are fucking terrible. They are legitimately garbage. It truly feels like this game released six months early. I know I keep increasing the amount I say it released early. But that's because I keep finding more and more issues with it. And each time I find more and more issues with it, I think to myself, oh, that should have been another month. So let me add up the, the things I think it should have been brought back for. Um, adding more mob variety. There's two months. Now, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. They couldn't add more in two months. I'm saying over six months, but I'm just adding up individually, right? So, obviously, you can't, like, just model and add a bunch of mobs over two months, right? I'm just, you know what I'm trying to say? You understand me, right, chat? So, like, let's say two months added to its pushback for mobs. One month added pushed back for just functionally adding abilities. Another month, honestly, maybe two Ah, a month pushed back for adding better visual effects. Because, like, it makes completely no sense that you can zoom in and see nice-looking characters like this. Now, this looks good. There are some... They, they do take a lot of... Um, they do take a lot of shortcuts, but I'm assuming that's how it runs better on people's PCs. Like, there's a lot of times where... Cloth isn't actually cloth. It's just like being, it looks like cloth, but it doesn't actually act like cloth to try to save space, right? But like these characters look extremely good. I mean, I'll, I'll be blunt. They do look good, even with the shortcuts they took, right? And even with the clipping issues, even with that, they're, they're good looking characters, right? And it's really weird when you see characters that look this good running around looking that good. And then you go to fight. And you see that. 
Just to be clear, by the way, this visual effect is probably one of the best visual effects you have for a spell in the game. And this is it. This is all it does. So you guys... Yeah. So... The visual effects need to be significantly better. Now, if they want to keep the current visual effects and call it low spec mode, that's good. That's a good idea. Let more people play the game. But for people whose PCs can actually play the game... Oh, it would not surprise me if they released a cash shop even a month from now and the cash shop had like skull fireball and it was a fireball and it looked like a skull and it had like a flaming it was like and it went like you know and it had like cool like flickering effects going on and all that shit that would not surprise me i would i would not be surprised at all but the only reason people would buy that is because the current visual for fireball is garbage i don't look like i'm it looks like i'm playing a shitty free-to-play game it looks as good as Diablo 2. It looks as good as Path of Exile's original spell effects. It looks bad, is what I'm trying to say. It looks very dated, and it looks really out of place. Um, they needed to add, f honestly, I give, I, I, about six skills to every class, four to eight, I'll say. It's about four to eight skills should have been added to every class. I think that's a reasonable number. Because when you look at Necromancer and you see here's, here's four, okay, not even five, even though it's supposed to be doing three different builds okay there's five abilities good down to three down to two still at two count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fifteen eighteen there's 18 skills on necromancer for three different builds that means there are leniently six skills per build in other words there are just enough to fill your page except again shadow gets one two three four this is technically a shadow ability i mean let's be real this is a shadow ability so that's five um hex doesn't fit anywhere it's trying to be everyone this is technically another shadow ability, even though it's kind of not, but I'll be blunt there. So shadow gets five. Let's look at blood. One, two, three, four, five. And this is including olds, which a lot of people don't like because they have such long cooldowns. Bone gets one, two, three, four, five. So it's like they're assuming you're going to use a hex, except what is the problem here? There's two! Do you want this hex, or do you want that hex? Are you fucking kidding me? I need and here's the other problem, by the way. Blood has five abilities. But two of them are openers. Two of them are left click, and two of them... Sorry, one of them is left click, one of two of them are right click. So technically they only have four because they can't double up on right clicks. So they only have four that they can use. One of them being an ultimate. That again, a lot of players don't like using because they have long cooldowns. So their overall DPS of adding that ability tends to be quite low. The Shrine of Rathmaw. Speak with the Spectral present. Maltorius. A teacher. One who's devoted his entire existence to preserving the lessons of Rathmaw. Our first and greatest necromancer. I've heard the spirits whispering of you. They say 
You're a true friend of death and the shadows. Worthy of his greatest teaching. Rathma understood death was a transformation, not an end. He saw the potential for- Yeah, you can saw two core skills. What are you gonna do? Spend twice the mana? With merely a spark of lingering life to a cartload of raw iron born of the dead earth. From Rathma's theories rose the golems. It's time I pass you this final secret and induct you into the ranks of Rathma's priesthood. You will need to collect unbroken bones to form the body of your golem. Afterwards, I will instruct you further. I'm pretty sure I'm breaking these bones, I'm not gonna lie. These are not unbroken. Uh, we're, we're kind of exaggerating, uh... I won't lie to you, chat. These are 100% broken bones. There, There's no doubt in my mind. My skeleton's beating the shit out of them with maces. <laughs> Make sure not to break them. <laughs> oh. Do you mean later? That ability is not too useless to channel. It's not too great, but it's not useless because if you actually look at it, it, uh, um, minions deal 10% bonus damage to decomposing enemies. It's not great. It could probably be like 15% and be fine. They buffed minions a little. I think the issue is minions probably don't have enough multipliers. Okay, so my minions can now only take 30% of their max HP and damage. Okay. After you've been healthy for at least 4 seconds, you and your minions gain 4% attack speed. Yeah, does that affect my channels, though? Can I see if it's available? Can I see if it's activated? Okay, thank fucking god, I can at least see if it's active. God, I thought they were gonna give me another buff that I just had to like guess if it was up or not. A spirit to transform your golem. There is a vile artifact buried in a hillside not far from here. Its purpose is to trap lost souls, leeching magic from them. Free those souls. Okay, it's bottom right. Help you in return. Ah, okay, so it's, it's, it's showing as blue. Because it's a side quest, not technically a campaign quest. I understand now. Sure wish I could open the fucking map or have my mini map zoomed out so I could fucking see. The more I play this game, the more these little irritants are starting to be major irritants. Because it's so obvious. Play the game and you'll understand, Blizzard. Play the game! <laughs> Just because you put map on tab doesn't mean I like blocking my entire fucking screen out so I can see where the fuck I'm going. Okay, I thought there was someone else, because I... I... My character talks so little, I sometimes forget it's a girl. I think I need a rebind. 
Okay, you guys got this? Skelly boys, you guys got this? You got snacks, coffee. You good? Okay. I'm gonna rebind my controls here real quick. Give me one. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna bind it so I can play the majority of my kit one-handed. Because, you know... I, I'm a necromancer, chat. I... I'm, I'm starting to find it a bit tedious to have to, like... It just, it just makes it easier in my life. Especially when it comes to, like, when I have to, like, go to Corpse Explosion. What do you mean this build is wild? You don't like my build? This build is nuts. If I could hit anything. Look, it actually makes so much sense. We are ready. Repeat after me. Spirit, I offer you this vessel. Protect us. So we may protect. Does attack speed affect channels? Does anyone know that? Spirits, I offer you this vessel. Protect us. No, I'm not doing a minionless build. We're going hard minions. Because everyone keeps saying minions are useless. So I'm going the biggest goddamn minion build that is ever minion to build. And everyone's gonna be like, no, there's no way that's you, Slash. Okay, we have minion attack speed. That's good, right? I don't know. Maybe. No, I will not go minionless. I will go super minion. And if I reach level 100, I will just quit the game. Seems pretty easy to me. What am I gonna do? Sit there? There's no end game. I don't know how they pitched this game like it was gonna be a Lost Ark replacement. And. How? How? How is this gonna be a Lost Ark replacement? I beg. Wait, do I have my golem now? Oh shit, I do have the golem. Okay. Uh, Bonu Golem. A horrid protector that taunts enemies, forcing them to attack the golem. Dude, how the fuck did they pitch this as a Lost Ark rival? And it doesn't have an end game! Everyone was talking about the end game like this was some like crazy end game. There it's none! I feel like I got had. I'm gonna be blunt. I honestly feel like I got had. Uh, we'll go for the corpse shred, I guess. I don't really like that. There's no end game. There's no bosses. There's no. There's nothing. There's like. There's literally nothing. I don't know a good way to. Wait, how do I get the golem out? Wait. Fuck. You're shitting me. So much for my fucking build. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Huh. I had an idea. It was a good idea. Right? Shitload of minions. Decrepify reduces the cooldown of my abilities. Army of the Dead gets its cooldown reduced. Spam Army of the Dead. Well, not spam it, but you know, use it. Use it, you know, particularly to to resummon my Skelly Boys if they die. Then we just got the typical raise skeleton corpse explosion decompose blight. I was like, okay, this can work. I got a build here, right? Now I got to give up one of these abilities, and any of these abilities that I give up. Any one of them will completely fuck over the build. 
What did they do in the patch? Did they do anything to make Thornzomancer better? Is Thorns Necromancer good at all? Because I do have a shield, but I lose like 30% of my damage if I go with the shield. Is it worth it to lose 30% of my damage to just get some thorns on the boys? Oh wait, I have been using this shield. Oh, that's awkward. That actually explains some things. I won't lie to you. That explains some things. Well, it's the thing, so... Well, okay, so you can do some... Okay. So we have Defender. I, I have... I, this uh, this build worked. Even before minions got ner or buffed, it worked, okay? But every six seconds, they negate one damage. So at the very least, they're going to take two hits to kill, okay? Then we have, obviously, that's Defense, which has been buffed recently. Um, They can only lose 30% of their health in a hit rather than whatever they took... So, effectively, 30-30-30 doesn't kill them, that's 90, so they would take 4 hits to die. 5, technically, if they proc the damage reduction. Okay, that's 5 hits before they can die. Unless, of course, we have Bonded in Essence, which only procs every 5 seconds, but hypothetically, can then... Um, and this is with no items or whatever, this is just purely on build, right? Um... Bonded in Essence can get their health up, so maybe they take six, seven hits. Resummoning them isn't too hard, it's just... So then, we need to rely on the mages and the dots to be the majority of the damage, while the boys are up front soaking hits. So the question is... Can the mages... Can the mages... Wait, what is this shit? Why does it not tell me what they do by default? This is so annoying. Why do they always do this? Why is... Okay. Bone mages use their own bodies as projectiles, doing heavy damage at the cost of their own life. How much?! Why is it so hard for them to say?! How much would I have to heal them to keep them... Okay, you know what? I'm exhausted by these shit necromancer tooltips. I'm gonna go get water. Yeah, I'm gonna get a fucking beer, I swear. I can't do this shit without a beer. One beer, Chad. One beer, that's all I need.
got. We're back. <sighs> got a beer do I drink? That's not really a no beer, it's an ale. Okay, so every fifth attack they shoot twice. That's every four shots double damage. That is a 25% damage increase. It is a lot of music, Yanbury. No events, but the music is actually really good. And I really like it. Okay, so I'm assuming bound is physical, cold is cold, shadow. Wait, is there even a cold necromancer? Ugh. Wait, what? Wait, is there any frost damage in necromancer? Wait, you, dude who knows this game, uh, Two Hands Bay. Is there any frost damage in necromancer? Why? Why is there a cold mage? There's no freezing. There's nothing. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Okay, uh... Army of the Dead is out. Which means to crepify. I'm gonna be honest, do we even keep to crepify? At this point? We could go to Horde to crepify, but we don't really need. No, well, hold on here. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, let's keep a board to crepify. That gives me the chance to reduce my cooldowns because do 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 isn't Golem. They have a cooldown ability. Okay, plus he kind of looks badass. Uh, actually, he kind of doesn't. He looks good from afar, but if you zoom in, you notice all the little shortcuts they took on him. He looks worse than a Total War character. I'm not even joking. If you zoomed in on that, that would look fucking terrible. Wait, what? Why do the skeletons get like full texturing and all that? And then this dude gets like a purple suit. And it's, oh man. God, please, six months delay, I beg. I beg. Okay, so we'll, we'll take our points out of our ultimate and put it in here, okay. Okay, so if I stay healthy, we get 12% attack speed. Okay, that's fine. Your minions deal damage while we're close to them. Define close! Define for me what close means video game define it what is your ability active your golem becomes unstoppable and taunts nearby enemies and takes 30 percent reduced damage in the next six seconds when your golem dies it responds after 20 seconds Does a skeletal priest heal my golem? He is glowing, so it heals him, right? It says, I read the tooltips. It says minions and all that, so it has to. Okay, let's go back to level one. Nearby. I don't understand, Yunbury. I'm getting pissed off at this game's shit tooltips. It's shit tooltips, it's shit design, it's shit filled shit. You know? And and the fact that World 3 isn't even difficult is starting to piss me off too. And the fact that there's no end game is definitely pissing me off. I am an angry person right now.
The fact that my mini-map is zoomed in and doesn't show the fucking adventure station. I got fucking tab all the time! Why? Give me a fucking- okay, they, they figured this shit out. Chat, chat. Listen up real close with me, okay? I need you all to hear me, okay? They figured this shit out 20 fucking years ago. You put a little thing at the top, and you put the objectives on it. Okay? I need you to show like a fucking arrow. Oh wait, we're playing a top-down game so you can't have that? Then you put it on the fucking mini-map. Oh, here's an objective. In this direction. Do you wanna go there? Do you wanna go to that cellar? It's part of your adventure. I don't want the D1 mini-map. I mean, I'd take it. I would honestly take it at this point. Nah, honest to God, I'd take it. Fucking give it to me. I don't care. Okay. Okay, actually though, actually, let me think about stuff real quick here. If we have Taunt Boy... If we have Taunt Boy... I'm not gonna use Bone Golem though. I'm not gonna use Bone Golem. I'll probably use Iron when it gets to it. This is a this is a placeholder. But presumably we can go to Reapers because we now have a tank for them. Right? Get him, boys! Taunt! Oh, wow, he actually taunts. Okay, I got like a proper raid party. We got the boys. We got the boy. We got... Nah, the girls are now the frontliners, the boys are the backliners, and the boy is a golem. Everybody got that? That's the terminology we're using from now on. That's stupid. They're all the boys, chat. They're all the boys. Remember that. Write that part down. They're all the boys. Just if I say the boys, it can either mean the boys or the boys, okay? <laughs> yeah, I want to play Wurzog in multiplayer, but that shit would break the game, I feel. Get them, boys! Yeah. Harvest venom modes from enemies. Harvest venom modes? How do I know? Oh shit! Wait, we don't. We have four minutes to kill seventy enemies. That's a tall order. I won't lie. I'm not sure we can do that. That one seems a bit. Okay, all this shit is expiring in three minutes. There is no way. Oh, 
boys, stop going for. How much time we got? We got two minutes? How close are we? 70? This is doable. I require you to summon shit really, really fast. I can't see. My dearest. I don't care about you. Just summon shit. Summon shit. There's no way. Friend, don't leave. There's twenty seconds. Those are only two, not three. We need three. Wait, we're done the- oh, I miscounted. Ah, fuck you. I would've had it, Chad. I would've had it. Okay, so they're all off the map. The new areas have arrived. Fuck it, there's like a dungeon there, we'll do that. Hello, Shinjin. Is plus damage to injured good stat? Bread? I have no idea. What level are you, Bread? Have you completed the campaign, Bread? You probably have not. Shit. I'm not ready yet. Chad, here's a job. I know, I know. Don't don't let it burn you. Yeah, you can't keep map on while moving is the thing. Like, you can't be moving your characters. You have to like, be clicking through an area, then you check your map really quick, then you tab. See what I mean? Uh, plus damage to injured... It's good on bosses, maybe, for cleaning out the last little bit, but isn't that only negative 35% HP? Sorry, 35% HP or lower? So it's pretty low. It's not a lot. What's the equivalent of bail runs? I... I have no idea. If I'm gonna be blunt, I don't know. I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's an end game in this game. I I literally don't think they added an end game. They keep pitching this game as a like a end game sort of like counter to New World, and it's not New World, Lost Ark, and it's just it's just not. Like it's just it's just not. What does that do? He takes 30% reduced damage for 6 seconds. Can I find some items that reduce this damage taken? Because that's what I need. I need to stack damage reduction. Critical strike damage, challenge over time, cold damage. Nope. 
That's what I really need. So basically, it seems the end game is you just play the normal game, but now every mob is harder. I know what you're thinking. That's how the game always worked. And it's always been kind of a boring. Oh, uh, it's because I stopped for a long time, Yunper, and I just started doing shit. But look, look, I got a golem. Do you see my golly? Look, he taunts enemies. So then I can AoE them. I'm probably going to swap to Iron Golem. Because Iron Golem got like... Iron Golem's damage. You guys want to know how bad the balance was on Necromancer and why I keep saying this game needed to be delayed? They increased Golem's damage by 800%. Iron Golem gained 800% damage. Well, this one gets maximum minion life. Guys, keep doing damage. What are you doing? I didn't say stop. Boys, get in there. Did Iron Golem's ability went up 800% damage. I shit you not. Iron Golem was evidently Pretty shit. I don't know. All I know is their abilities got buffed. I don't know the actual... Ooh, maximum minion health. What do you do? Your damage to slowed maximum minion life. Ooh, but that's maximum minion life too. And you're a little bit... But you low rolled max min HP. Lucky hit is also pretty shit. I don't know. You're pretty shit. I'm sorry, buddy. Don't worry, Hollandier, my buddy. I know you guys just want to learn, and I'm here to help you. Help me. Help you help me. I'm helping you help me. We're helping each other. I, like, I, I literally can't tell in this situation where the bodies are. So I just have to use my ability at random. That's what I'm saying. Like, it just needs to search for bodies in a wider area. Because, like, how do I know, man? There. Taunt him, boys. A oh, boy, you, just you. No one else taunt. My body. 
burden is too great. Me. Yes, Bone Golem does have subtypes, but I'm not good enough for it. There's a Blood Golem that got Giga buffed and it like heals you. I know, I'm shocked too. The Blood Golem, but 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 heals you? I had no idea. Me neither, Jet. That's the game lagging, not me. You get, yeah. My bags are full. No. Oh boy, okay, let's just go kill this shit. My eyes can only watch so much. If they made it so one of his core skills um took like HP, that would that would change things for sure. Because, you know, if, if it took HP, you could, you know, um, use both of them without kind of awkwardly running over each other. I'm pretty sure none of these are better. You need steel work? Pairs? Die! Legendary ring. Your kind doesn't belong in this world. Precious stones, beautifully cut. Goodbye then. No, you. Okay, damage reduction with crowd control. That way I don't die. That's pretty much been my go-to. You guys probably noticed. I just use that as my go-to gem. Not dying when I'm CC'd tends to keep me alive, I found. That's my strategy. I'm always not dying while well CC'd. Okay, that's just resist all. That's been a uh, pretty good one. Oh, these are resist some element. I don't like it. It's like, oh boy. Who cares? Uh, I guess this one gives armor. I need to grow in power. Yes, you do. But for now, maybe just use a chip skull for some armor. When do I get Iron Golem? 32! That's actually not that far away. Golem is best boy, chat. The Golem is who I like. The Golem is who I need. Don't tell the other skeletons I said that. They probably know, though, considering he's nine times their size. Ah, yes. The thorns. That's a review for Necromancer. My god, there is so much tedious shit with Necromancer. I wanna I wanna like it, but like it's not even I can't even say that people are wrong for turning off all his summons and just using him as a solo caster, cause like How did they make it this annoying? Uh, yeah, elixirs, uh, can give you 5% XP and then a buff.
I just gotta keep, you know, I need, if these dudes could like pick up shit for me, that'd be cool. Mine, mine's level 19, and I'm what, 27? Okay. I just like, I think that's like the best way I have to rank Necromancer. It's just so much shit is like, I'm not ready yet. questionably tedious and annoying, and that's... He'd be the one that's ready, considering he's the golem. Depends on what you mean is necromancer shit. Now you take that back, sir. The summons do have good visual quality. Well, most of them. I, I, I do be summoning. One thing you can't say I'm not doing is summoning. Okay, because I, I am I am summoning. Do you see me summoning? I'm summoning. Oh my God, the boys. What I'm trying to do is when I put this hex on them and then I attack, it can uh, reduce the cooldown and the uh, bone golem's taunt. I need the bone golem taunting. Uh, 
crazy. Map, 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 world map, map, map. No, shut up. Uh, you, teleport here. Yeah, you guys see me? I'm like, wee! I'm just, I'm just zoop, zop, zoop, zip, zippity, dop, it up, and around, you know? I'm floop flopping, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm glurp glopping. It is done. Archer's done. Rings or amulets? My amulet is not bad. Not amazing. Uh, the rings are a bit dated. Like it will try to get a ring. He's back Quest two completed. Your minions deal more damage when you're close to them. <sighs> but I'm never close to anyone, chat. That's part of the problem. Let's get Golem Mastery. There is indeed an adventure mode, my good friendy friend, who smells of friend. Lee. Oh wait, I got a rare two-handed sword. Uh, no good. Ring, critical strike damage, damage over time, damage to in enemies. Yeah, probably better. They're just an enemy stand sick of gold. Well, that one's... I, I like the 11% minion HP. Life regeneration when not damaged recently. Eh, no. And you, my last ring. Uh, no. No as well. No. No. Terrible. Yeah, so I, I've started to slowly figure out this adventure mode. I'm less annoyed now that I've figured it out. Which is not to say I'm not annoyed. I'm just less annoyed. I think that's one way to put it. What, what level? Is, that's level forty. Oh, for fuck's sake! God, I can't catch a fucking break. This stupid piece of shit, motherfucker. Okay, so we disenchant all our shit, then we whoop on out of the world. Everybody got that. That's what's up. I'm not gonna bother with that shit. I don't pick up enough gear anyway. And I'd have to go gem, and then I'd have to cut it out, and then I'd have to put it down, it would just be a whole thing. See, it's adventure mode. I'm on an adventure mode. I cannot do that here. Oh, what are you? Uh, slave bandits. Fair enough. God, is there any way to play Necromancer? Is there any way to play this class? That's a serious question. Without doing Corpse Explosion. Because I'm getting so fucking fed up with Corpse Explosion at this point. Can I get some legendaries? So I can, like, start looking at, you know, what my class does. Yeah, but uh, does Bone Spear use, um, minions? Drains life from nearby enemies to heal and bolster itself. A horde protector that talks to enemies. Well, he doesn't taunt anymore. Now he just heals me. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I want to use minions. So how do I do a damage build? Here's a legitimate question. How do I do a damage build? I'm trying to think here. There's just so few abilities in this dumbass class. Dumbass class. Dumbass. Fucking class. Let me think here. So this is Shadow. I mean, if I stopped doing Corpse Explosion... If I stop doing Corpse Explosion, right? Man, I really thought that Army of the Dead was going to work out, but that ended up not being a thing. Not really. The problem is Blood Orb requires me to pick it up. I feel like part of the problem is no matter what you do, you're gonna come back to Corpse Explosion. And I don't know how to make... I don't know how to do a build that doesn't focus on Corpse Explosion. But Corpse Explosion seems to not really actually have that much synergy. I could just do a Hex Minion build. Would that work? Hex Minion? I mean, the blood golem is a pretty cool ability though. He just runs up and gives everyone the suck. He's got the sock. Now, I'm wondering, could you do a golem carry build, maybe? Do you think there's any way to do a golem carry? But the issue is, none of my left clicks are worth shit. Right? All of them just create corpses. That's their entire purpose. Maybe we ditch the idea of shadow damage.
Because we don't need that many corpses, we can just go with Hued Flush. Or we can drop Hued Flush. Right? No, the problem is there's nothing you can do. The entire way to play Necromancer revolves around Corpse Explosion. That's their only goddamn viable ability. I shouldn't say their only, but it's their best ability at any rate. Thank you, Delati. Thank you for the host, my dude. No, I literally just did. What, 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 what is this? I hope you have an enjoyable rest of your day, my dude. Oh god. Find Dark Corpse. Yeah, great. I fucking love this mission. Uh, find the corpse. That's a joke. Actually, I find this quite tedious and annoying. Because it can be anywhere. And it literally tries to be anywhere to, like, fuck with you. It just, you just run around and look. It, 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 like, okay. Just get on your horse and run around and look. Yep. Cool. Yep. Really piquing that interest. There it is. Is that ability to heal me? He absorbs damage that I would take and recovers life while attacking. Okay. I find Necromancer fun. What is wrong with you guys? You guys think everything is dumb. What do you want me to play? What? Literally what? There's only five classes in this game and, you know, let's be honest. I'm not ready yet. I'm... I'm... Kind of, why is there another find the corpse? I will kill myself. Seriously, you do. You, you literally just run around on your stupid horse. You run around on your stupid, dumbass horse until you get trapped in stupid shit. Um. I'm not joking, you literally just run around on your fucking horse. It's like there's literally nothing in this game not designed to piss you off from annoyance. 
I know that sounds harsh, but no, it's really not. And then do you see you finally when you get close to it, you see it on the map. And that's it. That's that's how you do it. That's it. That's fucking it. You gotta find the corpse, everyone. And by find it, they mean just kind of be gently annoyed for a little bit. It's not like actually annoying, it's just like mildly it's like a minor inconvenience. There is no demon hunter. There is only rogue. And he just got nerfed. Because, uh... Yeah. I'm gonna be dead honest. Not while I'm in I feel like this game was originally designed to be linear. Then they pushed it into being an open world. Then they realized that being an open world was kind of not exactly the best. So then they pushed it back into kind of being linear. Then realized that they had worked too much on the open world. So then they pushed it back into being an open world. And that's why it's this, it's this weird linear open world experience now. Your blood golem's kind of a truck boat truck. I'm legitimately curious if there's a build where you can do around a golem carry. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see how much, just as one example, how much stats and stuff and all that, you know, how much armor, magic resist, anything he has. That would be interesting. You know, I found that visual clarity tends to help in games that are all about, you know, stat management. You know, in a game where 95% of the fucking game is just min-maxing your stats, I, I have found that being able to see them lends to a nice experience, you know. Yeah, write that down, chat. Good story pacing is good. I'm really blowing some minds on this one. Yeah, write this one down. In a class where it all comes down to micromanaging a bunch of buffs and debuffs should have the buffs and debuffs listed appropriately in areas that are easily readable mid-combat. I know this is blowing all your minds right now. I'm really coming up with some game design that has never been seen before. No one has ever designed games as well as you should be able to see shit easily, but Blizzard seems to think this is some top tier design. Ah, I just go summon a corpse and I guess, nope, not that one. See, that one's not actually a fucking corpse. Yeah, you were tricked! You thought to yourself, Hey Shin Shin, you dumbass, it's glowing red, clearly it's a corpse. Nope! Visual fucking bug! It's not there! Get in there, Golem. 
fucking tank sitting in the back. How much does he heal me? I don't think he heals me at all. I got 11, but I'm pretty sure that was my on kill healing. By the way, the the funny thing is that Ashava's been the only world boss I've seen, and it's literally a campaign boss that they repurposed into a world boss. What does a blood golem do for me? I mean, he listens. He doesn't judge. He's nice. He goes rawr, 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 and kills people who piss me off. In all seriousness, he he's he's a drain tank. Hence why I was asking if you I thought Maybe he could be like a. Maybe I could do like a golem build where he just like solo tanks everything. Cause like, you know, especially once you start putting points into him, you know, he can get up to 75% damage and life bonus. So, I mean, he's. Uh, yeah, he. I, I feel like maybe the iron golem. Maybe the iron golem, I could make a solo carry. And I just like base my build around buffing him, maybe. Here, let me go. Let me go look at all my hexes and see if there's uh, some some way to make this a carry. Let's go look. Let's see. We got the one hex, and we got the other hex. We got the two hexes. What do you think? Is that enough build diversity? It's corpse explosion, in case you're wondering what that is. They made two hexes. You get two hexes. Yes. Does that take? That does take essence. Passes at the end of the tree. Well, let's see here. We got after you've not taken damage in the last three seconds, your minions gain 15% attack speed. When at least seven minions, this bonus is doubled. Okay. Shadow damage inflicts enemies with shadow blight for two seconds. You and your minions deal 10% bonus damage to enemies with shadow blight. Every tenth time an enemy receives shadow damage from you or your minions while they're affected by shadow blight, they take an additional 22% damage. 
Increase your max health by 10% after being healthy for 15 seconds. Your next blood skill overpowers. Your bone skills deal 1% increased damage for each point of essence you have above 50 upon cast. Bone Golem, sorry, Blood Golem is not using me. Blood Golem is all I have in this world. Get him, Blood Golem. Man, I know what they were going for. I do, but like, my god, whatever they thought they were going for, it didn't work. Because there's not enough fucking abilities! So every spec has to use Corpse Explosion as its majority damage. And it's not like summoning the, the zombie. This dude, the priest, he gives you a buff for five seconds, but it doesn't stack. It doesn't stack. So like, there's no point to generating more corpses. There's none. But you have to do it for bosses, because bosses will kill your skilly boys. So the only build is solo corpse explosion spam. I think I got him. Maybe if I found some legendaries, literally at all, ever, even one. Oh, I'm not doing the thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Oops. Great way to learning. Where's the other one? Oh, right. We need to find them. Dude, peel! Peel! Yeah, but Bone Golem is a piece of shit.
Is there a wiki yet? Maybe. I mean, the in-game tool tips aren't terrible. They're not good, but they're not terrible. Necromancer's coffin. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Pow, 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 Zoop, pow, whoop, pow, whoop. Pow, 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 whoop, 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 pow, whoop, whoop, whoop. Man, every time I get into a groove of damage, they die. Return to the Tree of Whispers to receive your reward. Senna is not dead, you whiny, whiny bitches. Totally fine. Top tier, in fact. I'm gonna say it, chat. Really good champion. Best champion. In fact, chat, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. We're all gonna hear it. I'm gonna say it. Literally the strongest champion in League of Legends. That's not true, but you know. So this is uh, part of the adventure mode. We run over here to the tree, and we have to constantly teleport back here, which really takes you out of what you were doing. But you can't continue to do the quest until you come back here, which is honestly some of the best game development I've ever seen. Because like when you're in the groove and you're leveling up, nothing makes you happier than when you stop and randomly go back to a tree. Because you know. You know what? I don't know, but you know? Do you know? Yeah, I know. You know? I know. You know? I know. A hat. A bad hat. Critical strike damage. Damage over time. Physical damage. Things I don't do. Well, I mean, I do damage over time. Fair enough. Shadow damage. Yes. Damage against slowed. Maybe. Critical strike. No. Regeneration but not damage recently. Damage over time. Fortify generation. Shit, 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 and shit, and shit, and shit, 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 They're all shit. Every single one of these. They're all shit. Every single one. Shit. Dude, League of Legends is so broken right now, it, it kills me. It kills me inside. Um, no, no, no. Okay, let me think here. We need money? Are any of these good? No, no nothing is good. Okay. Yeah, give it over. Let's just sell all this shit. Honestly, what we should do is, um,. Why am I sitting? What we should do is, uh... We should just enchant shit. Use it well. Come back if you need the forge. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Oh, is that area 35? 
Well, let's just do this area. Will I play the Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader beta? Uh, maybe. I mean, it's not like I'm I'm against it. I played the tabletop once. It was okay. I cannot do that here. Tabletops are a bit mm, simplistic. Um, <laughs> seething abomination. You can do these without, no. Well. So, okay, these are like PVP things. <sighs> Complete any event in the region. Complete any event in the region. Okay. Complete any event in the region. Complete any event. Are there any fucking events? Complete a ritual at a vulture altar of extreme. There's. Am I fucking crazy? All of these just say to complete an event. Complete any event, and then this one says to complete a ritual at an altar of extreme. Am I fucking crazy? Or am I not reading this right? Or am I reading it right? Am I reading it right? So all I need to do is go to an altar of extraction. I complete four events, plus the fifth one that's the original one. So all I need to do is mark for PvP, okay. No one PvPs, so, oh no, I'm open for PvP. No one gives a shit, no one's gonna stop me. No one does PvP. And then I just... You're not carrying any shards of hatred. Okay, well, we need to go find something. Get one shard, turn it in, and we should be good. Okay. We're gonna go turn in all 66 shards. And that's something crazy. I mean, the way it reads is they've four random complete any events and then complete a ritual. Complete a ritual to Shard of Destruction, which is this, which is what I'm doing. The devs of Pathfinder? Oh, maybe I won't try it then. I like games that are fun to play. And not just talk about playing. Quote me! All of this is meaningless, chat. All I'm doing here is meaningless. We're actually gonna see if this is written as worded. Ritual completed, but it didn't complete these. Complete any event in the region. But I did. But I did. So what the fuck is it saying? I'm gonna go down exactly where it spawned. Okay, let's see. No, there's nothing here. So it's literally, okay, I think it's bugged. And I think that's why it spawned four different times because it's bugged. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. How do I get out of here? Help. Help. I'm trapped. Why is it hell? I need time to do this. No, I don't. Mine's a gym stream? I don't know. I don't have a witty retort to this. I hadn't exactly. Oh, 
well, shit, I kind of want to get... No. How much do I need for this shit? Cursed scroll. No, those are useless. Yes. Unconventional that mount that vendor. I can barely even... That is too expensive. Yeah, but can I, like, get a visual on it? Other than this tiny little icon? Whatever, I don't care. I, uh, the, the, the PvP's on there. This game, six months. It should have been delayed by six months. I beg, Blizzard. Were, were you in that much of a financial issue? Was there was there problems? Was there like legitimate pro- If this game released six months from now, I fucking promise you it'd be the Elden Ring of ARPGs. And I'm not saying that lightly. I'm just saying like, imagine if Elden Ring launched with six months less of content and it'd be looked at as, yeah, I mean, the gameplay was fine, but, and that's, that's how I look at this game. It's like, yeah, the gameplay is fine, but like, most of the classes only have like one real fleshed out build. Uh, the balance is really bad. They literally had to hotfix nerf the Paragon Path by 64% in three days because like people were out leveling the difficulty of the game. Instead of leveling up, making the game harder, it was making it easier. Right? It just, there's just, what I'm saying is there's just so many issues. Not even small issues, just blatant, out of this world issues. Not to mention, like, like, okay, things like this, okay? Like, what is, what is this? This is, in, this increases the amount of damage enemies take by my minions, and I get essence if they die while it's active, right? But the damage of that ability is so fucking shit that there is no world where casting that is better than just casting literally anything else. It's like they had an idea and they went with it and they didn't work out. It didn't work out. It wasn't a viable idea. And rather than go back and try to work with it, they just said, fuck it, there's no time. The game is launching in a month. <laughs> That's honestly the best way I have to put it. It's like, it's like they literally just ran out of time. And so they just said, fuck it. Like take Druid as one example, by the way. Druid has literally one viable build right now. Oh, well, okay, I'll say two. Um, let's look at Necromancer. Necromancer is basically corpse explosion. The class, because that's all you do. Explode corpses. Because that's the only thing he can do. They didn't think of anything else he can do. If you don't do corpse explosion, there's like nothing else to fill your abilities out with. Just because of how the synergy works, it's like there's nothing else to do. It's not, it's like there's literally just nothing else to do. The only possible other thing is Bone Spirit, except, you know, good fucking luck with that. I mean, I, I guess I could try a Bone Spirit build, but oh wait. Minion builds are about standing back. And you know what bone builds don't do? Stand back. Let me look up the damage on that left click. Man, really? Even shit like, why is the health bar so bugged when you use a potion? It's like they literally just launched the game it, it literally just feels like it was just launched like 
Like, it, like, like, like the game just got launched. Like, it was, it was bugged and someone just said, fuck it, go. It's good enough. Like, that was it. They were just like, it's good enough. No one's gonna complain. It's good enough. Like, this mode, the adventure mode. Like, like, why do I have to continuously teleport back to this fucking tree? It's so momentum breaking. It just, it breaks what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do a thing and the game's like, nah, you don't want to do that, man. You don't want to do that. Like, yeah, 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 I want to, I want to fucking level. I don't want to continuously break my momentum over and over and over again. I don't, I don't want to do that. Weird shit too, weird shit. Like the rituals just randomly change their position over and over again. Okay, well, there we go. We could go for a pure shadow build using minions to deal more shadow damage. Now, that could. There is fast travel, but I'm saying, like, if I fast travel away from this area, I need to go back to the waypoint. So if I wanted to continue to go here, I'd have to waypoint back to here, then run all the way over here. Surely you can understand how that might be seen as a little bit annoying. Um, okay, so we can choose the minion one. If you haven't been damaged in the last three seconds, minions gain 15% attack speed. When you have seven minions, this bonus is doubled. I guess. It's because chat is sexually addicted to terrible games. They came for Diablo, someone started talking about League of Legends, and they were like, Damn, that game is also kind of shitty. Hello, Camor. How you doing, buddy? I think both games are fine, but they just have issues that are just frustratingly frustrating. Did I finish a druid one? I didn't finish it. I just decided to go level a necromancer, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm regretting it. No, you don't. It's not even about the flashiness of the attacks. Okay, well that actually is an issue. Yes, the flashiness of the attacks is an issue. The... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one issue too. There's a lot of issues, but yes, that's one. Yeah, the problem is everyone's just going... Like, I don't know. The problem is, every single build for Necromancer is Corpse Explosion. I, I just, I don't see a way to do a build without getting Corpse Explosion. Like, there's, it's just... 110% damage over 6 seconds. Like, there's just no way you can do a build without Corpse Explosion. It's just the raw damage of it is just gonna destroy bosses. You know? Okay, but... Once again, everyone keeps mentioning Diablo 2, Diablo 2, Diablo 2. Guys, Diablo 2, get out of high school five years ago, went to college, came home, and got a job. Do you understand how old Diablo 2 is? I am not joking when I say Diablo 2 went to college and got home and got a job. It is 23 years old. It is old. It is old. We should not be comparing um, games to Diablo 2 when game design has advanced pretty goddamn far. 
Well, and then the issue with corpse explosion being forced onto every build, um, the the issue with that is that then builds focusing around corpse explosion end up doing the best. Like when I look at Golem, like. Even with two points into it now, my Golem AoE is 108%. Corpse Explosion at one point is 110%. I mean, I guess technically it'd be three points to get it that far. True. I'll agree with you there in retrospect. Even though nobody said it, I just corrected myself. Because I'm a fair and unbiased man. Was the aspect they didn't like our Shadow of War? I didn't hate anything about Shadow of War. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to. There we go. Sorry, I forgot my key binding for a second because I changed it. Dude, can you guys fucking peel for me, Jesus minions? What the fuck are you doing? I, I just didn't continue the game. It's not like I didn't like anything about it. I just didn't continue it. I mean, if you get Army of the Dead Ultimate, yeah, you can spawn it, but that, that ability just wasn't working. Ultimates just don't work because they have too long cooldowns. It's like, it's like, okay, if you played League of Legends, would you give up your ultimate for a basic ability? Yeah, actually, most champions, I feel, um, there's enough basic abilities that are pretty goddamn strong. Like, let's look at Darius. Would Darius give up his ultimate for Counter-Strike? Well, maybe. Because Counter-Strike isn't on a two-minute cooldown. <laughs> and that's kind of how everyone's sort of playing it out here. Is that ultimates are on such a long cooldown that they're kind of just not worth using. What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's an offhand. And what are you, my friend? Damage reduction, shadow resist, and... Well... You kind of got to grab the better armor at a certain point because it just, uh... Two bonds and decrepify. Hmm. What do those do? Interesting. Yeah, Diablo 2 is a 401k. Um. Yeah, I mean, I could see where bear. There, there's some ultimates which are okay, but it's just like overall, it's so hard. Like. Would you rather have an ultimate, or would you rather have literally a fucking golem? You know? Which is better? Every so often you can do a shitload of damage, or I just have Blood Boy over here running around. You know. Limited skill slots is fine. I don't disagree with that at all. I just think it's a bit silly. That... Well, let's put it this way. In the case of Necromancer, I feel like it was probably a design mistake to give all Necromancers minions, then give you bonuses to not use minions. Because the thing is, not using minions isn't just not using minions. I know that sounds really dumb, but just 
like, it's not like you're either getting four skeleton warriors or you're getting like 15% damage reduction or whatever it is, right? It's not like, what, what are the bonuses? If you give up warriors, you get 5% crit. It's not like I'm choosing four skeleton warriors or 5% crit, right? Like those aren't my choices, right? Everybody gets that. It's four skeleton warriors versus 5% crit, but I have to summon the skeleton warriors. And I have to buff the skeleton warriors, and I have to keep them up, and I need to get runes for them, and I need to get items for them. Um, I need to put points into them. I need to put an ability on my bar for them. Uh, if they die, I need to resummon them. So it's not. It's not four skeleton warriors versus 5% crit. It's a lot of things against 5% crit. And unfortunately, because you literally get the skeletons for free, and then you can just opt into not saying, I'll use them, and instead you put all your points and all your abilities into other stuff. Yeah, most necromancers are just saying, well, actually, the benefits outweigh the detriments. Oh wait, I already had the tome. Where am, where am I bringing this thing again? Slay all enemies. Well wait, if I'm slaying all enemies, why do I have these tomes? What the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? This dungeon is not linear. They kind of designed this dungeon layout poorly. I'm so used to already doing the objective as I got it, that it... Yeah, and the problem is you can spam corpse explosions so hard. I mean, you can spam it this hard. So, so long as you have corpses, you can do ridiculous damage, right? Like, look at the amount of damage on that boss, right? So it's just, it's, yeah, rank of blood mist, dexterity, damage reduction. Ah, I like this one better. Hello, dodge or doge. Lost anything? I will to live. like cut them off maybe what is going on here like like stop them Oh yeah, so I'm just kind of gotten lazy at this point. I'm just like not even using the corpse explosions. I'm just I'm just bored. The enemies aren't nearly challenging enough to even be slightly entertaining. But also, yeah. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Slay all enemies in unstable rampart. Where the fuck is unstable rampart? Which one of these bitches... Which one? This is unstable rampart. Slay all enemies in unstable rampart. Oh, I understand what happened. They fucked it up. I'm getting the second part as my first objective. That's why it's been fucked up. Okay, this makes sense to me. Does this reset the dungeon if I leave and enter? No, because there's no point, because there's no way I do this in time to get the global objective. I just fall down here? Yeah, I think it's because it's a dungeon you fall down in. They fucked it up. They think you're entering from the other side for some reason. Close enemies are those in melee range. Distance are those otherwise. Wow, that is so interesting and relatable and easy to understand and invokes no possible questions. At least the little minions are popping off here for their utterly insignificantly small amounts of damage. I think the minions just kind of don't scale. I, uh... I don't really have a better way to put it. Is this from Diablo 2? No, 3? Are they doing callbacks to Diablo 3? Shut the fuck up, don't call back to Diablo 3. Everyone forget that game existed. Together we can do it. I can get level 32. If I get level 32, at least I get Iron Golem. Then from then on air out, I pretty much have nothing left to do. Thank you, found beggars. I mean, I do damage. It's just all in corpse explosion. Reasonably, she just go back to bone gulp. I chain top people. I didn't do corpse explosion, but. You know, you know that old saying. Now, that's boring. I want to do something else. I want to move on with my life, Chad. I don't want to just explode corpses all day. I want to be someone. I want to go somewhere. I want a life beyond corpse explosion. Uh, how would I make a golem carry build? How would I do such a thing? Problem is, no matter what I do, I, I'm inevitably like, if we do a minion build, you're just gonna end up with corpse explosion because that just that's what flows. 
you create corpses to summon minions, but I'll wait. The best way to make use of the the, the old the excess corpses is this. Blow them up, get mega damage off them. But what if you didn't even have the minions? What if you just blew up the corpses? Then you're cooking with fire. So you think can turn off the melee. You're thinking, turn off the melee. And only use mages. No, it's dumb. You're dumb and ugly. It is done. Oh, greater collection of rings. He's back for all right, I didn't open it. Wow. Well, that didn't feel like a collection of rings. That felt like a greater collection of rings. Normal- it gave me shit. Wait, it literally gave me worse stuff than I would normally get. That's funny. That's funny. How's Necromancer? Oh yeah, it feels better. It feels better. It's definitely an improvement. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not- I'm not doing a meme. It actually is better. I mean, I could do a bone crit build. I don't know why the only way that crit... See, here's the thing. You have to go dot because crit doesn't scale up your boys. The only way to, crit, to scale up your boys with crit is with this one. But for some reason, there's a jank three second cooldown on them critting after you crit, and you have to choose that specific one to get to it. Bone Spirit... No, but Bone Spirit just goes... ...without the Skelly Boys. Remember, if you want to get these Skelly Boys to continue to live throughout the game, you need to invest in them, okay? They're like... ...a kid. Right? You can't just have a kid and chuck them out to McDonald's, right? They're not gonna learn much. You gotta send them to a good school. You gotta put points into them, right? You can't- you can't just have skeletons and expect them to do shit. So if you're not gonna put points in them, if you're not gonna use it, you might as well turn them off, get the tiny bonuses that you get from turning them off, and, you know, go from there. Right, kitty? Yeah, right, kitty? Yeah, kitty knows how to play this game. Kitty. Kitty. Okay, well, while the, um... Yeah, see, it's it's resetting in the next two minutes. It'll swap to different zones for... ADVENTURE MODE! Was blood really that bad? Uh... I could try... Because I'm basically doing a shadow minion. I could try blood minion. But like, part of the issue is... Blight, as you saw. Blight does 30%. Don't look at the flat numbers. Or sorry, don't look at the, the numbers, look at the flat percent. It does 30% plus 80% over time. None of the blood abilities come close. Blood Surge can do 50% plus 20%. Now, that can be 75% if you fully hit as many people as you can. But even with 75%, um... You're, you're still looking at 95%. Now, obviously, it's in a dot, but that's why you have the minions. The minions run up and they go, grrr, and they tank, and then you keep them in the dot. And that's, you know, you kind of... You kind of figure that's how my build's been working, right? Now, I could go with blood, I guess. But blood 
literally feels like they launched this game, and I'll say it again, six months early. They have this whole blood orb mechanic, right? But like, have you fucking seen anything with blood orbs? So, Hemorrhage can summon a blood orb, and then there's some items which buff blood orbs, but like... Where? Is there anything else that uses blood orbs? It's like they literally forgot. It's like they literally added blood orb, and then they fucking like, blood wave leaves of nine three blood orbs. So that's it. It's on your ultimate, and it's on your rank one left click. That's it. It's like they literally forgot they added blood orbs into the game. It's like someone had this cool idea that blood was gonna like was gonna summon blood orbs, and then you'd have to run up close and you'd pick them up, and then you'd heal. And someone was like. Yeah, what if the enemy one-shots you? And they were like, Oh right, he is a squishy caster. So, healing probably doesn't do any good in a game where you get one-shot as a squishy caster. Never mind, fuck all that. Just release him as a burst mage again. Yeah, he already has a burst mage skill. Okay, now he's he's got two burst mage skills now. Blood and bone, they're both burst mages. And one's better. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get water.
don't know how she ran past me, then ended up on the other side. Okay. Uh, blood, blood. You guys want blood? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's say fuck it and try blood. Let's chuck it in the fuck it bucket. Let's see, blood orb there. Blood orbs heal your minions. Is that it? But like, how do you generate blood orbs? There's only one way! It's so stupid! Oh, corpse tendril, okay. Corpse tendril. And... Here we go. After casting blood lines eight times, your next scan to blood lines is guaranteed to overpower and spawn a blood orb under the first enemy hit. Okay, fuck it. Let's chuck it in the fuck it bucket. Blood. Blood. Do I want to go to the fortify build? Blood. Da, 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 Blood, 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 if I have a minion line in front of me, I feel like investing this many points into that is kind of a waste. Hmm. I need two points to get to the next skill tree. Where? Where do we find it? Where do we find it? Do we just go with Blood Mist? Okay, let's think here. So we have left click, right click, Golem. Un so here's Skeletons, here's... Here's Skeletons. Here's Golem. Here's Ultimate. Here's Hex. So we do not have two points here... to waste. So, I think in this situation... We just grab two extra points in Bloodlands. Then we're gonna do Abhorrent Decrepify. Damaging enemy hex is a chance to reduce the cold on our abilities. Okay. Then we're gonna buff our Skelly Mage. Okay. Then, no, we can't do Corpse Tendrils. Because we need Golem. So... We do Gruesome Mending. Into Blood Orbs Heal Minions. So if we cast Bloodlines eight times, my next cast is guaranteed to overpower and spawn a Blood Orb. Okay. Then we need two extra points. Where do we find them? Let's see, we buffed our Skelly Mages. We buffed our Skelly Warriors. We could do distant damage. Multiplying damage to distant targets. Or damage to cursed enemies. It's me. That's not me and my minions. It's only me. So we have the left click. We have the right click. We have the buffs on our lower skelly boys. 
is it safe to pick up a damage talent? I think so. Unless, no, we should put more points here. Do we want to get more healing when we're below 50% health? Let's get Tides of Blood. Then we want Blood Wave. Okay. So then, now we have room to pick up all the other shit we want. So let's do Tides of Blood. Let's do Coalesced Blood. Okay. We got three more points. I guess at this point we just buff... Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot. Drop these down. Drop you down. Because I forgot we need to grab Death's Defense. So our minions can't lose more than 30% of their health. An Inspiring Leader. Then we grab Kalan's Edict. With one extra point, I guess we go into Golem Mastery. Not while I'm in town. And then Golem Boy goes here. But the question is While healthy, your blood golem gains twenty five percent Well, is that is that while I'm healthy, or while he's healthy? I think that's while he's healthy. Has to be. Now we've got full minions. But now... What kind of damage type to blood? They all do physical damage. Physical damage. Physical medical damage. Okay, so everything we do does physical medical damage. Do we crit? I don't think we crit. Do we even want melee minions then? So then we probably want... We want bone mages because bone does damage to itself and we're going to heal them with blood orbs. After being alive for five seconds, bone mages deal 40% grief. So our bone mages will solely kill themselves, but they'll do damage. Which means we just need skeleton defenders to tank. We just need defenders and golems to tank. This is a shit build. This is never going to work. Shut up. Go kill something? I'm trying! If I'd get any fucking legendary drops and knew what necromancer legendaries were, maybe I could formulate a plan better.
We got an additional point. Let's dunk that into Golem Mastery. Oh yeah, these mages fucked themselves up, dude. God damn. Okay, they're actually gonna be difficult to keep themselves alive, but they sure do fuck. Chad, these skeleton mages have sex. Okay, I need to keep him alive, though. God damn, they massacre themselves. I can't keep up. Okay, Bone Boys, I need you to stop dying. I'm gonna be dead honest. I think what I do is we ditch... Man, I think we do this again. We ditch the melee dudes, right? The melee skeletons, I think we ditch. We just go with the Bone Boys, and then we try to heal the Bone Boys. There's definitely an issue with this build, I'll give you that. Oh yeah, what was my legendary? <sighs> it's not even a unique one to Nikomensus. Chad, they've clearly gone insane. Let's just put them on their misery. That was a graceful way to go. The blood skills basically just sit there and don't do much. I'm not sure, this build kind of sucks. The problem is these bone mages massacre themselves way too quickly. And I don't have a good way to replenish them. At three, this is uh, my ultimate. Ultimate technique, blood wave. Does 120% damage and knocks people back. It's really shit. That's what I'm saying, like, Wow, it does slightly more damage than a corpse explosion. 
On a 50 second cooldown, eh? These blood mages just. They kind of just kill themselves. The bone mages kind of just kill themselves. I think we're going to cold mages. We're gonna try cold mages because they give me essence. It's, uh, Bloodlands. Every graphic in this game is terrible. I didn't make it! Why are you making fun of me? Like, I made this game! Yeah, Blood Tendril does, but Blood Tendril's really shit and awkward. I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's kind of awkward. The problem is, if you use corpses at all, um, it's really awkward. Oh boy, ranks of corpse tendrils. Problem is, corpse tendrils is fucking awful. And you need a corpse to do it? Oh my god, it does 20% damage? Are you fucking kidding me? What a piece of shit. What a sack of fuck. Okay, the problem with this build is I spent way too many points not really doing anything. I don't think we could fit seven skeletons and a blood golem on the horse with me. My character bugged out, I can't attack, I need to go back. <laughs> Normally this works. You want all seven skeletons on seven skeleton horses. But also the blood golem on presumably a giant blood golem horse all following me around. Oh, of course it teleported me back to town. This time it fucking teleports me back to town. Last time- Oh my god. This game's design is like, what if shit? That's it. That's the entire design. What if shit?
Can your character look more emo? No, literally, she cannot look more emo, Chad. I... Created an Excel document. And I, I, I put in all the emo figures of emo done, and this is what it came out with. It ranked this the most emo character of all time. What do you think? Come back if you need work. I could go back into the wardrobe, but I don't think we really got anything interesting. We kind of we kind of ran out of new stuff to go through. Yeah. I mean, we could do like the generic thing there. Mean fur lined robe. That's not so bad. I'm doing like a blue look. I and mean, we can go with that. That might look a little more emo. I kinda like the blue. Gives you some color, you know? I mean, do I even have the exceptional pants? No. So, like, I'd have to go with something like this. It's not really doing it for me now anymore, you know? I mean, we, we could go for this if you guys want more of like a D2 kind of armored kind of look, you know, type thing. Gonna toss some armored gloves in there, maybe? Kinda like the, the claw, you know? I mean, there's only so much you can do here, chat. Yeah, but she's like a blood necromancer. Chat, we're changing up the look. I don't care, we're changing up the look. Now she's like an armored knight necromancer. I'll be honest, I'm not sure... What I'm doing works, but I'm gonna keep trying it anyway. Well, is there any way to even create corpses? Here's a serious question. Is there even any way to create corpses with the build I'm doing? Not really, right? Or at all. Right? So, like, I can't really summon consistently unless I'm tr clearing trash. What's a lucky hit chance on this ability? 38? Jesus. 
It's not even about being summoner, I just kinda... I kinda feel like doing a blood build, but there's like none good ones. I mean, I guess you could just go at the golem and no mages. It's kind of shit, I'm not gonna lie. It does like no damage. Has a 50 second cooldown. Oh, it knocks people back. Who gives a fuck? What does that, what does that do? What a shit ability. I feel like fundamentally one of the issues is any class that plays around healing runs the risk of just getting one shot. Well... Shit, I don't know about this blood orb thing. Blood orbs are kind of shit. How am I playing Ivern? Of all things! The daughter of hatred demands blood. <laughs> What do you want, Katie? What could I get by giving up my skeleton warriors again? They're all kind of bad. Focusing so much on my skeletons does me no good. Like, Blood Build just doesn't seem to have any reason to exist. And that barely even knocks back! That is a shit ability. I regret with all my heart getting that piece of shit. Okay, so what? what, what is the other one? Blood Mist?
Okay, we're gonna go with Blood Mist instead. Cause fuck that. Okay, so there we go. Okay, we get these boys, but I'm gonna be honest, that's, that's a way to generate. So I think what we do after that is we go for bone mages, because now we can summon kitty. Why are you so antsy to get up, kitty? Why do you want to get in front of me? If I let go, are you gonna instantly run in front of me? You're gonna instantly run in front of me, kitty. <sighs> really? Why? Okay, so I think we go with this one. They fortify me. Now, what does fortifying me do? Fortify, you get 10% reduced damage. Who gives a shit? Okay, I think we take off Skeleton Warrior Mastery at this point. There's like just there's just no reason to go with Skeleton Warrior Mastery. That's one man's opinion. Because Skeleton Warriors just like we're not gonna really use them, not really. S bone mages, I think we could do bone and blood. But taking up Skeleton Warriors doesn't really do anything for me. No. Okay, let, let's sit on the... Because we, we got some ways to generate corpses here. Don't just stand there. Help me. You are a fool to trust me. Oh! Wow, that does almost two damage. It's like they wanted to copy. of essence. Me too. Ow, what the fuck? Did I just get one shot? I mean, that's basically, we're doing the funny haha -ha Vladimir build. Which one's Sever? I don't know, Sever's the other one. Oh, right, I forgot. We actually have legendaries that are buffing Bloodlands, too, and it still just sucks. We have plus two ranks in Bloodlands. Bloodlands should be so good. And it's just not. That's crazy. I forgot we have insane items for it.
Well, okay, here's my question. Do skeleton mages do increased damage based on their HP loss? I mean, there's a question. I wish there's a wiki. Do they do they just hurt themselves to deal damage? Or... Do they... Like... God, these blood orbs suck 10 different dicks, I swear to god. There's nothing I can do with these blood orbs. I need more essence. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like struggling to think of a way to make this work. Dagger, do you randomly? Each time when you're summoning minions, damage an enemy, they gain 14% attack speed for three seconds. Up to. Um, I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But if I did that, I'd, okay, these bone mages just ain't working. Just go back to the ones that generate me essence. It's like, it's like, it was funny, but it's not working, Chad. Like, I had an idea to heal them, and, and like, then they do giga damage, but it just, it just don't work. Like, fundamentally... How does healing work? Uh, most healing is based on your HP that I've seen. Unlocked Iron Golem. I am Iron Golem. <laughs> Every fifth attack, Iron Golem attacks. Well, see, the thing is, if I'm healthy, Blood Golem does more damage. I mean, he looks cool. Okay, is it what is this Bioshock? When when did this become Bioshock? That's not even iron. That's wood. He's wood golem. We're going back to blood. Fuck this. Get the fuck out of here, you fake iron bitch. Oh, 
Okay, now we have these things on. Um... Bone Blade of the Frenzied Dead. Core skill damage, basic skill damage. I mean, basic skill is currently at 100. With this, it was 111. So despite getting a legendary, we barely increase her damage. Okay, well, I forgot her, 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 her DPS is much higher. Yeah. Yeah. So... Hmm. I don't know. We use Blood Golem and Blood Golem accessories, Chad. I don't know, I'm like struggling to think of a way to make this Blood Minion build work. Okay, we just need to find his body. It always puts the body in a funny haha -ha area that you'd never expect. And I've started to come to expect it. That's kind of funny, I won't lie. <laughs> it just, just beat the shit out of- He just gets frozen by the mages, and then it just me and everyone just beat the shit out of him. Just get him, boys! Do they get attack speed based on my attack speed? Actually, I'm gonna be honest. This is... Not... Uh, bad. I, I don't know a better way to put it. This is actually... Somehow this legendary has made this decent. Because my necromancer... If my minions attack, they get increased attack speed, right? He just fucking runs over. Get the fuck out! It's locked. Not for long, it's not. I know a key. But it's in town, and we gotta go find it. Your Necromanians inherit 30% of your stats. So they inherit my base attack speed set by my weapon, aka the attack speed of the weapon. You know what I mean? Life regeneration while not damage, willpower, and dexterity. Yeah, that's better. Oh, anyway, I don't use willpower, I use intelligence. What will it be? I want to upgrade my weapon. Pew, pew, pew. Come back if you need work. I do. I need my shield upgraded as well. Pew, pew, pew. Still only a 20% block chance, eh?
You don't like armored blood necromancer thing, Guy Johnson? Okay, but what other skills could we add in here? I'm gonna be honest. Decrepify? More like shit crap of fuck. Out. Out, shit crepify. Iron Maiden. In! What do you need? Anything breaks, the forge is hot. What was I doing here, Chad? I feel like I was doing something in here. No, I'm not. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the chest. Chad, we're going back to town. Chat, I'm just a nice normal girl and her four skeletons, seven skeletons, and giant blood golem made of human blood. I think he's possessed. Worry not, Arthur. The cathedral will not abandon you. Hmm, until next time. I need more time. I think the problem with necromancer helms is almost all of them are like some weird, like, edgelord skull helm of Kraken Doom. And it's just like, cool. Can't really do anything with that, though. Okay. Life on kill. Cooldown reduction. Essence cost reduction. Fortify generation. Damage per gekant. 110, 123. Ooh, but do I care about thorns? I feel like I kinda do, maybe? Get him, boys! Okay, we're gonna Iron Maiden. Never mind, we still have Decrepify. Time for the Iron Maiden. Oh, we need to conquer Nostrava. Slay spiders. I hate spiders. It kind of seems demonic. <coughs> Man, I wish there were more towns to save. The towns and their mini-stories was probably the best thing they did. What the fuck? They got the mages! Mages down!
No, we're not murdering peasants. Must destroy them. Stop chasing me. I'm literally a blood mist. Dick. Problem is, it's way too easy to heal up with health potions. Yeah, and just keep yourself topped off that way. Especially because, like, your health potion count just goes insane. So, like, the issue, at least the way I see the issue, these healing classes just don't scale. Because instead of doing healing... Someone trying to get help. Oh. Uh, Lilith ends up being the bad guy. Need time to do that. Oh, uh, I choose neither side. I'm gonna do blood minions. We're doing blood minions, chat. I don't care what you say. We're doing blood minions. Blood minions. Another. 
another lamb for the set. Not mix, it's just blood minions. Wait, can I just generate essence like that? Huh? No fucking way it actually works like that. But it is such a weirdly high attack speed for some reason. I'm out of essence. No, it just it's just blood minions, chat. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's just blood minions. It's Iron Maiden. That's its cast. And because it casts so quick, and I have it where it generates energy. Abort! This is my combat stance. She just stands there, just goes. Iron Maiden in a bone spirit, how? She doesn't have quotes. She has like no quotes or anything. It's actually kind of annoying. I don't even see- what are we fighting? Good job, everyone, I think. Your evil is done. I kicked their ass, chat. Minions are like, yo, fuck off. Thank you, Sparkled. I assume you mean my gameplay looks good. I cleared that boss without a single take of tip and damage taken. Shut up. When a barrier active, there's an 11% chance to ignore direct. That's shit. I'm keeping the shield. I like the shield. This build is stupid, but it works. I don't know a better way to put this. How much time do I have to do this? I have 23 minutes to do that. I can do that. Did he host or something? No, he didn't. Okay. So I, I don't actually have my uh, thing like up, you know what I mean? I have uh, like a chat UI thing because I'm on YouTube and um, this. Chat, I need the shield. I was getting my ass kicked. 
No one knew who I was before I equipped the shield. Did you see what I mean about blood builds making no sense? So great, I get a shitload of blood orbs. What do I do with them? Nothing! They just sit there because I'm so long ranged, I just sit back at the other end of the map. Are you kidding me? Dude, that that druid gameplay was peak. That was peak gameplay. I'm sorry that you don't understand and are too stupid to understand. One, two, three, one, no, actually, it went, it went one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I mean, this build works, yeah? Dude, I don't have a plan. Do I look like a man with a plan? Bail! Yeah, minions help me. Yo, sorcerer is for me, bitches. Okay, so we got the Iron Maiden. Um, we got the Golem Mastery. We got we got all the boys are set up. Deal increased damage when you're close to them. Uh, all right, why not? Let's try to get close to the minions now. Am I, am I, is my spear getting blocked or something? What's going on here? I think it's getting blocked. Just armor. You gain increased armor for four seconds when you deal any form of damage. Darkness skill damage. Total armor. Dexterity. Physical damage. Do I do physical damage? I mostly do physical damage. I only do physical damage. Yeah. So physical damage is bad.
It's not bad, but it's not like good. What's it look like? Oh, it looks terrible. Now we're starting with the D2 Necromancer look. What does Iron Maiden do? Enemies affect my may take each time they deal direct damage. Lost a minion. A sturdy hood. More like a shitty hood. Ah, no, actually, it's pretty good. Um, good on reduction. Every generation. Nah, that's shit. <laughs> Twelve billion years later, Mr. N unlocks the mound. Fail! Yeah, I will say it every time. Cause it's funny, chat. It's funny. You go bail, and then you go invulnerable, and you run away. It's funny. Bail, and then you go invulnerable. Oh, my man. Um, hold on, I screwed something up here. There we go.
I golem activate? When I activate him, he does like an AoE heal thing. Which is good, because I can see his health bar, like, in a very easy to see spot on my screen. So I can tell, like, you know... Oh, wait. Boy, it almost seems like this class got made at the last second and released with a game that got rushed by six months. Imagine that, chat. Honestly, I feel like the golem, even if the skeletons are supposed to be removed, I think you're supposed to keep around the golem for longer. And I feel like even they got shocked when no one kept the golem. But it's like, why would you? 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 Okay, Bloodlands of this was an English series. You're probably sure. <laughs> it's just a bad item around. Corpse Relic. Oh no, I'm not even trying to be mean, I'm just saying like, from a literal sense, like, why would you, right? Like, I mean, quite literally, like, have they added a reason? A... Idea? My bags are also full. And by bags, I mean... I'm not really sure what I mean. Okay. So, we need to go sell everything. What level are we? 33? Jesus, am I gonna stay up all night? Yeah. Yeah. While well, barrier is active, you have a 11% chance to ignore direct damage from distant enemies. I don't fuck with that shit, chat. I don't fuck with RNG bullshit. You know what? Let's double check. Are any of these better? Uh, let's see. You can increase armor for seconds so to deal any form of damage. Any form. Any form of damage, you say. Any form. Any. Ha <laughs> ha. Form. Okay, so what do you get? Uh, total armor, physical damage. Yeah, let's give you the oopskies. Okay, for offhand. You're a slight bit item level upgrade. You give me cooldown reduction set of thorns, but you, you remove my block chance. I'm gonna be dead honest. Shield doesn't actually do shit. A two-handed scythe of doom. Oh, ah, ooh. Holy shit. It rolled level 29, though. Fuck. It might actually be better than this. This game sounds like Diablo 3 engine up in the same mistake. Eh. I think it might actually be better than my dagger, which is disappointing. Simply because it rolled, like, an insane advantage. Not you. You. Like, damn. I mean, hold on here. If, you need work. if I do that, my damage goes to 155. I mean, I get like 40% more damage. Mm, I don't know. But I lose the attack speed on minions. I don't know. That attack speed on minions, I kind of need to keep. What do you need? And that's about it, right? Yeah, because I, I could honestly get rid of these gloves. It doesn't really even matter. 
Wait. Healing received. Damage reduction for those enemies. Damage reduction. That's like his mini attack speed. That's the salvage. Okay, I'm tired of being armored necro girl. Jet, we need to diversify. We need to diversify our look. I don't hate it. It's like the only necro helm that actually shows off the head, mind you. Really? I don't like it. It's not bad. Okay, that's not bad either, but I like the hair. I mean, it's hard to get rid of the hair is my biggest issue here. Okay, surely there's like a new look. It's just a sovereign. Well, you know what? I just thought to myself, Jet. I could do full sovereign gear. And then we color it purple. Wait, that actually worked. Wait, I forgot you could color. Like, honestly, the black's not bad. Don't hate the black. Don't hate the green. That orange is pretty nice, too. I won't lie to you right now. That blue's pretty tasty. I mean, that's a tasty blue. Okay, that red is nice. Doesn't really fit with her purple hair, though. Honestly, I feel like purple just goes best. always wanted to wear purple but I can't wear purple because I'm not an emo goth girl now I can wear purple I mean I don't even look bad in purple doing? I don't even remember what I was doing. Yeah, you pretty much only have the headband when it comes for, well, headgear, you know? I just forgot I was supposed to be doing this dungeon in under 20 minutes. Or at the very least, go heal for a little bit. Well, it drops aggro, and that's important. I literally only had that to do. Fair enough.
Um, okay. Back to the tree of... Wait. Okay, we did get the waypoint. Just had to double check, make sure we got the waypoint. One-handed weapons, boots, or gauntlets. Probably boots, right? <laughs> you know, I seem to get epic pants in these boots. You heal for 9 per second for each close enemy, up to 62 per second. Damage reduction while fortified. Rank of blood mist. Well, what does a rank of blood mist do? What does blood mist even do? You heal for 0.5% of your maximum health. Awesome. Amazing. Surely, I mean, what, what, let, let's go look at what a rank in this ability does then. Just kind of doesn't seem like, yeah, healing from 0.5 to 0.5. Okay, so putting points in it reduces its cooldown. Okay. They did something useful for putting points into it. Um, okay, so this heal, not great. I won't lie. The only real reason to do it? I don't even know. No, it's just, it's just no good. It's just no good. There you go. Movement speed and slow duration reduction. Sorry, I was reading something. Um, okay, so what am I doing? What am I doing right now? Okay, we're gonna take that gem out. Okay. Wait, okay. What, what is my current amulet? It's a minion attack speed one. It's hard to replace it. It's hard to replace that jet. Yes, yes, I have wares. Yes, yes, me too. Khajiit have wear. And put that in you. Damage reduction while control impaired. Although, to be honest, with the new blood mist, I don't really uh, get controlled impaired that much, do I? No, I do not, chat. No, I do not. Let's go upgrade my new gear. I only upgraded this twice the other time. Forge is always hot. Forge is always hot. Okay, and then, uh, this effect, I'm not... Like, it seems like... This seems like an effect that would be decent at first. But would quickly break. And plus, I get a transmog out of it, which, you know, is always good. I heart transmogs. You 
You can't be serious, Tom Iris. Morgan's fate is lost in ruins. What, what new transmog do we get? This one. Oh shit, now we got the bone weave. Surely you understand that. <sighs> bone weave only does one pauldron, which I think has an improvement over the two pauldron. Even though she's putting the pauldron and the shield on the wrong... The shield should be on the left, and then the pauldron and the shield form a wall. So they're, they're kind of doing it wrong. They only build bone and blood surge. Well, yeah, probably because this bird's kind of shit. I I'm going to be honest, this build has almost no synergy. It's basically like... I'm basically just running away and making tanky minions. Although, okay, to be honest, that's kind of synergy in its own way. Kind of. Basically, I'm just using a shield, tanking with the shield. And then I'm just getting a bunch of tanky stance, and then the minions just slowly kill stuff. Okay, so right here we have a level 26er. A level 26er. We guts to guts to guts to get down there. Increase your melee summons by two? That seems interesting, but at the same time kind of weird. Like, you just get a shitload of melee? What could you do with that? What could you do with just a shitload of melee? I do not remember being in this zone. I don't think I actually ever went in this zone. I would remember this zone, because this is a very unique look. How do we get down? I just wanted to go here. Okay, there we will go down, and then we'll go up. Well, Army of the Dead active, your minions gain 75% attack speed and 90% damage reduction. I mean, that seems nice until you remember you have to get Army of the Dead active. I mean, the build I'm doing right now is, is jank, but like, it has its own unique synergies, in a way.
Damn, I want to do like stronghold though. Yeah, it's either two melee means or just standing there. Investigate the grave robber's corpse. The mistakes of my past will be paid in your blood, grave robber. Let our brothers rest. Oh boy, spirits. Never seen this enemy type before. It's locked. What am I supposed to do? Cleanse. Find the stolen crusader's skulls. Cleanse the skulls in the ritual brazier. I'm just, I'm just playing it. I'm just playing it. I guess we'll get 50. Well, how do we find the skulls? The amount of damage I get for kind of not really doing anything is funny. Uh, I got about, I'd wager, half the Lilith Shrines. It's like my character is pretty strong um, at first, yeah. I mean, it's still strong. Oh, so a relic skull isn't a relic skull. Okay, my bad. Surely you can understand my mistake. Maybe I should just swap over to Blood Surge. I mean, to be honest, this whole Blood Orbs also heal your minions thing has not really done anything.
Yeah, I tried to do like a blood orb thing and it just didn't work. There's not enough synergy for blood orbs. There's nothing really to do with blood orbs. Like, I think that the whole tanky minions thing is actually not bad. But this blood orb thing is abysmal. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Each time an enemy is hit, blood surge by blood surge is nova, you're fortified for one percent of your base health. While you have fortified or fifty percent of your maximum eight life, blood surge deals twenty percent increased damage. Or if the enemy is damaged by blood surge is nova while you're healthy. Then gain one stack of overwhelming blood. When you have five stacks of overwhelming blood, your next blood surge overpowers. That's probably best. And we're definitely going to lose damage is the issue. Well, let's see. And then let's take... Let's take Blood Orbs also heal your minions away. Let's put that into Coalesce Blood. While healthier blood skills deal more damage. Let's make way more overpower damage. I guess we just finish out Hellbent Commander and we'll just be we'll just run around with our minions doing shit It's locked Yeah, I know well, where the fuck are these Crusader skulls find the stolen Crusader skulls how 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 I've been to so many grave robbers and I haven't found shit either the grave robbers are being framed or it took a few bottles, but the good Sir Tristan is with us. He says to leave the smaller crypts. Just common soldiers in those. Take iron tools and go for the big tombs. That's where the gold will be. Akarat, forgive and watch over us. Give us full bellies tonight. Oh my god, there's just all oh my Maybe we go back to Bloodlines. What, what did they do in the Diablo patch? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Bloodlines. Maybe we just swap. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap out again. I know I'm being a bit indecisive, but uh, I think we 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 dropped the meme of the blood orbs for sure. Well, no, I, I think no, 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 no. Yeah, here's what we do. We we. Here's what we do. We're gonna stay the course to supernatural bloodlines, which will drop a blood orb, but we don't really give a shit, right? We just want the overpower on it, and then we just want to sit back at range. I think Bloodlance is kind of being slept on as a ranged nuke after its buff. I think the Blood Orb synergy obviously wasn't there, but I think we just sit back and we just yeet Bloodlances into people all day. And then if we're standing next to the mages, they get 30% damage. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like a I'm like a raiding party chat. Look at this DPS. That's blood golem. Blood golem. Give me blood. He gets 50% multiplying damage and 25% damage reduction while healthy. Now, I don't know if that's while he's healthy or while I'm healthy, but either way, he doesn't really seem to mind it. I mean, with all these multipliers, let's be real here, though. My bone mages, not my bone mages, my ice mages are just sort of sitting at range, just being like, pew, 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 pew. Like, it takes a little bit, right? But once I get that attack speed set up, and then they generate me so much essence, I can just sit there bone spearing, sorry, blood spearing, sorry. Blood Lancing. My bad. Locked. 
I think what you mean is you're useless without it. Your builds are useless. You're useless. I need more time. Your net decking is no match for my ability to just kind of build tanky and make my shit tanky while the mages kill everything. It's not about damage. It's about damage per second. Something you just wouldn't understand. I mean, any build that needs a legendary to build is kind of lame. So it's like, you can't really do it in hardcore, you can't do it in ladder, you just have to like, hope to find it. Like, hope, hope we find it. Boy, this is really tedious. Not at all the fun thing I thought it was gonna be. You are weak, door or doge. You are weak. Ow. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I need I need to get near my boys. Oh my boys are getting wrecked. Get in there, boy! You might think there's no synergy, but it's actually like this weirdly janky synergist build. Because like, the thing is, nothing really fucking makes any sense. Also, I totally forgot, this is significantly better than I remember. Because I sit back and I just sit here and I just go... Stacking up my armor. But then my minions get the armor. So I just sit back here and I use that and I tank up. My minions get the armor. So they're just sitting up there being tanky little sons of bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm a genius. Yeah, because remember, all your stats transfer back to your minions. So I sit here tanking myself up, and then, you guys, have you not noticed that my minions don't take any damage and just have this giga attack speed? Look at them. They're just like, I'll fucking kill you, I'll fuck you up. And the, the zombie's like, ah, oh, dude, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. And he's just like running away. Stop, that's not fair. You're dying so quickly. <laughs> And the other thing is, I'm so tanky. 
So like even if I get ambushed, it doesn't really matter. The only weakness I have really is AoE. Did I wish blood orbs did something to pick them up like something man I wish it did something they're just a total waste the entire mechanic is a waste Dude, the fucking melee minions are like, eh, eh, eh. It's, do it's only doing 18 damage, but the other, the zombie's like, uh, uh, stop it, uh, that's not fair, uh, stop it, stop it, uh, Get him, boys! Wee! I'm out of here, boys. You got this. Find the corpse. By God, it could be anywhere. The most annoying spot it could be is over here on the right. That was honestly be the most frustrating, annoying spot. It's just wackily over here on the right. Am I gonna be right? No, no, it's not. That go is coming right for me, chat. You all saw it. That was a self-defense move. I mean, pay attention to how much uh, armor buffs I have. Like, you have to stack that shit quick, right? But, you know. Okay, the second most annoying area it could be is like wackily over here on the left. Throw a bloody lance, it lingers in an enemy for three seconds, dealing 408 damage to the enemy and all other lanced enemies. Blood lance appearance to enemies who are currently lanced, doing 50% reduced damage to subsequent enemies after the first. I still don't really know how this ability works, you want me to be blonde. Run, boys!
You know, I think the whole healing allies on your blood orb thing is probably supposed to be for the golem. Does Bloodlands explode again, or how does that work? So you lance it in an enemy. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Throw the bloody lance that lingers in an enemy for three seconds, dealing damage to an enemy and all other lanced enemies. Oh, that's why they buffed it so much. It sucks. Now that I'm like understanding it, wait, it sucks. They really thought that was gonna be good? Even at 80%, I mean, it's a bit questionable, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be dead honest, I am not sure Iron Maiden is really contributing much to my uh, gameplay here. I'm almost positive it would be better to use the other one. Like at this point it's just funny to- cause you can chain cast it so fast. But it does almost no damage to enemies. It just, it's free. I guess that's it. It's literally free and it gives me a bit of healing. That's it. That's, that's it. That's literally it. It's so bad. But the thing is, it only generates spirit the first time you hit an enemy. So it's like... It's just so bad. Beat him up, then also throw his his ghost off the cliff. We beat the shit out of him, and then we yeeted his ghost off the cliff too. I feel like Bloodlands only really works if you have extremely high attack speed. Because basically what it does, it, it hits an enemy, then stops. Then the next one hits an enemy, goes through because they're already hit, hits a second. Then when it, it hits the first one, does damage, hits the second one, then does damage to them both because the first one is lanced. Get it? Then the third time you cast it, it goes through both the first one hitting him, the second one hitting the first two, then the third one hitting the first one a third time, then the second one, then the third one. Get it? But like, if you're doing a slow attack speed, it just kills them too quickly. I'm not saying it's good, I'm just saying I think the only reason this is even remotely working is I'm using a dagger. Other than using a dagger, I'm not sure there's really much that would make this even decent. It's confusing, but I'm almost positive that's how it's working. Almost positive. Almost positive. Oh, almost positive. 
almost famously positive. I'm positively almost famous. I'm gonna start putting points in bloodlines. The other thing is I also have a build that has plus two points in bloodlines. Because Tendril, my good friendy friend, takes 30 essence, not 15, my good friendy friendo. So I can't just sit back and do this while all my dudes, my boys, get up there. Looks like I reborn my boys. And the thing is, if I just sit back next to my mages, giving them the 30% attack speed from vicinity damage, like, look at what they do, though. With all the attack speed I've given them, it doesn't seem like a lot, but each of them are swinging for 100. It adds up. The golem, I'm not actually sure is worth it. The golem is a question. And I'm not sure he's very good. Respect? Yeah, I've been respecting this whole time if you haven't noticed. I'm just specking into respecking. I I've put bonus points into respecking. I can't get down there, eh? while I'm in town. What content have I been focusing? Well, I'm on adventure mode. If you want to level fast, the best thing you can do realistically is to just spam dungeons. Dungeons just give you packs of enemies over and over and over. Holy shit, Blood Wave got buffed to 120. It was only 90. Jesus Christ, Blood Wave was only 90? Even at 120, it's the biggest sack of shit you've ever seen in your fucking life. So then, I stuck the fool with his own blade. At 90? My god. Even at 120%, dude, it needs to be like 150. The issue is, like, it's at such a long cooldown. Honestly, the cooldown should be 30. I think most ultimates should have their cooldowns reduced from, like, from, like, 60 to 90. They should all be, like, 30 to 40 across the board. The only ones that could be a long cooldown are the ones you can kind of elongate. Marauder Torturer, Life on Kill, Inkeligence. Less thorns, but it does have a thingy bobby doody daddy. It's not actually better, but I could upgrade it better. Yeah. 
They just need to add more abilities to Necromancer and make it more than just the corpse explosion funny guy. But the problem is right now every build leads to corpse explosion. There needs to be more you can do with corpses than just explode them. I know that sounds dumb, but like there's so many ways to generate corpses. But then once you eventually do have all the corpses generated, what do you do? You explode them. That's it. Nobody hits you, no need for thorns. Haha, -ha, but you know who they do hit? That's right. The skeletons. all my stuff to work, I need to not get hit. A legendary two-handed scythe. When blood lands, it's an enemy that has already been blanced. It is a 34% chance to fire a blood lance at a nearby enemy. <laughs> By God, blood lance is blood lancing. Blood lance deals 115% increased damage to its primary target per lanced enemy. But it's not a fucking AoE. I'm like actually confused. Do they realize that by the time you can possibly stack enough blood lances on enemies? Like, I don't get it. There's just no way. Like, by the time you stack enough blood lances on enemies, they're dead. Uh, what level are you? 26? Not actually that much better if we're gonna be real. Dude, I feel like they were basically going for Callista with Bloodlands, but then they forgot that, like, enemies don't live that long. I'm setting up for late game and see everyone else is leaving the dungeon. That's why this build works, is because I'm not actually playing it as intended. I'm basically just using it to just sit back at range and chain overpowers on the blood lance. I'm not actually using the blood lance as intended, let's put it that way. I'm just, see, see this overpowered, the blue numbers? That's all I'm doing. I'm just sitting back at range and chaining the overpowers and standing next to my minions. My concern is that if I drop my shield, my melee are going to be squishy. Because, like, right now, you might have noticed my melee line does not die, ever. So I just get to sit back here with the mage dudes, and we just tank forever. Ow. Ow. Okay, screw it. Diablo for legendary aspects. I'm just gonna Google it, chat. 
I'm just gonna Google this shit so that um, we can save some time. Okay, Lance. When blood lance is an enemy that's already lance, has a 10 to 20 percent chance to fire blood lance. Okay, blood lance deals increased damage to the primary target per lanced enemy. That's it. Wait, those are literally the only two. There's no like third. So that's it. I'm actually legitimately confused. But that's such a low chance for it to work. I could either sit there and let my minions get 42% attack speed. Which is great, because that means my mages eventually start chunking people, right? Or, I could do, like, low chances for blood lancing to AoE, but only if they've already been lanced. It's just such a... That's why blood lance got buffed. I'm honestly starting to think my way of using Bloodlance is actually the best way to do it. You just use it as a ranged overpowered tool. Then you just build tanky and still do damage because you can use overpower. Yeah, because remember, minions get my stats. Not like literally, but you know. Yeah, so what are you? Damage reduction from distant enemies, cooldown reduction, maximum minion life. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. I like the maximum minion life. Yay, yay. I wonder, why do I keep walking back here? Am I stupid? I wonder, if, you know, what I'm gonna probably have to do is sit on this weapon until level 50. Then I'll just have to take it off the weapon and put it on my first weapon I find post 50. And then just hope to find it again so I can um, imprint it on another weapon later on. I think that's like the only way I could do this. If I try to replace it with a pre-50 weapon, that just won't work. Because, like, the minion attack speed ends up being the only thing. Well, no, because the problem is eventually, um... It's, like, slow, but it's pretty consistent. Damage reduction when fortified, healing received, plus eight all stats. Whoop de fat fucking do. Bone skill damage. Damage reduction from close enemies. Crowd control duration. Well, it's not minion attack speed. Don't know what to say. Well, I mean, bone skill damage. I'm not even using bones. What am I thinking? I need more time. They very much intend Necro Bruiser to be a thing, mind you. It's not like, uh... It's not like blood being tanky is like a concept that they didn't think of. Blood is supposed to be tanky. Kind 
of lost control of that fight. Then again, it kind of just shoved me into an enemy. And they were all just in melee. Yeah, so dots were changed. Dots can only do 1% of a minion's health per second instead of 2% as they used to do. So minions can just tank uh, poison enemies without really even an issue. Okay, this dungeon loves to just randomly chuck enemies into melee of me. That's cool. Did it again. It, it it's it's starting to become one trick. It's like, it's got one fucking trick. Just spawn them all on top of me to avoid my formation. Pretty sure my melee are gone. Okay, we're down to only the blood golem. The blood golem's doing fine. All right, chat. Have you seen my strategy so far? It's perfect. Okay, write that down, chat. That's how you beat that boss. Has everyone... Has everyone wrote that down? Chat, did you write that down? Chat. 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 You might not like it, Jet, but this is the ideal Blood Mage gameplay. Oh, Noxian Blood donated 22 hours ago. You still back here around doing stuff here? 
Oh shit, and... Man, I'm bad at this game, am I not? Golden Buddha donated... 10 bucks. When was that? now? Seven minutes ago. So I have to, I'm trying to like convert timetables because I'm dumb. Hello, Angle fan. Uh, sorry, I've, I've been looking at my game nonstop. How am I liking it? Oh, it's like it's like one of the worst playable games I've seen, but it's definitely playable, and I am a sucker for shit where I can do dumb shit because I'm an idiot. Thank you, Golden Buddha six six zero zero. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate you. You still around, Angle fan? G give, give me a give me an emoji or something. Give me like a thumbs up or a high or honestly, give me anything. L literally anything. What is this? Oh boy, we have to find the body. Wow, I love this press. But why does it happen so many times? It's it's like the least interesting part of this. You you all we run around on a horse looking for the body, but we're not even looking for the body. It's not like there's gameplay. We're just looking for it to give me the fucking thing, man. It's just it's stupid. It's stupid. I mean, the lance just does what it does. Uh, they, they've kind of buffed it to the point where it's just a ranged overpowered technique. I guess the issue is it doesn't really have anything to carry it into late game. I guess that's probably its biggest problem. Like, if we're going like hyper late game, you kind of need like overpowered legendary bullshit. Okay, I, I can't find this body. Normally it gives you like a signal on the minimap or something. God, that's why I hate this bullshit so much. It's so tedious. It's so stupid. Like, oh boy, gotta find the stupid fucking body. Wow, I'm I'm adventuring. I'm an adventurer. I'm an adventurer. You fucking s yeah, I guess this is technically in range. My bad. Funny thing is, yeah, the mages freeze them if they attack enough. Let's go clear that stronghold. I need more time. Yeah, because I'm not gonna come back here. Not really. In all honesty, going to the staff might be worth it. One minute. One seventy one. Actually, I don't know. I mean, I get like 50% eh, more damage at this point. Seriously, like these little blood orbs, it's like, it, it literally feels 
like it's locked. It literally feels like they thought no one would have healing, and so like like blood orbs would be like yeah, or now they have healing, but no one else does. Like wait, what? Okay, I can't get through there because of the fire. There because of fire. Can't get through there because of fire. Ah, there's a person. We are eternal. This body held us captive once. <laughs> Until his own people burned him. Now, we feast on their ashes. Another shield. This shield is shieldier. No, actually, this shield is less shieldy. Click their. F It keeps spawning them on top of me so that I can't actually have a formation fight. Come on, we're playing Total War, right? Like, come on, there's, there's like Warhammer 40k. Let me let me get my firing line. Melee in the front. Melee in the front. Again, Golden Boulder. I appreciate you, my friend. I need a particular reason for the donations today. Uh, so the witches, I mean, at least they just set up a bunch of characters in Diablo 4. You know. In other Diablo games, they had a bad habit of killing off or otherwise removing um, all the named characters as quickly as they made them. You know. But Diablo 4 actually did invent some characters, right? It did, it did make some characters that it didn't kill off. Right? I want to say the biggest issue. I don't like that they killed off Donan. I think Donan could have been a continuing character, right? They, he basically served no narrative purpose to die, right? Other than to just say, oh, now Lothar is the last Haradrim. Like, okay, I mean, that's neat, but is that needed? Oh 
my god, get out! Stop spawning behind me, it's so lame! Respect the formation. You guys have healers, okay? Just, you gotta out-heal me. Like, I revive, you revive, like, it's a revive fight. They're just being salty because they're losing. What was that? All oh, right. You guys fucking stop. Man, I, I you know I'm I'm legitimately curious. What do you get for putting points in Iron Maiden? Uh, it just increases the damage return. Increases the target area. Enemies afflicted by Iron Maiden. Take damage each time they deal direct damage. That's just so weak. Iron Maiden is so shit. Like, it's a nice idea in theory, but the reality of the situation is it's pretty fucking bad. Man, my dudes are getting whooped on by that shadow bitch. It's like, it's like, honestly at this point I should just swap it. I mean, there's like no reason to swap it though. Hard decrepify shit. Okay, let's just ditch this and go to decrepify. Cause like it doesn't it doesn't do anything, it doesn't help. I I think their issue is a put only two curses in the game. And like the problem is, you can't really do like a curse build because there's only two, but you'd think that like a curse minion build would be the meta for minions, right? You, you just use triple curse and minions, but there's only two. Like, and, and the other problem is Iron Maiden kind of fucking sucks. They take 10% damage back each, so they'd have to hit you like 10 times. They don't date you like 10 fucking times. Like, who the fuck? Okay, so we got gruesome mending. It's not very good. Oh boy, if you're below, you receive more healing. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I'll admit. it. Um, let's just continue to point dunk into Bloodlands, I think. 
I'm not trying Thorns build. Your flesh will turn and crack. Ashes for the feasting. <laughs> Oh, I healed one more area. Forgot about that. Man, Blood Golem's kind of falling off here. I won't lie to you. He, he does 100 damage, I guess. Whoa. Kind of getting ambushed here. It's a forgotten scythe. I didn't forget you, scythe. Oh, boy, we stance like that. Maybe I should have. But no, I'm not trying a thorns build. I'm just... I'm just swapping over to Degrepa 5 because I just think it's better. Okay, I feel like I'm starting to hear their voice actors repeating. Ow. Why do mages have a habit of just running up into melee and dying? But like, where would I be taking so much damage? I mean, that's my question. Why, why would I be taking so much damage that I would need all these blood orbs? Blood orbs only make sense, fundamentally, in my opinion, if you had a reason to be taking damage. What is my reason? Oh shit. He said my golem was immortal, so I was staring at my golem's HP. I need more time. It does appear that way, doesn't it? That's some good gameplay right there. That's some top and tier in gameplay. -in. It's gone. So many years I had it at bay. 
Then the Crusaders came. You were all so scared. I cannot hate you for giving me to the pyre. I can hate them. I forgive you. I don't. Dumb assholes, you're going to hell. And you deserve it! Oh, did I not ring the bell? Right. Gollum is cheating. Your mom is cheating. Ah! Uh, get fucked. I ring you, Mr. Bell. Ding dong. The bitch is gone. The evil bitchy bitch is gone. Ding dong. The demon's dead. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think, I don't think people are going to come back here. Pretty sure they all died. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all gone. See, I'm noticing a problem here, though. I'm noticing a legitimate issue here is that, um, and hear me out on this one. A legitimate issue that, that is rapidly occurring at light speed is that if I'm during a boss fight, uh, I don't actually have any way to generate corpses other than my, I, I mean, I guess I can do it with, um, blood mist, right? So, as we start to approach late game, I don't really have any way to replenish against bosses that can actually kill them. Now, my melee dying is fine, but those bosses that are wiping out my ranged, not as fine. Okay. These are all weapons. No. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Can't replace. Can't replace. Um, I could honestly replace this one. This one's not the end of the world. The, the bonus armor. Like, it's okay. It's okay. This bitch didn't roll- low roll every fucking stat on it, you stupid piece of armor. Chad, get this armor out of my fucking sight. Should you buy D4? You played D3 quite a bit when you liked it. I mean... Do you like what you see, or are you just bored? Nah, these are all bad. Are you bad too? Yeah, you're super bad. Bye. Don't ruin all that work. I mean, that's a that's a question. Do you actually look at this and you're like, "Wow, I can see myself replaying adventure mode." Cuz like the thing is, I mean, I'm doing these like I'm doing some of these strongholds for the first time, right? Like I, I think it's got a good forty hours of content in it. I, 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 I like to, to, to. What's the right way to put it? You know, um, gauge whether or not something is good by how much hour content it gives you. That's not always the best way to put it, obviously. So like, let's put good hours of content, right? Good fun. I think it's probably got. Depending on what class you play. Morgan's folly is lost in ruins. Okay. This isn't like yeah. the fault. This isn't for the fault for Akarat. Surely you understand that. 
Why are we half sovereign, half bone weave? We should have more bone weave. Do we not have all the bone weave? Oh no, we don't have all the bone weave gear. We have sovereign. Well, that's okay, because sovereign just gets recolored. Nah, the purple's just got a flare to it. Plus, she's got purple highlights. It's kind of unnoticeable because purple highlights over black, which is... Well... You know... <laughs> so, Sovereign Male is just a slightly recolored and retextured bone weave. Slightly. They're extremely small differences like where these are to the point of like I wonder why they even fucking added them what what was the point someone went into the animation software instead of just adding a pauldron to one set they were like slightly rearrange everything here just slightly you can see the difference right why like you can see these symbols are slightly more um You see that? It's like, why? Just like it's slightly shorter as well. Like, look, see that the this thing moves slightly further in here. Who does that? It's so weird to me. What are we doing? Tunic. Weathered tunic. How is this a regular tunic, but if you've been out long enough, it looks like this? How does that work? It just looks bad. I'm sorry. That's awful. Yeah, Necromancer could pass her a boy. She she has zero boob. Her boob level is zero. See a door o doge. Um Yeah, so far there's not really that much good Why would there be armor where it looks like terrible here? That doesn't even that's just stupid. It's like if you're trying to do a look. No, I mean, I want her to look good, right? I kind of like the one pauldron look. I don't know. The one pauldron look is better. I kind of prefer without the pauldron, especially because it's on the wrong arm anyway, so it's literally doing nothing. What about shield? Yeah, no. No. Uh, not the look. Oh! Yeah, go, go with that one. Shit, I didn't realize that was an option. Dagger, 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 dagger. Ah, uh, dagger looks better. Well, I don't think we got anything new here. I mean, I think we got something new here, but I can't find it for the life of me. And this is the only game in human goddamn history that doesn't do like New item in your wardrobe! Dur dur, like fucking seven exclamation marks you can never seem to remove, no matter how hard you try. Okay, how long have I been playing Necromancer for? She's gonna stab her eye out? No. She's very combat capable, chat. Don't. Don't, don't, don't assume just because she stands in the back that she doesn't know how to stab people, okay? She's very capable of stabbing people in all directions. Is always Bloodline since an enemy that's already lines has a 34% chance of fire bloodlines and nearby enemy. Okay, I'm gonna be honest at this point. Uh hello Mama Emeritus. 
I'm gonna be honest, at this point, the raw DPS increase of this item, but uh, I lose the thorns and I lose the defense. That's kind of a badass. Oh shit, if you remove the shield, you lose the transmog. That's kind of a badass scythe. Uh, actually, it's kind of not. Actually, I'm kind of... I kind of hate the scythe. It, it's green! Why is it green? It totally ruins my silver and purple look. Damn it, chat. Hello, Mano... Lo... Des... Queen... Nah. I'm gonna be honest, Mama Emma Teres is easier to say. Stabberlol, you have terrible taste, both in women and in your own personal well-being. I call it Corpso Mancer. I'm just gonna put her shit in here. Well, the problem is now we attack really slow. Is this really a good idea? Is that portal sucking things into it? But wouldn't it also then be sucking things in from the other side? But then why would everything ever move here? Any complaints? A lot. Actually. Honestly, you want my my weirdest complaint right now after playing the Necromancer? How come they they only added one waifu character? I literally I have a friend I'm trying to get to play with me, and she literally refuses to play because none of the characters are pretty. And I can't exactly prove her wrong. And I'm like, well, the Necromancer is cute, and she's like, don't want to play the Necromancer. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what to say then. <laughs> I don't think I don't remember the waifu robe looking very good. You know what? I'll check because I got nothing else to do right now. Right, so I mean, what, what, what do I what do I got to do, Chet? What am I on a timetable? What what do I what do I have a schedule? I I don't normally make waifu characters. You guys just wanted me to make one. Yeah, yeah, my friend. She made like ten different characters in Lost Ark, leveled them up, and just made them all cute girls. Every single time. I mean... <sighs> eh... Eh... But it's all just like, that's just worse necromancer. Right? Am I wrong? And she's kinda cute. Kind of. Kind of. But it's just like, it's just, you're literally just rolling worse Necromancer. I think part of the problem is they, they roved really hard into the whole emo goth setup. But then the problem is that Necromancer is the only one that like really pulls it off. You know what I mean? Well, hold on here. Actually, let me, let me. No, not you. I don't know what look they were going for with the sorceress, but everyone always thinks of the sorceress as like the waifu character, and they just. I mean, I know what they're going for. She's supposed to be like 30, 40, right? 
It's just like, it's off. Like, the way I would describe it is in the same way that all the male characters are going to be some form of Giga Chad, right? Like, no one's playing Fat Druid. You're not playing Fat Druid, right? No one's going to play Fat Druid. And you're not. You're playing Bodybuilder Druid, right? Druid's not fat. He's muscular and a large dude, right? Like, his face doesn't just look like some fat shit, right? I mean, yeah, he's got some faces that are bad, right? But no one's using this face, are they? And that's kind of my problem, I guess, with the female uh, options in game. Well, I mean, like, we bust out Sorcerer, right? Sorcerer doesn't look like a kind of, like... Right? Like, look at him. Okay, so they got some faces which aren't exactly great, right? I'll admit. But, like, overall, like, you can do something, right? Okay, I'll, I'll admit, Sorcerer's kind of not exactly the best, either. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. Sorcerer is not exactly great. Okay, maybe the maybe not the best call on this one. I mean, okay, so that phase... Do like, uh, add like a little bit more color. He doesn't have to look like me, okay? He can have some color. He's like a sorcerer, so he should have like a light blue, maybe? Like a magical kind of look to it, you know? I don't know what sorcerer would have had. That, that's more sorcerer, in my opinion. Okay, but I mean, we're already getting somewhere, right? You see what I mean? God, I fucking hate how you either have to choose no eyebrows or weird facial hair. Yeah, the, the customization options are pretty scarce. I mean, you can do something with Sorcerer, like, you see what I'm saying? The earrings are nice. No, we're not doing a new character. I, I just wanted to... Yeah. Anyway, no, we're, we're still doing Dedomancer. Yeah, and I think that's part of the problem. A lot of the hair is really bad on some characters, and I feel like that detracts pretty heavily. I think hair on male characters isn't that big a deal. Turn that off when there are server issues. What does Dedomancer do? She stands in the back and chucks shit. I mean, she's a necromancer. I mean, there's, there's not not too much to expect here, unfortunately. It is done. Um, what items do I need? Uh, I can't really get rid of my... Oh, no, I can get rid of my gauntlets. But boots are where we're lagging. Gloves just, it, it's the two ranks of Bloodlands that just kind of do it. The two ranks of Bloodlands, uh, and then the Bloodlands bonus is too good. Too good. Um, I mean, I could do this. He's, oh, no, wait, no, I can't because willpower. I don't use willpower. I forgot. I use intelligence.
Blizzard will fix it, the new $23 hairstyle package. They launched this game six months early. I'm gonna keep saying it because it keeps being true, does it not? Six months early. They launched this game six months early. Too early. Six months too early. Customization options should have been touched up. Uh, a lot of shit should have been touched up. And, and I mean, to be honest, like, I guess it sort of fits that the best waifu character in a Diablo game is going to end up being the goth girl. Because obviously the goth characters get the best, you know, options, right? Like, if you play, 90% of your male characters are going to be some, like... 90% of uh, your male characters are going to end up being, like, some form of, like, muscly, tattooed man, no? I mean, the one that isn't is Sorcerer. People are gonna say rogue, but rogue is still muscly. He's just not like overly muscly. Like barbarian is giga muscles. Druid is like super actually realistic muscles. Rogue is muscly. I know. Okay, no, actually that's not true. Okay, so the necromancer dude. Yeah, the necromancer is the only non-muscly dude, and sorcerer. So there is necromancer and sorcerer. Yeah, no, the Necromancer dude is actually super skinny. Maybe I should have just made him, you know, me, skinny and pale. That would have been perfect, right? I'm gonna get water. I'll be right back. Dittlemancer is my dream girl. She's hot, emo, and edgy. And also, she would never give you any attention. Ever. Literally. No matter how hard you tried. Some people are like, I wish my anime character was real. You wouldn't want that, because then you'd be ignored by your favorite character. <laughs> What are we doing? Oh boy. Let's try it. More mindless leveling. Energized GG. I appreciate that, my dude. Where am I going? I'm very good at directions. Dude, I've been complaining about this shit minimap for so long. 
I just don't have the I, don't, I just don't have the energy anymore. But something else I can complain about the horse bug, where moving left and right for some reason <coughs> is faster than up and down. I don't even know how that one gets in the game. Hello, energized GG. How are you tonight? <coughs> well, we do a dungeon. Oh man, I might sleep soon. We'll see. We'll see. Start score. If I was in hardcore, you could tell, because none of my characters would be above level 15. I lack the required. Hardcore is easy if you play on the right build, but so I swapped over to a different unique. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I think the only reason my build was working was it was like completely jank and somehow just like I think it was literally one of the most synergistic leveling builds just by pure goddamn luck. So this one, okay, so this one is, stop it. When blood lions hits an enemy that's already lions, there's a 30% chance to shoot a blood lion at a nearby enemy. They're trying so hard to make blood lions happen. And I'll admit the buff they did was good, but I feel like the buff they did made it good as like an artillery piece when you're doing a uh... Whoever is shooting me could please stop it. I think Bloodlines is good if you're doing like artillery and you're just sitting in the back in a minion line. But I don't think it's really good for like a focus on a build if that makes any sense. I don't think it'll scale, obviously, like, eventually in every build you need, like, a shitload of scaling, right? Like, that's kind of the problem with the RPGs. That's kind of the problem, is that, like, unless you have a legendary that's just giving you, like, 60-70% damage multiplier, a melee blood necromancer build. Does it use bloodlands? Or does it use the other one? Why don't I pick that up? You know, I just wanted to see what they were hitting. Ow. I lack the required essence. It's using the other one, is it? It's not using bloodlines. Hmm. Significantly less essence generation now. Yeah, see, without, like, the giga attack speed, I don't know if this build really, uh, functions the same, let's say. I'm out of essence. What? 
Sailor Evo. Do these onions? I just don't like. I don't know. Like every elite enemy is is balanced in a way to try to stop you from standing still. Uh, no, you can heal your minions with raised skeleton. Yeah, but the skeleton priest will heal them. It's just, it's such a, you know, like, it's it's just so, like, basic, I guess. It's like, yeah. But then what? can't tell half the time you don't know what's happening. Uh, on my necromancer, I'm sort of just sitting in the back artillerying everything with uh, minion damage. We're kind of doing like a raid party thing. Though I'm not really sure what the purpose of... Uh, not sure what the purpose of the blood golem is at this point. He's not really contributing anything. Diablo 2 doesn't have the required resource generator skill. You can use heavy to dispel as much you want. Yeah, I know. I don't think that's a positive. Actually. I know people have their own uh, opinion, but... I think the need to generate resources slows down combat a bit. It also gives other abilities a a chance to shine because you don't just run in and and the joke I always use you don't just run in and now summoning skill damage does that mean does that only mean the ability or does that mean the minion themselves, too. You know what I mean? Anyone know what I mean? Because why would it specify summoning skill damage? The tooltips in this game try to be good, but, uh... They can't all be winners. Dude, the enemy spawned so many units in your backline, it's ridiculous. Cause like, uh, the joke I always use is that like, in other ARBGs you just run up and you shoot your fireball that summons fireballs that summon fireballs and then you shoot another fireball that summons fireballs that summons fireballs then everything is dead and then nothing else really happens, you don't need anything else cause enemies can't really live through that much bullshit. 
It's like, it's like too much bullshit, you know? Yeah, Blood Surge is not Blood Lands. You're reading a Blood Surge build. And then like... And then you're reading it back to me as if it's a Blood Lands build. And I'm like, nope. I'm low on essence. And then you're like, yeah, huh? And I'm like, nope. And then you tell me, D4 Necromancer build, Blood Surge endgame build. And all I have to do is look at the name and tell you, yep. My blood golem seems incapable of death. I'm wondering what'll happen when he's not. I'm not sure why this bitch is so danky. Yeah, I mean, if I can sit back and I can artillery with my mages, so you pretty much always win. It's when they start spawning a bunch of shit on top of me that it gets really tedious. Oh, I shouldn't say win, but you know what I mean. Dog pile through. First, Diablo 4 becomes pay to win, and Ryan gives meaningful top lane buffs. Well, I don't think Diablo 4 will go pay to win. I think they'll just enter the Riot approach of just never ending cosmetics. That's one thing that maybe a lot of people haven't realized, by the way. Have you guys ever stopped to think that if any other game added as many cosmetics as League of Legends did, that everyone would be like, yo, what the fuck is this? Like, stop and think for a second, just how many cosmetics, um, League of Legends gets. Four to five skins, or more. Um, four to five cosmetics, or more, every two weeks. So every month is getting ten plus skins. God damn, this build, I don't know why this build works. I don't know, dude. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It really shouldn't. Maximum minion life plus 14%. Oh my god. Well, I lose 64 of my life, though, and that's a lot of my life. I'm kind of curious. Hold on here. So if I do this, my moment 1,250. Yeah, see the thing is, 
The amount of max of minion life that I give to my minions only compensates for the fact that I'm losing 74 HP of my own. Sorry, no, I've been on the wrong one. This one. Now, granted, I could upgrade this, and then it would actually be better, maybe. I mean, it's just a build that f sudden turns on, like, I just artillery people. The build that was potentially viable was a Bone Mage build. This one. They only lose 10% of their health per attack, but if they're alive longer than 5 seconds, they do 40% more damage. That one was potentially viable. Just cause like, if you actually kept the three mages alive, they'd shoot everyone's ass out. Back if you need okay, so now if we have you, Golem HP is 1,259. This is one thousand. Yeah, this seems bugged. Unless the tooltip is not- hold on. Wait, but even putting my- So it's impossible to tell. Because the tooltip doesn't update. Fucking A. Okay. Is there any way, does anyone have, does anyone have, shit, I need the data mine numbers, I need the numbers data mine so I can figure shit out. Wait, the tooltip is horribly wrong. The golem absorbs 15% of the damage you would take and recovers life when attacking. No, it fucking doesn't, because I didn't take that. I didn't, I didn't take that upgrade. It drains allies, but by default, it does not absorb damage. Oh my fucking god, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, don't tell me. Yep, the game launched six months early, so what they must have done is in their initial necromancer rollout it must have redirected 15% more damage by default from you to the to the golem that got removed but because this game launched 6 months too early no one ever double checked if that was actually removed from the tooltip i fucking guarantee that's what happened cuz i'm a giga genius chat i know i'm the most genius man that's ever genius to sid but actually, I just kind of know how things work in game development. No, what happened is... 
Not while I'm um, someone said, wow, with the Blood Golem redirecting 15% of damage by default, that means that every Necromancer takes 15% less damage. That is overpowered. We should probably nerf that. And somebody was like, by God, you're right. Necromancer is too tanky. Oh, no. I know. We'll put it on one of their linky effects so that you have to choose to take it. And then they like shook hands and were like, genius. But then no one double checked if it was actually removed from the tooltip. So it now shows in the tooltip by default still that it redirects 15% of damage. Because wasn't that how it worked in Diablo 2? Any Diablo 2ers in chat? Is that how it worked in Diablo 2 or am I crazy? Nobody. Nobody's gonna. Okay, you know what? Okay, so I was right. Yeah. So by default in D2, it had the links. They must have added the link by default in D4. And then um, they just had to remove it because it probably ended up just being too overpowered. And then they kept the... Yeah, I mean, it, it just it's just what I said. It's, a, it's not that secretive, yeah. But I remember about golems from Diablo 2 was, wasn't it Clay Golem ended up being the best or something like that? Or was it, was it, was there a Fire Golem? God, I can't remember. I remember Iron Golem was shit. <laughs> yeah, I remember, yeah, so it was Clay. I'm not talking on my ass, yeah. It was just clay ended up being the best because it just had stats. There was fire. Okay, I'm not crazy. Chad, you're crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Riot was indeed working on an ARPG, and my exact thoughts were, oh boy, that sounds exciting. And then, uh, it's been five years with no news. D2 was very poorly balanced. People remember it because it was the first. Like, it was the first real ARPG. Yeah, but what about Diablo 1? Real ARPG. Diablo 1 was basically real time DD. Not while I'm in town. But, uh. Diablo 2 was so goddamn imbalanced. It was it was like a proof of concept. It was a decent idea. It was a good theory, let's call it that. But I 
I think people remember the game fondly, but one of the big issues is that um, it was basically balanced, like all you did was put all your points in one ability and run at people with like no actual synergies. And so it was just balanced as if you just had like a rank 20 fireball. And then early on, everyone would put like one rank in fireball and shoot like a rank one fireball and have a point in every ability. So they kept the difficulty low so everyone could beat it. But then by like the second difficulty when they're like, okay, you have made a decent build, right? Like everyone would be like, oh shit, my build sucks. I can't do anything. But, uh, yeah, if you actually, like, weren't a dumbass in that game, basically any synergy at all broke the game. And half the time you didn't even need synergy. Just, like, using skills that they accidentally made broken ruined the game. Part of the issue is it's also spawned this, let's call it problem of uh, it being standard that enemies don't really fight back and are mostly just there to get shot at and maybe an entire group of enemies has one ability you need to play around and the harder difficulties just make them tankier. It kind of standardized that, and ARPGs have never moved beyond it. I was kind of excited when it said World 3 would have like tougher enemies, and then it listed their stats. I thought like, okay, if it has these stats and they're tougher, they must mean they have like abilities or something, right? I could read you the world, but it, it said something, and then I realized that they were just stat sticks. I don't know, I, I don't find the end game in this game. I know I keep complaining about it, but I just don't find the end game in Diablo 4 very enjoyable. It's literally a grind to grind to grind end game, and I don't know how, I literally feel like I got duped by people into thinking like it was some like amazing, stupendous end game. It's not. So we did the cellar. What do we need to do here? Slay skeletons, ridge of ends. Sands, ridge of ends. Ridge of ends. Plate of ends. Shiro. No, 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 because in World of Warcraft, you've got actual raids, bosses, you know, things to test your might, so to speak, on, right? In this game, you can make the most broken build, and all you get is to level faster. Or, you, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're not gaining anything from it. I, Camel was coming right for me, you all saw it. I thought there would be going to be like world bosses and like super dungeons and like, I don't know, bosses, something, something for me to like a, like a, a dungeon with unique enemies that do something funny and quirky and you have to play. But no, there was, there's just, there's just nothing. It's just nothing. I was so disappointed too when I found out they had done nothing about percent damage reduction stacking. 
I stacked a shitload of percent damage reduction on my werewolf because I was like, oh man, they've, they're doing a lot of balance on the game. Surely, they, surely they've thought about this, right? And I stacked a shitload of percent damage reduction and the enemies went from like three-shotting me to I could literally stand in front of bosses and drain tank them just doing the one, two, three, one, two, three combo. And I did it like three times on three different bosses and was like, yeah, I'm bored of this. I need more essence. Now, before you say, oh, but it's Shinjin, don't abuse things if y'all get bored. Well, no, then they, like, I should be able to play as intended, and the game should try its best to beat that or to balance that. I shouldn't be able to play as intended, and then the game just stops functioning and gets boring. Like, if I want to stack the shit out of the inscription that reads you take 10% less damage in werewolf form, I shouldn't be able to stack that three times, then get a glyph with it, then... Um, get some percent damage reduction on basic attacks from an amulet, and I had what, like 80% damage reduction? Yeah, like what? That wasn't even hard to do. It was just obvious. Oh, I have a repeatable inscription that gives me percent damage reduction. Let me just repeat this, and then I repeated it, and the game was like, fuck, you're too smart. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I just did what you let me do. That's kind of my big problem with ARPGs. Half the time you get rewarded... Half the time you get rewarded for literally just playing the goddamn game as intended. That's my opinion. Sometimes... You literally just... It's... It's... Playing the game as intended is too easy to break the game. And that's fundamentally an issue with ARPGs. It would be really, 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 really easy. Okay, let me, let me put it this way. <clears throat> let me use a normal talking voice. It would be really easy if they actually just looked into things for once, ever, and just decided to take some time to seriously analyze, um, the situation. What is the situation? The situation is, fundamentally, stacking percent damage reductions breaks games. So, they need to stack multiplicatively instead of additively. In other words, let me map this out for you. If I take a uh, 0.9 times a 0.9, aka if I'm taking 10% less damage and I stack it with another 10% damage reduction, I should end up taking 19% less damage, not 20. Then if I stack that with another 10% um, damage reduction, should I get the full 10%? No, I should then go to 0.729% damage reduction. Then if I stack that with a fourth damage reduction, should I go down to 60%? No, I should go down to 65.61% damage taken. The next one, I should be at 59% damage taken instead of 60%. The difference is noticeable. By simply changing it to a multiplicative formula, stacking 10 or sorry, stacking 5 different sources of 10% damage reduction would end up with the player taking 20% more damage. Um, suppose you know math, this makes sense. If you don't, shut up. It would end up in a situation where you take, well, technically about 18% more damage um, than you would. And that would help balance the system so you can't just stack percent damage reductions. Because the thing is, um, if you look at damage dealt, multipliers are valued really high and are typically, they try to make multipliers more rare because they break the game really hard. But multipliers are not as bad as additive damage reductions. Additive, I mean, if you look at the, the recent issue with Barbarian, Barbarian was stacking additive damage reductions and reaching 0% damage taken. Indefinitely. Now, I'm assuming the game had some system to deal with that. I'm sure it did. I didn't actually look into it. I didn't watch the guy who got level 100. 
But surely, at some point in development, somebody should have asked, why are we not doing anything about this problem that keeps occurring in every goddamn ARBG? Did I clear this area out? I don't want to do find his body. God, fuck that. Find his body. Find my dick. Hold on. Is there a waypoint? Is there seriously no waypoint along this entire coast? All three of these, there's not one waypoint. Dang, really? Well, so the closest we can get is here. But I don't have that one, so I would have to go. That's gonna take so long. Can I do that? Yeah, I probably can. I'm not gonna buy D4, I was looking, I was gonna, but it looks too boring, D2 is more fun than this. If you just wanna play a more typical D2 character, you can just go play Sorcerer. Sorcerer's, um, to my knowledge, been kept in the D2 kind of approach. Okay, I'm like confused. These are the dry steps, right? And this is Glasgow. What are the dry steps compared to Kedjistan. Kedbardu. I don't really understand this world. I don't really understand what's happening here. Because they have like the dry desert, the super desert, the giga desert, and then swamp. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of booties. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, uh, 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 mm, uh, uh, mm. Can I truly get nothing better than this piece of shit? There's no way. They're all so bad. That's crazy. How do I get like nine boots and they're all somehow weaker than each other? Somehow every boot is the shittiest boot here. Ain't that wild? You need armor? I've got it here. No, don't ask him if something's wrong. He's gonna ask her a favor. Good salvage. Okay, so we could go get the waypoint here. Or we could just go here. I think we just go there. I don't feel like my camera is more zoomed out than normal. Am I crazy? This is definitely more zoomed out than normal, right? Or my nuts? Horse riding? I felt like horse riding didn't do this before. I feel like I'm definitely more zoomed out than normal.
I cannot believe there's this weird horse bug that just sort of got in the game. Like, I need more time. Y you have to be going left or right to get the full charge, and I, I just, I don't know how that got in the game, and I don't know why that's still in the game. Six months. This game launched six months early. If only, if only they hadn't. I think I'll get level 40, and then we'll put it off for the day, yeah? This is not where we went. Is this game worth 70 bucks? Probably not, no. I'm gonna be blunt, no. It's not... No. Just no. But, I guess the problem is it's not like you can get it for cheaper. You can't buy cheaper Diablo. So, like, if you like the game, you're stuck with a company that's charging you a little bit more than maybe they should. I think it's more fun than Last Epoch. I, I tried Last Epoch. I, I hated it so much. It was unbelievable. I was actually filled with rage. I felt angry. Mad. I loaded up a character. I realized the entire game was about stacking one button on every character. And I was just like... Let me come back to that later. That chest. What's my suggestion for this genre? They need to fucking be careful with so much of the modifier stacking. Like, it's fine to have synergy. It's fine to have modifier stacking. But my god. Every game just lets it get out of control until you can break the game down and, and then like the issue with these sorts of games is knowing how to play the game breaks the game. That shouldn't happen. Knowing the bare minimum in how to play the game should not destroy the game. Miterlock chest, Vemp et Meldis, Sint la Meldis, Sint et Pelox, Vempa la Meldis, Vemp et Pollux, Sint la Pollux, Sint la Meldis, Vemp la Pollux. There's Vemp et Pollux and Vemp la Pollux. Vemp la Meldis. Okay, there are one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight things here, unless I'm blind. Four of them are Moldus, four of them are Paulus. Paulox. There's two Vems, three Vems, four Vems. This one. La I'd call that a win, right? Because I killed the chest. Honest to God, I feel like this build is so stupid and works actually pretty well. I need more essence. Now I wonder, 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 what do my wonder about? Oh, oh, okay, what's this? 25% damage versus this doing 30% a second. But this clearly attacks more. Wait. 
but this attack speed is 0.9 per second. This is 0.3 a second. Wait a minute. 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 So every 1.1 seconds, I deal on average 200 damage. But every one second, I deal 240 off decompose. Wouldn't this make decompose better? I don't give a fuck about the blood orb. Decompose seems to scale really good with slow weapons. Because it always attacks once per second. No? Man's gotta try, chat. Man's gotta try. And then this would also give me a way to get bodies back in a shit situation. Interesting. But why would this channel work once per second? Damn, I'm doing too much damage. I need to be draining them while they die. So this gets me... Oh, hold on here. Let's let's compare essence generation. This is six per second. This is eight per attack. So technically, this one is more essence generation. Lucky hit chance goes to decompose. Higher lucky hit chance. Damage also goes to decompose, but it's your left click, so who really gives a shit? The enemy dies while being decomposed. Now, enhanced hemorrhage... I'd have to be picking up the blood orbs, right? Who gives a shit? Now, the last thing is a 20% attack speed while healthy. That throws it over pretty hard to hemorrhage. Or so you think. Because if an enemy dies while being de decomposed, you get 10 essence. And the you and your minions deal 10% increased damage to enemies who are being decomposed. But we don't have any dots. So I wonder if it's just better to go back to a shadow build. Well, well, healthy, you're, well, maybe I should just go back to a shadow build. Damn, now that I'm looking at it. What do we, uh, hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, blood is just more mobile, and I think, okay, so, the issue is, blood skills seem to have this weird, wacky synergy. That's the best way I can put it. It's like, Bloodlands just has weird, wacky synergy. Because enemies tend to not stand in blight. <laughs> 
No, I think, here's my opinion. I think with the fact that I've already grabbed the 18% damage here, this might generate a little bit less essence. For sure. But... This might gen hemorrhage might generate a little bit less essence, but the blood orbs and the essence generation if I'm healthy is better because of 20% attack speed. Now that might change late game. Plus, and this is important, well, I don't know, it's difficult to say. I mean, we're basically doing a Bloodlands build. And then we're just sitting back and artillerizing. The bottom of the tree for shadows. Oh, this? Shadow Blight? Yeah, I mean, if you're doing a boss, maybe. I mean, you need to consider that I can just sit back. The whole thing is I'm just sitting back here with Kaylin's Edict, giving my minions 30% attack speed. That's the thing, if you go shadow, you're just going corpse explosion. This build, I'm using for more survivability and artillery. And it's been working pretty far, you have to admit, it's been working. It's not like I'm just hard forcing it for no reason. Turn the sound effects down? Well, no. I mean, that's why we got my voice louder than usual. Unless you want me to turn it down so you don't have to turn down your TV. I suppose. God, I always forget to do this prisoner shit. Oh, no. Fuck. Not
Yeah, I think the big difference in decompose is that this can just kind of back off while generating. I mean, there's some definite synergies, though, because, like, if your minions attack faster, that means, in particular, that your skeleton mages attack faster and give me that essence faster. And if they give me that essence, that means more blood lances, and I can't close this window for some reason. We get separated. My, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. I mean, at least the blood animation looks decent. It does look like it has some weight to it. I mean, you only got the one attack animation. That sucks. God, that just doesn't do any damage. I'm out of essence. Okay, can you can you get up and leave? Thank you, Wanderer. Without you, I'd be dead. I think I can manage from here. Why? Why do you think that? Please, uh, take this. A lot of people in this game seem to have mastered the art of having an entire chest up their ass. They must be training people really weirdly. Critical strike damage, damage card control, shit. You know, I forgot I have not upgraded my rings in so long. Damage to close, damage over time, fortified generation. Shit. Total armor, shrine buff duration, damage. This is a minion attack and damage reductions for distance and cooldown reduction. It's just. Maximum minion life. Shadow resistance plus six all stats. Blessing is total armor, dexterity, physical resistance. Yeah, see, uh, I like that one better. So it seems a blood golem is the same issue the wolves have in that it doesn't get your scaling. So it runs up, does its damage, and then it can't crit and it can't really do anything, so it has decent damage, but that's about it. We'll try against bosses, maybe. Yeah. Bosses. Why would a barrier be dispelled? Because we freed prisoners. Jerry, keep the barrier up. Uh, but sorry, he freed our captives. What? That bitch. Take the barrier down. Why? I just don't like him. Let him in.
Fruit of Essence. The only good thing is if you're going for the, um, if you get the, uh, overpower hit and then it splits it into a second person and you hit two overpowers, that's good, but the chances of that are pretty low. I mean, it's not the most useless legendary, but, you know, I don't really like being so beholden to the RNG system. Another dagger. Okay, big me, big me money. Decompose can chain up to two additional targets. When decompose spawns a corpse, is a 33% chance to spawn a corpse under all afflicted targets. Okay, so it's it's literally okay. Okay, it's literally just the Giga Corpse Explosion build. Okay, I mean, cool, cool. I just feel like it's a bit much mayhabs a bit much to uh just have a giga corpse explosion shenana fuckeries now Yeah, but the issue Sailor Ivo is there's like basically no way to like make these skeletons do decent damage in the, the way I have them set up. 30% more damage to these fuckers is like they hit for 50 instead of 45. Like, actually stop and look at what numbers they're hitting and you'll be like, oh... Yeah, that's like get him boys 63 yeah they're hitting like 60 to 40 now the skelly boys they're putting in work the uh, ranged ones We'll finish this up tomorrow, yeah? Maybe we'll do a couple runs. I really don't know why this build is working so well, but... Like, if you want to do... Artillery... Um... Mage... This doesn't seem too bad. Or I should say Artillery Necromancer. This shit, for some reason, just starts hitting hard. After it's last buff. Maybe I'll do a video or something, I'm not really sure. People love videos.
Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be done for now. Well, thank you, Mama and Maturis. I'm just tired. I'll be done. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll finish this up. I don't think this build would work. To be completely honest, I don't think this build would work if you weren't, uh, if you didn't have, like, how many did I have? Like, seven skill points? Eight? Extra? I don't think it would work without that. So, like, I wouldn't want to recommend it. So, I'm going to try it on World 3, and if it does decent at World 3 dungeons, then I'll be like, okay. If it doesn't do good at World 3 dungeons, then I'll just be like, okay, so it was just me being overleveled, right? Like, reasonably, I think that's a good way to do it. Now, I want to look at this, I because I, I, was, I was talking about this earlier. No, I don't really care if we don't figure something better out later. Yeah, right here. It says enemies are more formidable. But then it gave their stats. So my thoughts were because it gave their stats, right? But then said they're more formidable. My thoughts were that um, it meant enemies have like more abilities or something like that they were gonna bust out that like i don't know the skeleton archer was gonna throw fucking caltrops or something at me right but that's not unfortunately how it went so why do people keep saying there's five world tiers by the way Because I only see four. Unless there's like... Yeah, okay, there's only four. Yeah, okay, so I, I think there's... This build definitely has synergy. I don't know if it's good, but it definitely has synergy. The thing that I think a lot of people are overlooking, to be honest, is that on its own, it's hitting pretty decent numbers, I'll admit. Like, the numbers it's hitting aren't bad at all, but, like, it's not really blowing your mind because it's mostly single target. It has some AoE, but, like, it's not doing that great. The big thing that I think a lot of people aren't, um... I think the big thing that a lot of people aren't really noticing is because... If I have Inspiring Leader, my minions are getting 12% attack speed, right? Then I have Kalen's Edict giving them another 30% attack speed, right? And so because of that, these Skelly Mages, these little Skeleton Cold Mages are sitting in the back feeding me a shitload of Essence. And then because I'm being fed a shitload of Essence, I rarely need to go to Hemorrhage so I can just sit there chain casting Blood Lances all day. And because I can chain cast blood lances all day with 80% base damage, I think it's 80% now, yeah? That's a lot of damage coming out. That also means that's like upfront damage. And then the overpower on the 8th hit is a lot of damage. I'm not using fortify. So the overpowers aren't exactly going crazy. Um, if I had infinite essence, I could... Um, grab the bone mages these dudes but then i'd have to spend time resummoning them so i wouldn't like that i don't know i, I kind of like that my melee doesn't die just because of how i've stat them my melee doesn't die they just sit there every six seconds they ignore an attack the blood golem doesn't die he just sits there doing his thing i don't even need to use his ability i'm sure on the higher difficulty it'll be a little bit more but with death's defense and um Every six seconds they block, and the fact that I built a little bit tankier because I have this overpower attack, like my front line never dies. And again, I'm only on world difficulty two. So, and then again, the thing is, it's just like a perfectly accurate artillery strike. Like that's the thing, I just sit in the back and I'm just whacking away at this all day. 
And like, if you notice it like on its own, like look how quickly I would run out of essence, right? So what you're not noticing is that the skeleton mages have so much attack speed and they're just sitting back feeding me essence the entire time. They're only doing like 150-ish damage per hit, right? But you know, with three of them doing 150 a hit over and over and over, you know, and it does add up. I mean, there's a lot of sources of damage coming out. I mean, can I find someone and whack them? Can I give them the whacking? I guess not. Anyway, I'm gonna be done for now because I'm tired. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll we'll get to World Tier Three. If it doesn't work in World Tier Three, oh well. You know, I don't I don't think Bloodlance is exactly that great. But if it does work at World Tier Three, then I can make a video and clickbait people into Bloodlance top tier now? Question <laughs> mark. I I don't think the legendaries for Bloodlance are good enough though. Truth be told, I just don't think the legendaries are good enough. I think you could maybe focus on your minions, but I don't think focusing on your minions is that great either. So it's a bit fucky, in my opinion. Because, like, the problem right now seems to be that most classes that are doing good with certain builds are doing good because those builds have all the synergy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not really leveling up fast, but I'm just kind of trying to figure things out. But yeah, I, I think basically the thing is, is that the builds that are doing good tend to have all the synergy. And when they have all the synergy, um, it, it, again, I, I keep saying this, it's like the game released six months too early. And there's just, um, there's just some builds that just have all the synergy and there's some builds that just have none and there's some builds which just basically don't really make sense so like, here we go aspect of potent blood when at full life blood orbs grant 10 to 20 essence that one could work when you think about it but it also would be kind of fucky wucky to make work, you know what I mean? I don't really see a way to make skeletons do damage, though. Like, I, I literally don't think there's any way that your skeleton warriors can ever do damage. I know some people are trying to do a skeleton warrior damage build, but, like... I literally can't imagine how you could do that. Like, because the thing is, I have the three points into them, right? So I already have the plus 45%. The thing is, because I already have plus 45%, unless your damage modifiers are multiplying, the skeletons aren't gonna get any damage. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys, see everybody.